What's going on, guys? Welcome back to United View. Hope everyone is doing very well. It is match day. It is game day. We are back for another match view live. Yes, it is Manchester United versus Liverpool, the FA Cup quarterfinal territory. No draws today. It's either United or Liverpool going through all the way to penalties if needed. We're going to be guiding you through everything. How is everybody feeling? I love match day, regardless of how you feel about your skepticism or your feelings of worry towards a potentially negative result once it gets to the day. Once the, once the clock strikes midnight and you go, right, today is game day and the minutes start ticking down and you get closer and closer and closer and closer to kickoff, there's just something. There's something in the back of your head that says, believe, believe you've got to, because if you don't, then what's the point going into the game? So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be going in with some optimism. Yes, we're going to be guiding you all the way through to, as I mentioned, a conclusion, whatever that conclusion is today here on Match View Live. So it's going to be potentially a long one. You know what it's like here at United View when it comes to the Match Views now? You get everything. We're about to just under now, two hours away from kickoff. In about an hour's time, we'll be bringing you the team news. KG will be joining me around that time as well. So we'll be bringing you the team news from Old Trafford. Some absences, some returns as well today. Uh, if we get any kind of like hints or inclinations of where certain people are maybe going to be as well, we'll of course let you know too. Um, so we're going to be guiding you through everything as well. We've got so much to get into actually in the few hours before kickoff anyway. I want to get through Ericsson Haag's press conference, the embargoed part of the press conference too. I want to get into this news about Casemiro as well. Late last night, it was announced that Casemiro has withdrawn from the Brazil squad through injury. What does that mean for today? We'll have to wait and see. Also want to touch on a story going around today about Harry Maguire. You know, he's back in the squad, but could he be gone from Manchester United in the summer as well? So, yes, there is plenty to get into. Click that like button. Be sure to subscribe as well, bottom right-hand corner. I was a couple of minutes late because I was putting the poll in the chat. I thought, let's get a poll in the chat early. Let's just get it going right from the beginning. There's no draw in there. It's just prediction. It's Man United or Liverpool. That's, that's all it is today. Man United or Liverpool. So get your predictions in. File in. Get your feet up. Get a beverage. If it needs to be some of the hard stuff, that's what it needs to be. It's going to be one of those days, I think. So whatever you need, get yourself ready. Get yourself settled in. And then you won't have to go anywhere, anywhere for the next like four and a bit hours. Yes, we're going to be tied in, locked down and ready to go. Let's see what people are saying in the chat already. Uh, Just Josh Media, Graphics Guru, Visual Ninja is saying, believe Africa. I wouldn't believe a thing he says. He's he's a, he's, a, he's a right. Oh, he's a wrong one. Hey, Just Josh Media, you never know. What motivations have you got? Oh, I don't know about that. Um, what is, uh, what else are people saying here as well? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Isaac says, is Rashford injured? Uh, I saw a rumor on Twitter that he is. I don't know. But when it comes to match days, there's always really weird stuff, <laughs> isn't there? There's always really weird stuff on match days. Remember, I forget which game it was. What game was it? It was a couple of weeks ago, and it was like, Amrabat starting, Amrabat starting, and then he he wasn't starting. He was he was he was he was on the bench, I think, that day. So look, Twitter kind of goes crazy on a match day with just nonsense and uh, and madness as well. So um, I would say be careful with what you read as well. What else are people saying here? Mojo says, morning from Chicago. Yes, Mojo Mojo from Chicago. Um, Jan says, Amrabat over Menu to start. Oof. Elizabeth said, really excited for this one today. Javid says, trophy charge, top four charge, glory, glory, Man United. Uh, lots of people talking about Mason Mount as well. We're going to be talking about Mason Mount because he was brought up in the press conference as well. Uh, as far as the teams that are already through, of course, Coventry went through. They defeated Wolves yesterday. Brilliant match at Molyneux. Absolutely fantastic match. Pure magic of the cup. That was fantastic. Manchester City are through. They defeated Newcastle. Chelsea currently right now, I can see it on my screen, they're 2-0 up against Leicester. So seemingly they're going to be going through. And then we've got to find out, is it going to be Manchester United or Liverpool as uh, are going to be joining them in the semi-finals. Baraf says hi from Canada as well. Esco says we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to we're going to do this. Uh, well, let's not embrace our inner Don Robbie for that one as well. So yes, click the like button. Be sure to subscribe. You can see on the uh, sidebar right there the kind of timings for everything that's going on. Interesting as well with the head-to-head -to -head too uh, with United and Liverpool is 
basically the rule of thumb has been in the FA Cup, if it's at Old Trafford, Man United go through. If it's at Anfield, Liverpool go through. Now, of course, today is at Old Trafford. So one would hope, hope, and that's what we've got to lean into a lot today. A lot of hope, a lot of copium, a lot of hopium. But one would hope that maybe, maybe, just maybe, that might be a record that can go in our favour. But this season, we have lost quite a few records, but we still maintain some as well. So I'm, I'm trying to, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep going with the positivity today. We've just got to feel it. Okay, we, we need it. We need it. Um, let's get into, let's start off actually with the Casemiro stuff first. I do want to talk about the Casemiro stuff first before we get into the press conference, because I suppose it's really the biggest story. A day that's filled with lots of people returning. Mason Mount's back in the Manchester United squad. We know that Harry Maguire's back in the Manchester United squad. Rasmus Hoyland's back in the Manchester United squad. Aaron Wambasaka's back in the Manchester United squad. So many people coming back, but it looks like one person has dropped out, and that is Casemiro. This actually came, as I mentioned, really late last night um, from as strong a source as you can get, the Brazil national team. They tweeted out some updates when it came to their squad for their upcoming international games. And they announced that the Manchester United midfielder, Casemiro, is out of these March internationals with Brazil due to an injury. Now, we don't have a ton of extra detail. I don't know if it's a case of, oh, he's out of those ones because he's carrying a knock, but he could play today. There's a similar situation with Johnny Evans, isn't there, where... Johnny Evans has been carrying a knock for however many weeks, but he still played and they've been trying to manage it. He played against City. He played against Everton. He came off in both games, but they kind of managed him through through the match. So we don't know if it's a similar situation with Casemiro where it's like, well, I can play today, but it would just wouldn't be good if I went on international duty and played those games. I need to stay at Carrington. I need to recover. The, the sort of way that people were talking about it would lead one to think that he's not going to be involved today. Um, people now start to look into those pictures to see if, you know, he's arriving at Old Trafford. I don't know if he has arrived at Old Trafford yet. You can let me know in the chat. But it looks like Casemiro could could um, be out of this uh, game with an injury that we don't know. We don't even know what injury uh, it is as well. As far as the ramifications of that, this is always this has been the problem for United this season, isn't it? We 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 were so happy about players coming back and we're so excited about players returning. And today, as I mentioned, there's four of them, you know, whether or not they'll all start, I doubt it, particularly in the case of Mason Mount, but you've got Maguire back. You've got wan back. You've got Hoyland back. You've got Mount in the squad. And the problem is, is that it does feel like with one person comes back through the door, someone exits through the door as well at the same time. And that's been the problem this season. It's been the case of when we get these people back, can we keep them back? Um, Casemiro missed a big chunk of the season through injury anyway, didn't he? Through, uh, when was it? It was around sort of October, November time through January. It was it was a couple of months, wasn't it? I think it was, it was a couple of months or something like that. So I hope it's not a reoccurrence of the same injury, but um, once it's just, it's Man United season, isn't it? That's what it is this season it's get people back but then some other people get injured and the medical department is just a complete disgrace <laughs> and rubbish and um and even this this week we found out more people had you know dropped out through injury as um Kristen points out in the in the chat by and also got injured the backup goalkeeper that's played one game is injured as well so it's a blow and it's a blow in the sense of if you looked at the game against Everton Casemiro had an absolute stinker that day. I mean, he could barely put two passes together. And uh, particularly in the first half, he was really, really, really poor in terms of his on the ball. It just, it was just, it was, <laughs> it was shocking at points, but he's a big game player. He He's a big game player. He's, when it matters, you do want him in your team because of his experience, because of his grip, because of his fight. You need him. You need him involved. And as far as his future in the summer, I've said multiple times, I think he's probably going to go in the summer. I think a Saudi club will come in and I think United will be very happy to cash in on him because of his age, because of the fee they'll get. It won't be massive because Saudi generally don't pay huge fees. Depends on the player. Obviously, there are exceptions, Neymar, etc. But generally, they don't pay massive fees, but they pick up big contracts. And that's what they would do in the case of Casemiro. And as you, you have seen in recent weeks, well, really this season, haven't we, that, um, that it does look like he's losing a yard of pace or he's struggling to, to meet people in the tackle. He's always flying in or he's always diving in to try and, 
you know, cover these spaces that are too big anyway. I think anyone would struggle with the, with the way that the midfield is set up and the, and the tactics are set up with United's midfield. Anyone, we've seen any any combination has struggled. It's not solely on Casemiro, but but um, you can see he has lost a yard or it appears like certainly he's lost a yard. But in games like today, when you've got him, you want him. I mean, Liverpool, Old Trafford, FA Cup quarterfinal, that's... That's a Casemiro game. And given the options that we have, if he is injured, then you're looking towards the bench and going, right, well, what do we do then? We play McTominay? I mean, McTominay's best role this season has been off the bench. And I don't even mean that like facetiously like as like a, a knock against him. His best role this season has been off the bench. Last 10 minutes, put the ball in the box. McTominay can get a goal. Not for 90. You know, not 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 against a Liverpool midfield that's been rejuvenated this season. Not against like a an Endo or against a McAllister or against whoever starts in their midfield today. Um, it's been really strong. So Bosley as well. That's probably going to be their midfield free, actually. Um, you would need Casemiro to be involved in that fight. So, I mean, as Elizabeth point um, as uh, sorry, free goal points out, uh, McTominay did captain us at Anfield. That is true. Um, so, so maybe that will be why Ten Hag goes with him uh, today. So, it, look, it's a blow. It, it is a blow because you you want your experienced players and you want your big game players available. Um, as I said, we don't we don't know if it's a case of he's completely out today, but this story would suggest that he probably will be, which is very frustrating. The hope would be, I suppose, that if it's not too bad, and he and he does miss today, we've now got what two weeks. We've got two weeks of an international break that he could recover. So it's not guaranteed. This is why you're kind of, it is up in the air because we don't know really the nature or severity of the injury. Hopefully we find out more today when Ten Hag does some of these uh, interviews uh, before the match. But it could be a case if he misses today and by the time the international break closes out, he's ready to go and he's back. That's the hope. That's the hope. Well, to be honest, the hope is that actually the reason he's pulled out of the Brazil squad is purely precautionary and he can play today. He's just got a rest up the next few weeks. That's that's the ultimate hope as well, isn't it? So that's the latest when it comes to Casemiro. Again, a story that did kind of come out of nowhere, really, sort of uh, late last night, coming from the Brazil national side as well. Uh, super chat here from Danny DeFito. Appreciate you. Says, Owen, did you see The Rock mentioning he used to go by Flex Kavanagh on SmackDown only a couple of days after you told Fleck on UV? The Rock is a UV member confirmed. Well, Dwayne... Dwayne's, you know, me and me and Dwayne were close friends. We, we constantly chat. He's a he's an avid watcher, Dwayne, you know, DJ. He's a uh, a big United fan, watches UV a lot. So, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Good, good relationship. But like this, like this, me and me and Dwayne, it's fine. Uh, as you would have seen with the super chat as well, uh, this would be the case uh, throughout the whole day too. Uh, when super chats do come in here around this area. Stuff happens. <laughs> Stuff happens. Things pop up. Uh, whether it's KG pointing to the badge, whether it's Flex doing a spinner Rooney, whether it's KG doing the big zoom in. I think there's one with KG on like a boat going really fast as well. Um, there's one if you uh, become a new member as well. I think that's me giving a high five to someone too. So lots of stuff happens. Lots of stuff. So, yes, uh, let's get to 100 likes already, by the way. We are 85 likes in after just a, only being live a few minutes, actually. So if we can get to 100 likes straight out the gate, that would be fantastic. I say aim for 500 before kickoff. I think that's possible. We're an hour, was it an hour 45 to go until kickoff? So if you haven't already, click the like button. Yes, absolutely. Um, what are people saying here at the moment? Um, Bacon Butty says, you have to be realistic. We don't stand a chance. This is an interesting point of conversation, isn't it? Because I've seen that's kind of the argument at the moment, isn't it? That's that, that's the argument. The argument is going into today's game. Do you be realistic and do you be sort of negative going? We're rubbish. We're going to lose. We're not very good. Liverpool are doing very well this season. Let's be honest. We're, we're crap. We're rubbish. Or do you go into the game going, look, we know our deficiencies. We know most likely, I mean, it's probably going to be a negative result. But at the same time, it's the FA Cup. It's Old Trafford. Anything can happen. And the season, I mean, maybe not so much now because of what happened with Spurs yesterday. But in terms of silverware, the season hinges on today. I mean, Eric Ten Hag and the players have been saying every game's a cup final. It certainly would feel like it today, isn't it? And um, yeah, I, th I think that's the mentality is to go into today's game and just go, and let's, go let's be up for it. Let's be up for it. 
Let's not go into it because there's no point watching. We're rubbish. We're terrible. Um, because this is it's Man United versus Liverpool. It's proper. It's the biggest game of the season. That's what it is. And um, I know when you speak with chess nowadays, the people, because the obsession, this is the social media obsession with cooking. Ah, you've been cooked. You've been cooked. Oh, I don't care if I'm going to be cooked. Who gives a shit about being cooked? Whatever that means. Okay. It's match day. It's FA Cup. May night versus Liverpool. It's a massive game. One of the biggest games of the season. Knockout football. Enjoy it. Enjoy Because that's what it's about. Days like today, it's what it's about. Go into the game. You can be realistic. You can be, of course, you could be realistic. But <clears throat> there you go. That's the high five one. Big up, Chris. But of course, you'd be realistic. But you can enjoy it still. Absolutely. And um, yeah, exactly. As Skiliano says right there, I think that's the um, that's the one. I'm realistic, but there's always hope. I just won't uh, be surprised if we get bad. My hope, well, my kind of mentality is a bit similar to how it's been, to what it was going into the City game, which is realistically, if Liverpool play their best today, they'll probably win. They'll probably beat us because they're better than us this season. They are. You can't hide from that at all. But because of the, the nature of the game, because of the stature of the game, because it's the cup competition, because it's Old Trafford, just go out there, show some fight. Go go out there, show some fight, get up for it. Old Trafford will be behind you and just give it a go. And um, we did that, we'll see it a bit later on. But when we played them at Anfield this season, I remember exactly the same things. We're rubbish, we're terrible. We're going to get absolutely smashed. And we got out there with a point. And then we got ridiculed for getting out with every point. So it doesn't matter, by the way. So if we win today, we'll still get ridiculed. Going, I can't believe you're happy with that. <laughs> you won't be able to, they won't be able to win in that regard. But just show some fight today. That's what it is. Show some fight. Show some grit. And uh, give it a go. And I know standards on the floor, 2024, Dan Gore. But that's where we're at. Manchester United, certainly. 750 people watching already. Uh, let's see if we can get the likes to match those numbers. Yes, if you haven't already clicked the like button, reminder, the target, 500 before kickoff, which is just under two hours away. Team news is about, what's that, uh, 40 minutes away. Uh, 40 minutes will be coming out at 2.30. KG will be joining me then as well. So, yes, if you haven't already clicked the like button and be sure to subscribe. Big up to Chris. We did see that pop up a second ago, but there you go, Chris. Is the latest member of the UV's Members Club. If you wish to join Chris in the Members Club, you can do so. Link's in the video description. It's also the pinned comment in the live chat. Or you can just click the Join button. If you remember, you get really a good bang for your buck. You get uh, your badges, your emojis, priority chat. You get exclusive members-only content as well, UV Roars. You also get the opportunity to call in to the full-time view after the game. Uh, call in and have your say if you're a member. You don't have to be a member to watch, but if you want to call in, you want to get on the show, you have to be a member. So, yes, you do get bang for your buck as well. Let's talk about the presser. Let's talk about the presser. Let's talk about Eric Ten Hag um, because the embargoed part of his press conference came out late last night, as it always does, the night before a match. And some some interesting quotes, actually. So let's uh, let's go through some of these. The first question I didn't like the reason I didn't like it, and it was in fairness, I don't know the journalist that asked it, but the reason I didn't like it is because once again, it was rehashing stuff in the past a very long time ago that they like to do this with Alejandro Garnacho, which is, oh, he had a really bad attitude once upon a time. <laughs> they always bring it up. If he plays well, they always go back to it. Well, on that preseason tour... Two years ago, well, it was it wasn't it wasn't good, and you had to have some words, didn't you? They always bring it up. So they were Eric Tenag was asked about Alejandro Garnacho's development, saying a couple of years ago you had to have some words on the preseason tour. Bruno Fernandez had to have some words as well on the preseason tour. Um, do you think he's now we're starting to see some development, some maturity from him, and uh, did that help him? And Eric Ten Hag said, uh, when you're young, it's normal. Football players have to become an adult very quickly. You have to take more responsibility and you have to learn how you do that. That's a process. Now, Alejandro is in a good way. He's going in a very good direction. And he knows now what it takes and why it's necessary, why you need that standard to play in a team and to be at a good level. You achieve the right levels, you keep the focus, and you know that it's not only about you, but about the team. And it's about what you have to contribute to the team. 
He did continue on by saying, um, talking about, again, if he's becoming an important player and if he has matured, he said, yes, I think so. Uh, yes, and for that development, you need a player like Bruno because Bruno Fernando was brought up. He wasn't just singled out by Ten Hag. It was uh, the journalist did point out Bruno's uh, conversations with Garnacho, And he said uh, they also need uh, a certain freedom. But with that belongs a certain responsibility. You can never separate this because at the end of the day, it's about winning football games. To win, you need reliable players and especially the creative ones. So you have to give them the, three, the freedom, but they have to take the responsibility. And if they make that step, then they are very valuable for a team to be winning. So... Uh, Alejandro Garnacho has improved, obviously, and he has matured, obviously. Why? Because he's, he's he's not even is he still a teenager? I think he is, isn't he? Is he nineteen? So I, I like I said, it was I guess a sort of backwards, complimentary, positive question in the sense of Alejandro Garnacho is becoming an important player for you, and he is maturing. But to kind of bring up something and again that was happening two years ago that I'm sure happens in a lot of teams with a y lot of young players. And as Eric Ten Hag pointed out, I think he's absolutely spot on in what he says, that you kind of do forget. Footballers do have to, some don't, obviously, but the sort of good ones, they have to mature early because there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of scrutiny, but we're dealing with very young people sometimes. In the case of Alejandro Garnacho, as we have said so many times here on the channel, that I, if everyone was pulling their weight properly, Garnacho wouldn't be as a as a regular in the team as he is right now. Because if everything had gone to plan, you would have Marcus Rashford playing on the left-hand side, repeating the form he had last season. You would have uh, Anthony or Jaden Sancho on the right-hand side doing what they were meant to do, what they were brought in to do for a lot of money. And Garnacho would be, you know, an impact sub, a bit like he was last season that you bring on. Last 20, 25 minutes, he's got pace, he's more direct, he runs at defenders and he gives them trouble. Alejandro Garnacho has been one of our most consistent uh, players this season in terms of players that have been available. He doesn't get injured that often. Constantly available, constantly playing games. My concern with him is that we do have a, a risk of kind of running him into the ground with how much he plays. But I think he's developed a lot. And again, people forget that the last season was his kind of sort of emerging season and he didn't really start to emerge until what was that like October, November sort of time just before the world cup. And then he became more regular as the season went on, but he was in and out of the side. This has really been his first season as like a regular, uh, uh, you know, a regular, um, a regular first team player. And people, I think people forget that. So and I, and I have seen people almost kind of try and put down Garnacho's contributions or ability this season, which I do find a bit odd. I think you look at this team, a really bunch of inconsistent players. The most consistent players have been those younger players. And Alejandro Garnacho, is he consistent? Yeah, but he's always going to be consistent, particularly at this age. But he scored big goals. He's uh, in big moments and he's contributed massively. So I think he deserves a lot of credit. Uh, I really do. So it was a bit of a, like I said, a bit of a, a backhanded compliment somehow, some way. But uh, I did like Erickson Hag's answer with that one. Now, this was also quite curious. I think Chelsea just scored again. Oh, no, Leicester have scored 2-1. Oh, Leicester are back in it. There you go. 2-1. How many minutes left to go? It's plenty of time, actually. 50 minutes. So, um, yeah, 40 minutes left. I think DeSazi made a mistake. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yes, next question was about, um, oh, actually, I want to have a look at this. Someone just said own goal. Wait a minute, let's have a look. So it was a throw in. I hate foul throws as well. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, it's not, it's, it's not good. <laughs> it was, that, that is, oh, here's a throw in. And he goes to like pass it back to the goalkeeper, but he hits it really hard and Sanchez isn't there. He just kind of smashes it in the net. That is a crazy own goal. My God, it's a bit of a shove. It's not a foul at all, particularly with the size of Sassi. But wow, what a own goal to concede. Now, do they even still do? You know, when I don't know, when I was younger, they had those like DVD compila compilations of like, football's greatest own goals or football's biggest disasters or football's biggest F-ups, that kind of thing. 
that would be on there. That would be a compilation contender. Absolutely. That is a madness by DeSassi. <laughs> but 2-1, you never know. That one might be going to extra time uh, as well. That is, That was a heck of an own goal. Um, yes. So going back to the questions and the comments by Eric Ten Hag in his press conference, uh, the question was asked to him about possibly the two games against Liverpool saving the season, really. Now, with these games looking to save the season, because, of course, we've got Liverpool in the FA Cup, then we've got them in the league just after the international break. Um, could victories against these save the season? And Eric Ten Hag said, we have to save the season together. We know we have to catch up in the Premier League. Now we have an opportunity to win silverware. The only opportunity is the FA Cup. And we are only three wins away. They are big games versus Liverpool. And we have to play our best. Sunday is a test for us, but we like the test. We like a challenge. And we can, within a certain range, be relaxed because we believe in ourselves. But Sunday, we have to prove that. And it kind of is, I mean, for silverware, certainly, obviously this is because if you lose, you're out. So absolutely with that. I think that the Premier League with the result yesterday is very, very interesting. Very interesting because nobody thought Spurs were going to lose 3-0 against Fulham at Craven Cottage. And a lot's gone for United this week. Let's let's be brutally honest. A lot has gone for us in the sense of the English teams did well in Europe. So it looks like fifth place and, and the German teams dropped off a bit. So it looks like fifth place is going to lead to a Champions League spot. Uh, Spurs lost convincingly and they've got three big games coming up. They've got to play all the top three. They've got a difficult run in. So suddenly now, suddenly now it looks like, well, actually, <laughs> despite how despite how poor we've been and inconsistent this season, there's still a chance. There is still an opportunity. There is still a there is still a chance that maybe we could get in the Champions League. Now, you could argue whether or not we deserve it. Can we even go on a run? Because that's kind of where I'm at still. My feeling was, before it was like, I don't see Spurs and Villa dropping that many points. Now, I go, well, it's actually very possible. But can United capitalise? That's the part of it. It's twofold, isn't it? It's two parts of it. One, can Spurs and Villa slip up? That answer is yes. But the second part of the question is, can Man United capitalise? And that is a, still a massive question mark, isn't it? So today, in terms of silverware, I mean, this would if we won today, it, it would have to be a catalyst for the rest of the season. The final 10 games, it would have to be a catalyst. But that's um, possibly a bit of an oversimplification of the, uh, of the circumstances. So you never know. You never know. Now, Eric Tenag was also asked about the adversity faced this season and uh, saying that um, it, it, Jamie Jackson asked this question. The way he framed it was, do you think it actually shows to Sir Jim Ratcliffe, to Dave Brailsford, actually that Eric Ten Hag is really a tough manager, a good manager, because he's had to deal with a lot of adversity this season in terms of injuries and a lot of off the field stuff. Anthony, Jane Sancho, even the Mason Greenwood thing earlier on in the season as well. Does that show that he's you know pretty uh, made of uh, stern stuff? And uh, Eric Ten Hag said, yes, as a manager, I know it's not only going up. Sometimes you have setbacks. We have had a lot of setbacks this season, but you can always look at the big picture. And I know when the injured players are back, we will improve. When we had some back previously, you already see we increased our performances and the results went back up. So once again, very much uh, going in on the, uh, the, the fact that the injuries have hurt us as well. Um, he was also, by continuing, he said, uh, we lost some players again, but I think we are more consistent. We learned something about it, uh, but also we need more players in the squad who can contribute. So that would be the next step to achieve more consistent levels. And you can see we are not that far away from the top four either. So when you have a bit more depth in the squad and already you should carry more points, which I thought was an interesting point he put at the end there when he sort of was already crying out for more players, if indeed he is going to be here the first game of next season. He's saying in the summer, look, we need more players. We need more players because we hope, we would hope that, you know, the injuries won't happen how it's happened this season. But maybe that's the way football's going as well. I do think United are a bit of an outlier. We've seen a lot of teams pick up injuries this season. We've seen Spurs, we've seen Newcastle, we saw Liverpool last season. Teams have this um, bad fortune when it comes to injuries. And I do think that is related just to the sheer volume of games. But United, it has been to another level, hasn't it? It has been to a, a, another level. And um, it was interesting to hear Ten Hag say, well, to deal with that in the future, we're going to need more people. We're going to need a better squad. We're going to need more options because that's the way football is going. 
It's like the NFL. Now, as much as we hate that, it's like the NFL. You need a giant roster of players um, as opposed to, you know, uh, but I think it's that'll be interesting to see if the squad rules change at all because, of course, you have your, you know, 25-man squad. Obviously, you can then have as many sort of academy players or under-21 players as you want. Maybe that's the, the route moving forward as well. Maybe the real emphasis on academy players is starting to come back, not only from an FFP point of view, but also for a uh, from a squad point of view as well. But I did find that quite curious that Eriksen Hager straight away pointed out, need more players, need more players. Uh, and a question also from David Jackson was saying that despite it being frustrating, the adversity faced this season could actually help United grow in the long term if they learn the lessons from some of the negatives. Eric Ten Hag said it's about sticking together. You have to face it together. Make sure you're on the uh, one page together. Always around Man United is noise. Don't get distracted by it. Know together where we are going, what is the project and also the process and that everyone knows uh, why we are in the position where we are and how we can improve it. So have the attitude to always give your best every day, deliver, and then finally you will achieve your aims and goals. And finally, he was asked about Mason Mount, who is back in the squad today. And he was asked, has he had basically any conversations with Mason Mount during the last week, talking about how he can contribute to Manchester United in the final 10 games of the season. And Eric Ten Hag, not surprisingly, at all, because he's done this with everyone. So I would take you with a pinch of salt before you get too angry. But um, he was absolutely firm, very, very firm in his backing of his player, particularly the one he signed in the summer. He said, quote, I'm convinced he'll be a key player. Uh, he didn't have the chance to prove this point, but he will be a very good player for Manchester United. It's been really unfortunate and disappointing for him, but also for us when you have such a class player and you can't play him. He had injuries, as we all know. I'm sure when he is fit, he will play and get into that rhythm and he will contribute to a successful Manchester United. So, look, very big in his uh, backing of Mason Mount there, which perceive it how you want, I would suppose. I would say that because in the same vein that he's saying he's going to be, he's a class player and he's going to be a huge you know, contributor to a successful Manchester United in the future. He's also said the same things about like Anthony. I'm certain <laughs> he will be a fantastic player for Manchester United. And we know that's not really the case. So it's a press conference, right? You've always got to back your players, but certainly strong, firm backing of Mason Mount. As far as whether or not he's going to be available today, we know he's in the squad. I'd be very surprised if he got on the pitch, to be honest. Maybe for like 10 minutes, something like that, maybe. But he's been out for a long time. He has had a week of training, but it's, it's one thing to bring them back in a game against Liverpool at Old Trafford, particularly in the closing moments of the game where well, you would hope that we're trying to sort of defend a lead or something like that, maybe. But uh, Or the game could be completely over and it's just about getting minutes and uh, continuing that through the international break, perhaps. But Mason Mount is involved today. He is in the squad. Um, I don't think he's going to be starting or anything like that, but looks like he could have a place on the bench. Uh, we've got over 700 people watching, by the way, guys. Um, let's see if we can get to 200 likes. We're currently at 172 likes. So if you haven't already, click the like button. Uh, let's see if we can get to that aim of 500, as we mentioned before. Kickoff. Uh, kickoff is about just under an hour and a half away. It's an hour and 25 minutes away. Team News is in 25 minutes, by the way. KG will be joining me and we'll be bringing you the starting 11 for both sides as well. So that's going to be coming in very shortly. Uh, what are people saying here at the moment? Makish says, what do you want him to do, Owen? Not back his players. So you're saying, Makish, so you're saying, Owen, of course he's going to back his players. I, I, I absolutely want him to back his players. <laughs> in this, no, I want him to cuss out his players and throw them under the bus and uh, and say that uh, they're all rubbish and they're all terrible. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> no, my point, Makish, is that everything you hear in a press conference Take it with a pinch of salt because usually a press conference is kind of to defend yourself or your club. You're not going to speak negatively about your players. You're not going to speak negatively about the people that employ you. That's why it was such a, such a surprise when he kind of went on the medical department the other day, wasn't it? So that, that's all I'm saying with that. Of course, he's going to back um, his players as he should. He's a football manager. He's a manager of players. So, of course, he should uh, he should back them as well. So, yes, that's what I am saying. You should, no, don't back your players. Don't, Eric. Not at all. Don't do it. Uh, let's get some uh, some more 
preview and some more build up. It's 2 2. Oh, look at that. From 2 0 down, Leicester are back. 2 2. The Desazio own goal. And now the Championship High Flyers have scored again. It is 2 2. My goodness me. The camera is on Sanchez in goal, but it's 2 2. Can you believe it? It's possible we could have two championship sides in the semi finals at Wembley. That one is not over at all. I did think that earlier on when they were 1 0 up and Sterling missed a penalty, by the way. It was a shocking penalty. When he, um, when he missed that penalty, the commentary were giving it like, well, Chelsea would have been straight to the final, what, semi final. What? What a goal it is as well. Whoa. Look at this. Travels with it, travels with it. There you go. Step over Gusto. Inside. Bang. Side netting. What a goal that is. That's brilliant. Ticker boo. Look at that. Boom. 2-2. Two, two. Wow. Maybe when we come back from this clip, it might be another goal, in it? Let's see what Flex had to say in his road trip earlier on today. But I don't care, man. I'm ready for this game. I'm ready for this game. I've been ready for this game all flipping week. Yeah, I've had people saying, oh, you're an idiot. You're deluded. Oh, why are you saying this? Oh, wh on what planet does he live on? Oh, why do you think this? Or why do you think that? Told you. Told you guys. We have to do it. It's because we have to do it. And and you know what? I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it all out there. Not no half-hearted thing. Not no, Now nah, I reckon we'll probably do it. But, you know, maybe we won't. No, I've just gone all in. This is the last biggest game of the season like well if we lose if we win then you know there could be a couple more with Spurs losing yesterday but anyway in terms of what there is to to win right because you don't win fifth place you don't win fourth it is what it is but in terms of a trophy you know you look at Coventry yesterday they got through to the semi-finals obviously City are there and then it's between Chelsea and Leicester. But listen, we have to be in the other side of the draw. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be monumental. It's going to be tough. But I want Pep to be... No, not Pep, sorry. I want Klopp. I want Klopp to be out. You know what I mean? Like, let's, let's get on this, Man United fans, man. Let's get on this. We did see late last night, by the way, that Casemiro is injured um, on that note. And with the way he's been playing... Um, listen, he hasn't been playing great. He hasn't been playing great. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about that. He has not been playing great, but he's a big game player. That's what I will say. He hasn't been playing great, but he is a big game player. And uh, according to reports last night, what I saw, he's he's out of the Brazil squad with an injury. Now that probably means he's out for today. Surely, I mean, unless it's I don't know because if he's picked up something in that time and hasn't made the Brazil squad. Um, is it a case of like he's I don't know he's they're friendly so he's like you know what I just don't need to be playing right now but I'm all right for tomorrow or is he out of is he out of today's game um and he's out altogether I don't I don't know I don't know but it seems that Casemiro is mi is missing from the Brazil squad with an injury which would suggest to me that he's also going to be missing today um with an injury but you, we don't know but if he's not there. If he's not there, it does give us a bit of a problem. I mean, what would Eric Ten Hag do then against Liverpool? I mean, he ain't going to put Mason Mount straight in there, having been out for so long. It'd probably be McTominay to come in, wouldn't it? That'd be Kobe Mainu. <sighs> McTominay have to play DP. You don't really want that, do you? Uh, Ericsson, you don't want him having to play in this game. It would hurt us, man. Uh, would he move Bruno back? Would he move? Would he move Bruno back? We've seen that in the past. When he doesn't trust certain other players, they move Bruno back into a double pivot and and play McTominay ahead of that. But with Rasmus Hoyland back, I think the front three will be, you know, what it needs to be, which is Rashford um, on the left, Garnacho on the right. And obviously, you know, you, you know you're going to get Rasmus through the middle. So I can't see sort of the Bruno on the right vibe. And if we got a chance of beating Liverpool today, I think it is going to have to be on the counter. It is going to have to be in transition. We're going to have to be quick. Marcus Rashford is going to have to make good runs. And and so does um, Alejandro Ganacho. They're going to have to be on it. Um, so I don't think we're going to change to like a two up front and change our shape and stuff like that. And especially before Rasmus got injured, that was what was working. That was what was allowing us to create chances and score goals in that in that little period where you know Rasmus scored like what seven goals. He scored like seven goals in that time before he before his injury. So um, it's not going to be easy. But I don't think Eric is. I don't think now's the time to be changing 
uh, shape and stuff like that. The fact that we've got Wambasaka back as well, um, you know, with two fit fullbacks. Just listen, do as you like. I mean, Luis Diaz pff, is is on fire at the moment. He is on fire at the moment. So if you're if you're Eric Ten Hag, you're looking at it like, well, Dallo's been strong. Dallo's been good. Do I just keep him where he is, up against Diaz, and 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 trust him, which is fine, and put Wamba Saka on uh, at, at left back against um, against Mo Salah. But if you think of Wamba Saka playing on the left, obviously he's less comfortable, but he's good in one v one situations. But he is against Salah. Dallo's more comfortable on the left out of the two. Um, so whoever whoever you know Wamba Saka comes in against, it's it's, <laughs> mate, you've been out for a couple of months, but welcome back. Salah or Diaz, take your pick. Which one do you want? Yes, welcome back indeed. Big up to Flex on the road trip. Of course, you can check out the full road trip. That's up on the channel as well. He's going to be talking to people and giving his view outside Old Trafford after the game. Hopefully through to the semi-finals at the time as well. Uh, let's have a look with the Super Chats. Got a couple in during that uh, clip. Red Baron says, starting to feel sorry for Matisse at this rate. Don't. That would be my advice. Don't feel sorry for him. I remember, when was it? It was the Villa game when we were 2-0 down at Old Trafford at half time or whenever it was. And he called up to KG and was giving it all that kind of stuff. Don't feel sorry for him. He's a disgrace is what he is. So, yes, don't even, don't even, don't even, don't feel sorry for Matisse. Never. They wouldn't for us. Not a chance. Uh, and big up to uh, Elizabeth as well. You can see it out on the screen right there. Um, no word, no words, just a contribution. So I appreciate the contribution. Absolutely. Uh, Paul is still in the chat too. You can get your predictions in before kickoff too. And be sure to click the like button whilst you're at it as well. And big up to Elizabeth for becoming a new member as well. You get a high five from me. Boom. High five. Big up to uh, Elizabeth for becoming a member of the UV Members Club. Rasmus Hoyland. I don't want to talk about Rasmus Hoyland. That's why he's on the screen right here. And, oh, it's so good to have him back, isn't it? So good to have him back because he was in such great form, wasn't he? Um, he was in fantastic form. Setting records is how good his form was. What was it? Seven goals in six games. Youngest player in Premier League history to score in six consecutive games. Youngest player, obviously, in Manchester United history to do that as well. And um, it was so unfortunate, the timing. And, you know, sometimes you do really realize how important someone is in their absence and going into that Fulham game not that there's any excuse of why we lost at home to Fulham we were just terrible that day but not having that focal point up front was a huge miss for us a real big miss and my hope is my, my hope is that the absence hasn't sort of derailed that form and it doesn't take a while for him to get back up and running and back up and going again because we did see obviously in the early part of this season, he went so long without scoring in the Premier League. Not that he wasn't scoring, because he was. He was scoring in the Champions League. He was the top goal scorer in the group stage. So he didn't have a problem with putting the ball in the back of the net in Europe. But in the Premier League, it, it took a while. Not really through any fault of his own as well. It was a case of that United side not making any chances for him or not giving him any service. But today, he's going to be uh, really, really important. Oh, Chelsea threw on goal. Is that a pen? Is that a pen? Is that a pen? Did he give it? I think he did. I think Chelsea got a penalty and a yellow card to Boots as well. Ooh, it's getting a bit of a, a bit of a tasty game that one, isn't it? So obviously, yes. When it comes to Rasmus, we've uh, massively missed him. He's going to be super important today. My hope is as well that when he uh, did pick up the injury before the Fulham game, they said, "What did they say? Two to three weeks? It was something like that." And maybe there kind of been was a general. Is it outside the box though? I tell you what. Oh, not a lot of contact. Let's have a look at this again. Does he kick himself? This is a better angle of it. No, there is contact. Maybe that that moves it on to himself. Moving at very high speed. It won't get overturned. But pff, they're checking it. I feel like he kicked himself. Maybe that one, the one from behind there kind of gave an impression that, and they are checking this. I mean, one, is it even in the box? And two, did he even touch him as well? I I think I should be overturned, you know? I don't think it's about, I think it's what I think what it's outside the box in general. Outside the box. 
outside the box. Don't give it. Easy. No problem. Get rid. No problem at all. So you're going to overturn it? Well, while that's happening, <laughs> I can check what's going on in the chat. There you go. It's a red. It's a red card. Red card. So I'm not giving you a book. I'm giving you a red. Because I guess no double jeopardy. So he's saying, well, because it was a penalty, there would have been, oh, we didn't want to do the double jeopardy. So you've got a free kick, but it's now a red card. So it's outside the box. Oh. <laughs> I still think it's really soft that, you know, really, really soft. But he's been, it's been given the red because it's outside the box, double jeopardy. Um, My goodness me. Oof. I suppose it's a case of which one do you want? Yeah, would you be happy with a <laughs> with a pen or with a red? You'd probably take the free kick, I suppose. Um, red Baron says Fulham are a decent side. Don't underestimate them. That's true. I, Fulham are a decent side. They beat Spurs, but I mean it's different at their own stadium, and not at Old Trafford as well. But it's a free kick to Chelsea, edge of the box. My goodness me. What a game. We will keep an eye out on that. Someone just said um, Simon Stone tweet. So whilst that's going on, I'll check this too. Let's have a look, see if I can see this uh, Simon Stone tweet here. Uh, drag this across. Everyone's still talking about this. Um, Simon Stone has said, we were speaking about Casemiro and Mason Mount, weren't we? Um, he said that Casemiro's injury means an earlier than expected return for Mason Mount, who was not due to be involved until after the international break. Now, when they say involved, again, I don't know if that means, um, you know, he's going to be on the pitch at all, or if it's just a case of um, he was even planned to be on the bench or even with the squad or anything like that. So, um, yes, and Leicester are making us up now as well. What a game that is. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away from team news coming in. So uh, KG will be joining me very shortly. If you haven't already, click the like button uh, as well. What are people in the chat saying as well? Lots of people talking about um, that free kick. Let's just see this free kick play out. You, you're getting a bit of a, <laughs> of a Chelsea Leicester watch along, hate along, up along, whatever you want to call it at the same time here, aren't you? But um, who's standing over? Is that Cole Palmer? I think they're standing over that. Yes. Um, Palmer standing over it. Uh, Sir Alex Ferguson's at Old Trafford as well today as well. You're going to stand? Uh, they're taking their time. Oh, go. No, it's going to be Sterling. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's choked me. <laughs> that couldn't have been. That couldn't have been a worse free kick. Look at this. My God. Not only... Is it like miles over the bar? Like it's <laughs> it's the worst free kick you've ever seen in your life. I mean, it's right up there, right up there as the worst thing one I've ever seen. Oh my god, <laughs> that is edge of the box, you know, as well. <laughs> He's missed a penalty, and the penalty today was terrible, awful, and that free kick wasn't that much better. <laughs> I know some people going, oh, I should be in the England squad for the Euros. I'm like, you taking the piss? Really? No chance. Still 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. Um, yes. What are people saying? Lots of people talking about Sterling as well. Um, Pod by Palmeria says, I think we played um, most uh, or second most games in Europe last season too, with City either above or just below us. Difference is they have 23 starting players. We barely have 11. Um, I think, well, I think <laughs> definitely there's problems going on with the United's medical department, isn't there? Because it's just awful. The medical department at Manchester United is shocking. Um, I keep getting distracted though by the by this one by this game um Jan says wouldn't even score if it was rugby that's true like miles over I not even over the bar because it wasn't over the bar it was it was wide and over <laughs> it was so, I mean it wasn't like straight up over the bar it was wide and I don't even know if it was in the stadium <laughs> like this that game's been that game's had everything hasn't it they've had a, a missed penalty they've had an unbelievable own goal, a compilation 
own goal from Disasi. They've had a penalty been given. Then that was changed to a free kick and a red card. And then Sterling absolutely sky over. That's just, I mean, I'd love to know what Matisse is thinking at the moment. He must, ugh. He must have some very strong opinions of uh, of Raheem Sterling. Absolutely. Uh, but yes, we're eight minutes away from uh, team news coming out. Um, some news that's coming out at the moment that you would probably expect. It looks, does look like Rasmus Hoyland is going to be starting, as, again, you would expect. I mean, the predicted team will go up onto uh, the sidebar very shortly. But my predicted team, and again, I don't know for certain, but my predicted team was that... Could easily be Harry Maguire starting alongside Rafael Varane today. I think the the fullback situation, I think it'll be Wan-Bissaka and Dallo. Who plays where? I think that's anyone's guess, really, isn't it? I mean, who would you who would you want to play where? Would you want it to be Dallo at left back and Wan-Bissaka at right back? Or would you want it to be the other way around? Would you want it to be Wan-Bissaka at left back, Dallo at right back? I've seen a lot of people um, saying that, you know, they hope, um, they hope that it would be Dallow at right back to maintain consistency. wan has played at left back once this season. He actually did all right in the game. But um, but I would just, I would prefer to have Dallow left back just because, I mean, look, if, if we, we were in a normal situation with fitness and injuries, we bissaka probably wouldn't come straight into this side today. It'd be a case, well, Dallow would be at right back and this left back that we've got that's, you know, not injured, um, we'd uh, be playing and wan would be on the bench. But that's that's not the case because we're desperate to have Aaron Wambasaka back just because of having another fit fullback. We're, we're we're desperate for it. So yes, that's the that's the hope. But we're again seven minutes away from uh, from team news being released. I can see a rogue, Mister KG, the comedian, is uh, is has entered the room. Um, so I will get him ready to to join us and be brought in. This is where you know KG's excited for today because he's early. Yeah. When KG's early, that means he's like, no, I'm taking this very seriously. Um, I'm I'm hoping that he's bringing with us a lot of optimism today as well. That's my hope, you know. Um, so let's get him, let's get him in. Take that out. And there you go, KG, you're in. You're live. Enforce the cockley, mate. Good evening, mate. How you doing, mate? <laughs> You're you are crazy as well. Yesterday he just he just had to, I had to go you like I gotta go live. I've got to oh, be KG <laughs> What was the freight what was the, the, the name of you? KG Coglu. Imposter Coglu. KG. <laughs> nah man. Um had a lot of fun, man. Um X is said he's watching this game with um with strong intentions mm. to um yeah, so it's gonna be interesting, mate. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be very <laughs> do you feel like you've put some pressure on yourself with what's happened? No, because it would have happened regardless. Like, to, yeah, no one true. cares. You know, you have to understand. Take your moments because in football, like win, lose, or oh, Chelsea are in, or oh, win, lose, or win, lose, it's gonna be whatever. So just go for it. That's that's yeah. what I'm all I've learned from the season with it being an up and down season as it's been for us. Just do what you want, and yeah, then exactly. like it, it, it it's, tomorrow's gonna be what tomorrow's gonna be. So, yeah. because a lot of fans came, a lot of fans were like on me saying, if we lose tomorrow, it's your fault. And I was like, mate, you do you believe we're going to win already? <laughs> That's my And also, like you have that influence, like you have that kind of... <laughs> I, wish I, I wish I did. No, I, I wish I did, because then I would just be a church mouse and be silent. But um, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, football doesn't work like that. You no, know, no. I think riling up your the team that you're playing is getting to the next level. Like if I like if we're playing Liverpool and I've done a video like taking the piss out of all Liverpool players, I mm. think you know if they caught wind of it, you know how they are. It's just anything to get them going, you know that's a different situation. When a manager goes out and says they're rubbish, usually teams respond to public public acts. When people go crazy like that and they can see it, it's on the main timeline. You're in trouble there. Yeah, a um, couple of super chats here. Red Baron says, most of our players are overrated. And Ivor Clip says, uh, Owen, in your honest opinion, who gets the win? It, do you know what I'm it is, Katie? No, 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 no I've, been, I've been actually very positive today. And the reason I'm more positive than I would be for its Premier League game, because it is FA Cup. I mean, we're watching now on our screens, but a championship Leicester at Stamford Bridge it's 2 2. They were 2 0 down, and Leicester have come back. Yeah. You know, like, and, well, they, and were, saw, they were, they were Leicester two, came back. Yeah, they were Chelsea were 2 0 up. 
Yeah. And honestly, KG, it's the most comical game I think I've ever seen. The first the first goal that Leicester scores, an own goal from Tassazi. And yeah. the only way to describe it is, like I said before, a you know those, well, <laughs> yeah. You know those, like, uh, those DVD compilations, Football's Greatest yeah. Fails? It's one of those. Bad. It's honestly, KG, it's incredible, the own goal. Really? He passes it from the halfway line, gets a bit of a shove, goes straight in the net, goal. It's, no! It's, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, one of those ones. And then the sco- goal they scored was in uh, was incredible, the second goal. And then um, Chelsea went up the other end. Foul got given as a penalty. It was outside the box. So VR, uh, VR said, no, it's a free kick. And they said, but we booked you. But now, because the double jeopardy's gone, it's a red card. So now you've been sent off. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And then to top it all off, Sterling took the free kick. It's the worst free kick you've ever seen in your life, KG. It's not only... High, it's wide. I mean, it's like it, so. It's you're telling me game. Leicester right now are playing with ten men. Yes, that's out of order. I yeah. think it's they don't they don't look like they're in control of this game. Like for a team that scored two late goals, they look yeah. like you know, they're under the cushion a bit, mate. Yeah, yeah. High line, high line for life. Uh, for so life. yes, <laughs> we've got 740 people watching. We're two minutes away from uh, team news coming out. Uh, we're at 232 likes. So if you haven't already, click the like button. Be sure to subscribe very quickly, KG, before we do um, go to uh, what happened. Well, actually, <laughs> before, before team news comes out, um, we're going to be going to the highlights of when we played Liverpool earlier on this season. Yes. And I didn't, uh, the nil nil at Anfield. And I kind of forgot that you and Flex got very heated with each other that day. It's, we were really angry at each other. And Flex was being, <laughs> Flex was being annoying. Flex is, it's what we, it's the regular fight we have when I'm like, Flex, why are you surprised that was shit? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll be, he's like, but I want more. I'm like, we can't play these. Like we, we struggle. Like we, we're just, we, we're, we're a subpar team and we're playing one of the best teams in the world. And so why are you surprised? And then you're just like, but I expect, and even like the, what I learned in that game and time is a great, like time sends a great message because we saw Man City, a team that's wonderfully assembled. They can't, they couldn't deal with it. There was too much on and they couldn't manage it. So yeah, yeah. just show. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I don't think we're going to have those arguments today. We me and KG, when we ever do the match views, we don't tend to argue like that, but anything's possible. You know, KG... So- didn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> I said, but I can't. I can't guarantee as to what KG is going to say. That's so it. it will definitely be me. It's definitely if anyone's gonna if anyone's gonna do something, <laughs> it's gonna be me. I've even resigned myself to knowing that. Yeah, just I definitely say something that you just think what. <laughs> <laughs> well, and also as well, and we will see this uh, as we go to these match view highlights. Now is at the end. Everyone in the room was very happy with the nil-nil. So much so that actually KG got a bit of stick off his wife, which we can uh, explain that story when he comes back, when we come back. But yes, here's the uh, the highlights of when we played Liverpool earlier on the season at Anfield. That's a foul, yeah. 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 Uh, that's what a yellow goal? card as well, what by goal? the way. You're a prick. He's kicked the ball over there. That's got to be a yellow card. And it, You're a prick and you can't even... That's got to be a yellow card. That's got to be a yellow yeah. card. He's yellow. The ball away. He's kicked yellow. the ball away. Yellow. Away. yellow. It better be a yellow. What do you do? Elbow him there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah! Hey, give him another yeah! one! Yeah! That's give him another one! Red. You what can't do you be do? doing that. Look at that. You idiot! Uh, and he's asking not for about it when he's just turned around at the guy and just and pushed him. And he's an idiot. Look, you're just looking straight at me, you look- fool. Dickhead, man. I'm sorry, oh, he should have yeah. got another yellow card. Being sarcastic. VAR, VAR's coming. <laughs> this is a yellow card, bro. You, you what, know they would have come if it's not us. Like, yeah, cool, you've been physical now. You've just turned around at the guy not looking at the ball and just run into something. Oh, it's me. Idiot. It's the captain today. Come on, man. Sitting ducks. What save? save. I got it. Was right at him. Good save. Right at him. Thank you. Yeah, but he needs all the confidence he can get. He has to make it. (laughs) Facts. He has to make it. And by his standards, by by Onana's standards recently, that's a good save for him. Luke Shaw's the wrong side of him. Look, Luke Shaw's in no man's land. Yeah. Lucky is straight at him. Why am he going to get bullied every day? Nah. But even the way he does that, it's just. It works, yeah, then. it works. So dramatic. Keep it out. Free header again. Lucky. Well done, boys. Are we Almost at the fame in March? Yeah. This is a tough watch, guys. I'm not How do you think the McTominay's done as captain so far? He's just been there. He's just wearing it. There you go. They're getting, look, they're getting look. open looks at the basket, bro. 
We're giving them open looks. We're but still, right now, we're giving I've them open that. looks, bro. Look, look, look at this zonal looks. shit. Look, this clear, clean header. A lot these of these men should be scoring. This is a Mourinho masterclass. We should have won these lots. We don't want these lots to score. We don't want these lots to score. We're in the right now. We're still as it stands. We're still in the game, guys. Well done. Let's go. Come on, United. Come on, United. Fine, Oh, what the ball? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Wow, Trent. Nah, Trent started really well. Trent, that was uh, brilliant from Trent. That was brilliant. There's the Trent. one, two chances I'm it talking was. about. And that was my number set 37. Mm. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We're with you. We're with you right now. Let's go! That was a ball from Cobb. Of course it was. Cobb has got the distro. Woo. Nah, you got, he's got two men up in there. Why pass it Come there? on, boys, man. Right now, this, what's the score? What's the, um, I mean, what? the timing that we're getting? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what's the score? No, I'm saying, I'm remembering the... 54. We've got six minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing I'm clocking Another five minutes to the next checkpoint. With a that's yep. the only thing we've done that there. That was a I good I feel like I've been on the treadmill for an hour or so. Well, well done. done, I love Bobby. him. I just love him. What can you do? I blame him! He's not going to play. He's not going to make it quite good. You fucking bastard! You bastard! You, you pussy yo! Nah, that's a bastard move, fam. It's not fucking good enough. We're in trouble here, mate. Yeah. Don't let him whip it on his left. Don't you no, dare. Oh, it came out of nowhere. Jesus, oh, Trent. Oh, my days. Oh, I Nana didn't was, even uh, move. Yeah. Trent came out of nowhere. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, did you Trent see? No, position. but guys, yeah. guys. Did you see that on the, the, on the... Yeah. Did you see that on the counter-attack? We have four men up. Look, Trent Play was hiding. Them. Sneaky. Oh. oh. He was hiding. He came from the left Guys, attacking Guys, we had four men up. Play the guillotine pass. Yeah. He can't we had it. four men up. Nah, that's, Hold on a minute. That's, that's, that's his biggest you issue. You told me not in that, that moment. he's not capable of Not in that moment. You got you know, to... That's his biggest he's issue. That, that's this his. He's making in the final five. You know but this. why are you getting mad? You know he can't play the not in that. You're in that moment, He's flex. not good enough. In that you. moment, he's not good flex. enough. He said it to me. He's not good enough. KG's I'm not hard. asking for the half turn. I'm asking. I know you can do that. That one, I know you can do. Come on, play it. Oh, this is a chance. I know you can do this one. It's got Anthony, Please. Come on, Anthony. Oh, this is a chance. Don't do that. Right foot. Oh, right foot again. Oh, oh my. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. That was this a This is a good moment. moment. Yeah. I, told you, I told you we'll get a couple chances in the Rasmus. game, guys. Rasmus. Use your right foot. That's where Alice and is again. brilliant. Oh, he's not physical enough. Right. He's got to shut out that, that space for number three. Mm. Should have drilled it across. Yeah. Yeah. Even if the Rasmus second touch, it, I would have lost. No, that's just good. That's good goalkeeping. Is to beat Allison from that angle is tough. But fair play, at least we created a chance. <laughs> but it does show that if you show just a little bit of quality, what I was trying to ask for, that I said that I was told we can't do. I didn't if say they show a little bit, but I didn't say that. I'm saying but, no, but I'm saying, no, I'm saying a that. little bit. Is it, they can get a chance because Liverpool ain't that good. Hey, hey, but you can. Oh fuck! Man, oh, no, no, man, no, 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 man, no, no, Well done, Dalo. Dalo got back. Dalo got back. Oh, that's ours as well, you know. That's not. Oh, that that get ours. back in, get back in. That is ours. Yeah. Oh, shut there. up, Michael yeah, Oliver. Taking yeah. the passion out of the game, you prick. Yeah, yeah. But that's our ball, you know. It's the 91st minute at Anfield. Can't fucking what stand you. Red? Can't. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! Oh, man! Fucking squat. What do you mean? You are. Michael Oliver, you are he's, a, he's a twat. You're a twat. Pig. Yeah? You're a twat. Oh, shut You're a twat. Up, man. Because when it's... what's his name, Nunes, cussed you out, yeah? You didn't Pretty. say nothing. You didn't give him a second yellow. Michael Oliver's you disgusting. Fucking he's a, such a fool. Oliver, you little This is a prime pumpkin. example Absolutely. of refs who want to make it all yeah. about them. We thought we got rid of that in Mike Dean. Because our fucking ball! Oh, 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 I told you that's ours. You look. Fucking and then you're not and then you're not allowed to show no passion. I told you that's ours. Yeah. Come on, bro. It's, it's a night. It's a night. It's a big game. It's a derby. This is a I swear to God. So he gets oh a yellow God. for that, and then he probably says something else after that. Waste now we've got man. no dollar for free. Waste man. It's the, it's the night Waste for man. fucking minute. He's a fucking pom pom. That ref. I swear to God. This. Mm. We've done it. Look, he's looking at me. Yeah! Oh, shit! Yes! Come on! Six nil. Come on! Clean sheet. Well done. Clean sheet. Every single Clean player. Sheet. You fucking worked hard. Yes. 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 Well done! Come on! We I, fought a sacrificial lamb. I said, I said, I said no, the no. on the card. So did I. Mine, so did I. No, no. I said it. Right, yeah. no, no. I said it. We fought for that shit. And who would have thought? Hey. Who would have thought? Give, hey, give this man some credit, fam. We fought for that game. 13 guys out, fam. These every Worked player hard. down to their man, bro. Worked hard. That's it. No embarrassment, bro. We fought Come and we on. got something out of it. I am filled, fam. I'm fucking taking that. I know it's got that result. Good result. Good result. 
Lineups are out, KG. Uh, <laughs> watch, to be fair, watching that back, the celebrations at the end, kind of a little bit crazy. But uh, oh, Chelsea have scored. Yeah. They should be there. And 10 and down, you can score. Come on. They should. Uh, but yes, lineups are out. You can see them on the screen right there. In goal, Andre Onana. The back four, what we thought, Wamba Saka. At full back, he could be left back, he could be right back. We've got him down as right back, but he could easily play left back today. Uh, the centre backs are Rafael Varane and Victor Lindelof. Um, other full back is Diego Dalla. We've got him down at left back again, could be right back. They could switch over. Midfield, Kobe Mainu and Scott McTominay. Scott McTominay starts in uh, midfield due to Casemiro being out of action through injury. It was reported, as we mentioned, late last night that Casemiro was out of action. So Casemiro is out. McTominay uh, is in. Um, Bruno Fernandes in front of them. But positive KG, the front three, the front three that was working for Manchester United is back. That being Garnacho, seemingly on the right-hand side. Rashford on the left-hand side. Rasmus Hoyland through the middle. The bench, we've got Tom Heaton. We've got Camboala, Camboals, um, Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire, Ahmad, Amrabat, Ericsson, Forson, Mason Mount does make the bench today. Hey! And and, <laughs> uh, and Anthony rounds things out as well. As far as Liverpool, we do have their team news. We can get their team up on the screen right now. They've got Kelleher in goal, of course. At the moment, Allison's injured. Their back four is Robertson at left back. They've got Van Dyke, Kwanzaa as the centre back partnership. Gomez seemingly starting at right back today. Midfield three for them is McAllister, Endo, and Sabozlai, which they've been starting together recently and a front three of Diaz, Nunes and Mo Salah. Their bench consists of Adrian, Gakpo, Elliot, Simakas, Clark, McDonald, Gravenberg, uh, Dans and Bradley. But KG starting off with the United team. What do you make of it? What are your thoughts? You know what? Um, we're not playing three. You're not playing three, five, two. Oh, yeah, well, KG. <laughs> hotel meeting. Hotel meeting and that. Um, not surprised. <laughs> hotel is at the, the Ivy. Yeah, Ivy. Um, no, but you know what? Like, it's it's mad because I kind of want to give Amrabat another goal, just because I know possession might be, is going to be a lot in this game. And in that midfield, he just obviously he's never been fancied. But mate, like the one thing for McTominay will not like when we're trying to get out as much as everyone else struggled. McTominay's not going to offer that. So it's like my thing today is. He's just going to be in there fight, putting out. It's hard because he doesn't really put out fires properly. So it's like, it's it's hard to always understand the inclusion of him sometimes when it's not off the bench late and well, stuff. I, I forgot like, this. I forgot this until I was putting together those match view highlights. He, he captained us at Anfield. We forget that. He was the captain that day at Anfield. Mm -hmm. And that's because we were, again, the midfield was completely decimated at the time for injury. I mean, like you, I mean, you you would have maybe looked at it and said, Amrabat, you just want a bit of like a bit of grit, a bit of more, a bit of bite in that midfield. We can't have McTominay be a passenger today, particularly with their midfield free. They've got strong can't midfield allow free. Can't with allow Endo, it. McAllister and Sabozlai. Um, so that everyone's gonna have to do their job. And I mentioned this earlier on that it's almost, it's not, it sounds like a knock against him, and it's really not, but like for McTominay, we found his best role is off the bench. When you say that, it sounds like you're saying, oh, his best role is, you know, left back at home, that kind of yeah. sort of thing. But it's not like because this season, when he's come off and been used off the bench, he can he gets in the box and he put balls in there. He can score goals. But for 90 minutes against Liverpool at Old Trafford, it's um yeah, it's it's that's a, that's a tough one, but I mean, that's, it sums up our season, doesn't it? Losing Casemiro on the on the eve of facing uh, Liverpool, Old Trafford, it sums us up. But again, you know, not in a negative way. We're in this game, like we have to just show up. No excuses. We that's the energy today. It's like I don't want to look at the um, the bench and kind of cry. You know, we got Mason Mount on the bench, which is something really good. So we do have an injection, something that can change things. My just my dream scenario would have been uh, Amrabat starting with um, Kobe because it's going to Amrabat getting into, into the speed of the game. I think we struggle. But if he's to start the game in that position, why not? You know, you got like, and I know it just sometimes it just doesn't work for players. But I'm like, even when you look at like Sabitz is another player that he kind of puzzles me sometimes because I'm like, this, this was a good player, came to Man United and he just he couldn't get going, but he's a good midfielder. You know what I mean? We never got to see the best of him, unfortunately, you know, because it just, 
it just didn't go his way. You know what I mean? But is, is he a rubbish player? No, he's not. And for me, it's like, I would like Amrabat to get a real run, not at left back, as the, in his position, let's have a look. You know, that's mm. one of the things, because I know what um, McTominay is going to offer us in this game. And it's going to be a lot high energy, but then I'm talking about trying to play out and try to trying to play a level of football. Are we going to get that from him? No, well, because he's why he plays. It's funny you mentioned. Well, it's funny you mentioned Sabitza because I have seen people been they've been doing that recently. They've been doing the whole we should have kept Sabitza, we should have done this, we should have do, done that. And universally at the time in the summer, everyone was going, "Oh no, Sabitza, like he was okay, you know, maybe yeah. we should, but we should go so on." I think the intention was we thought that we were going to be getting sort of midfield upgrades in the summer, which you could argue that like, we did buy a midfielder in Mason Mount, so that's what people thought was going to be. The, oh, what a goal! Did you see that KG? Four. That Wake was wicked goal. Yeah. Maddie yeah. Wake, that was a fantastic... He was just jinking in and out. Like, that was mm. phenomenal. Bloody hell, that took me yeah. by surprise, mate. Yeah, kind of stuck, hung in the air for a while, yes. Um, let's look at the Liverpool team, though, actually, KG. Um, they can see it right there. They go there 4-3-3. Three, three. Look, they've got their injuries defensively. That's why they've got Kwanzaa in there at centre-back with Van Dijk. That's why they've got Gomez um, at right-back. Um so no Trent, obviously they've got no like Canate and there's no Allison in goal. It hasn't stopped them recently. They've still been winning games. They've still been performing very well. That was one of the things, wasn't it, when they played City last week? That um, you know, the, with the players out that they had, they were still incredibly impressive. But maybe that's just the Anfield factor. And in, and in the same vein, we have to make the Old Trafford factor um, work for us as well today, don't we? You know. But you look at that sort of should we say front six, that midfield three, and that front three. I like the fact that you mentioned the Old Trafford factor. Where I don't know if we've seen that a lot this season. I don't know how many games we've lost at home this season, but there that's been where we've been. I don't know if it's just playing at home, and I don't know what it is with us, but we kind of struggled at home as well, you know. Mm. Like so, I, I, we haven't turned it into a um, you know before it was like it was it was a place to be when we was playing at home. For some strange reason, no one we wasn't losing games, but we haven't made it a fortress this um this season and i'm hoping today we show a different vibe today we we're really a team that like again hard for resolute like everything you wouldn't imagine because we have to sit i imagine we'll still be sitting back in this one i can't imagine us um yeah they'll really, still have possession yeah yeah they'll yeah. have possession they have a lot of possession yeah, yeah. um darwin nunez is gonna be a threat the whole this whole game and we have to be ready luckily victor lindelof is a clever defender as well alongside um Rafa Varane so we should we should be okay but again it's there's problems even now you look at is Robinson back in blood yeah hell. Robinson. yeah yeah well and also look it's, it's Mo Salah as well isn't it Mo Salah I think he scored the most goals in his Liverpool career is against uh, Manchester United I think as an individual club so you know <laughs> he's always up for it he's up for those he's up for those those big games so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be big for us today. It's gonna be tough for us to get uh, today. If you were gonna pick a United player that you're that you're looking to stand out for us today, KG, who'd you be who'd you be looking at? Um, you have to look at Alejandro Canacho. He'd be the difference. He'd be the um he'd be the piece in this in this fixture. You know, wide an injection of pace. He'd just be you want him to just get at his man and do do a job. You know, find like I think Rasmus could be one of those guys, but again, he's playing against two dominating centre backs. You know, what I mean, Quanz has played; he's been good this season as well. Like he's not like Liverpool fans are really excited about the likes of him in their team, and then Virgil Van Dijk, who will know how to deal. Pace is going to be something where we can get a lot going. You know, that's where we're really going to find ourselves. We're kind of we're lucky that that youngster that they got was that kid, Bradley. It's lucky that he's not there actually, because he's yeah, it's oh my goodness, mate. He's he's one that you think, oh my like he's a problem. You know, I watched him play a few times and he's a very clever player. Find can knows how to find space, knows how to just just create Ooh, West Ham, West Ham. I didn't know what what West Ham win? That? No, Some, it's one nil. What well, who's that against Aston Villa? Yes. Oh, man. I, I mentioned this. I mentioned this earlier on. Yeah, mate. This season's wild because a 
lot of stuff's gone our way this week, KG. I mean, with, with the teams no, in Europe, teams in Europe, fifth place counts. Yesterday with Spurs, today. Pff, I told you, mate. Crazy. Top, crazy. I was talking about that. I said top four's on. Everyone said that. Remember that show that we did? <laughs> well, you said, but this is but this is the point with this, isn't it? Is that yes, like yes now. Aren't technically, me? it is. It is. But, it's, but there's there's two parts of the equation, isn't there? Yeah. First part of the equation was, and this, and I wasn't confident on both of them. But the first part of the equation is, will teams slip up? And the answer is yeah. yes. We have seen that they have slipped up. The second part of the equation is, will United capitalize on that slip up? That's the part. That's the unknown. Do you That's have scary, faith? Mark. Do That's you have the faith, scary Mark, part. to do that? Yes. Yes. I had all the faith. Yeah. I lost like some faith when I saw Casemiro down and out. I was like, like ew, we just got, we're just getting everything back to normal. But luckily, I, I've not heard any information on how bad the injury is. Hopefully, it's not um, a huge one. Are you with me? Hopefully, mm. it's like, hopefully, it's something light, you know, because that's what we really need. We need something where he'll be back for, you know, the business end because we need him. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is we need him. We need to yeah. play him. But then it maybe opens up the door because you might be able to put Kobe back into the six and play Mason Mount in the um in the eight with Bruno. Like what they mm. planned to do all along. Because you know my before was like, well, how do we make how do we make Mason Mount work when it when it starts to get going? Well, yeah, and what's now the plan? What's the plan? That was the question, now, wasn't it? Away the, um, yeah, it was the question. But with Casemiro being out, you take away that question, really, and you say, well. Put him in then, innit? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they, um, because well, the question was, was he going to drop Kobe for the likes of Mount and the Casemiro, um, Bruno midfield? And everyone was like, he can't do that. There's no way he does that. Now, he doesn't have to really deal with that level of question where it's like, are you going to drop someone that's a, one of our most decorated players for um, a guy that you gave the number seven shirt to and a youngster that was, you know, like, it's sorted now. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, a couple of super chats here. Uh, Red Baron says, our midfield looks dodgy. It's going to be a long day. H says, awful midfield setup. Liverpool will embarrass us. Shit. <laughs> Matt says, it's crazy. Midfield, it's crazy. That, yeah. It's, oh, sorry. It's, it's crazy. We can get Champions League after this season we had. The funniest part is we can do it by finishing fifth. And uh, May says, uh, Amrabat is simply not up to the intensity of Premier League teams. Scott might not be brilliant, but he is well clear of handling the Premier League compared to Amrabat. Is that fair? Or do you say we don't know with Amrabat? I think we don't know. I think we just haven't given him games. Like, he just, he's, just been, he's just been a victim in that situation of he hasn't played. You know, like, what the hell? <laughs> I expect him to play. I expected him to have a lot more football than this. You know, mm -hmm. and it's it'll be another. I feel like he'll be another signing that leaves this place, and then after we're like, mm, could have done with him, you know, you know. But then it, again, he's his moments have been horrid moments of just you know mispassing the ball, like, which everyone can do, like not being sharp. He's not someone I think comes off the bench and you know like can like not that help you see it out, but he's not so he's, he's someone that you want to start. You know, some players are just starters. And then after you take them off to bring on someone for impact, I don't see him as being as slow as he is. Being he needs to be in the pace and tempo of the game from the beginning. You can't let him grow into a game from the bench. No, mate, that don't make no sense. So mm. it, I, I feel for him, man. I honestly do, man. He just not had he, this has been a horrid loan spell for him. His value's gone down, um, and he's playing. And the guy that's ahead of him has had chance upon chance. And I just really hope, because I don't want to talk down on McTominay because many a times he saved us in in some games, you know. So today I just got back McTominay and he's the he's the main guy. Um, I know where his where his deficiencies lay in terms of us trying to play out. And you know, like being smart, the one through the lines, you have to when you get the moment of like this opening a space between Virgil the center backs. And he's and Hoyland's running through, and the ball falls to McTominay. You know he's not going to do that round the corner one or that mm. one through the lines. Like he just doesn't have that in his game. He will go left. He will go right. So then, when he asked me about what players can be, you know, devastating or hurt Liverpool, you have to mention Ganacho because he's going to have a lot of the ball today. 
Well, another player you do have to mention, he's back, he's up front. Of course, he is Rasmus Hoyland. Um, missed a couple of games through injury, of course, just before actually that uh, Fulham game that he got that uh, that injury and he was out for a couple of weeks. Um, I was mentioning this earlier on, KG. We kind of forget, because of so much has happened in the last two or three weeks with United and the loss against Fulham and the Manchester derby defeat as well, we kind of do forget just what great form he was in. I mean, he was setting records <laughs> for people his age in terms of consecutive goal-scoring games. Do you think he picks up where he left off? Or do you have a bit of concern of, you know, he's been out for a couple of weeks, might take him a while to get up and going? Or, or do you think, no, he's, he's settled now. He, he knows what he's got to do. Great question. Um, we're going to know a lot about this, this, this first half, man, really, because... He's a he's not saying he's a confidence player because he's got strong mentality, like really believes in himself. This is a guy, this is a guy that was playing at a lesser club, you know, um, how many months ago? He's turned up in Man United and been a solo striker. We don't even no one even mentions Marshall's name anymore. Like, like we forget that he's he's still on the books, you know. He's coming here and he knows he has to be the focal point of the of the nice. club. Nice. And <laughs> and he's doing, I would say he's doing a good job. But you know that it got to him when he went on that like that barren run. It was getting to him, you know. So we just gotta hope that that player that knows he scored his goal already doesn't need to worry about when I'm out. My Premier League goal gonna come. Just play the game same with the same attitude. You just run down everything. When you started scoring goals again, you started to see him winning those one v those um those duels with the defense with the centre back. When he wasn't. He wasn't winning them. He just wasn't. He didn't find that extra bit of strength. He didn't find that little yard of pace there because it's it's a confidence thing. You know, we literally, we just need to make sure it, it, as soon as we can feed him the ball, that's the killer because he was also in a team that didn't know him, didn't know his game and wouldn't pass to him. <laughs> you know, didn't understand his runs, didn't understand nothing. And there was a little bit of selfishness in the Man United front three, you know, um, but now hopefully... They they got a habit of playing with each other. They like each other. You know the group chats go in and everything. So now I feel like there's that there's that happiness of passing to each other. There's that happiness. I think Ganacho, if he's in and he sees him, he'll look up and want to pass to him because of that friendship. Hopefully, uh, a couple more super chats. Lanny says that Liverpool midfield dominated cities. Lol. Uh, Red Baron says our midfield is like a what's it lock on the door. Yeah. Um, we've got over 1,100 people watching, still less than 300 likes. The aim, as we're about 35 minutes away from kickoff, the aim is to get to 500 before kickoff, which we're well on the way to doing. So if you haven't already, click that like button. Be sure to subscribe as well, bottom right-hand corner. Uh, we'll see the sub count in just a second once we go back onto the main screen. But before we do, KG, can we have the conversation? What conversation? The uh, Can we have the Mason Mount conversation? We're going to be doing that a lot today. I could every five minutes, every five minutes. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah, let's have the Mason Mount conversation. Eric Ten Hag, I don't know if you saw his comments. It was in the embargo part of his press conference yesterday. I haven't and, seen it. And he was, look, he backed his player, as you would expect. That's what Ten Hag does in those press conferences, right? Backs his players. But he said that Mason Mount was class player and he's uh, certain, you know, he's going to be a part of a very successful Manchester United. He's been very unfortunate with the injuries. Where, where, do, you, where do you lay with the Mason Mount uh, situation? Do you think he can contribute? Do you think for the last 10 games of this season, every game is a final, do you think uh, he can contribute? Because, I mean, I'm just saying actually here, at the moment, I was saying earlier on, we didn't know what was going on with uh, Casemiro. Uh, it looks like the report is, I don't know who's reporting it though. Let me just double check this. Um, it's Samuel Luckhurst is saying Casemiro has suffered a reoccurrence of a hamstring injury. Dressing room sources, Luckhurst, dressing room sources have suggested the intense demands of Manchester United's training sessions have contributed to Casemiro's latest setback. As soon as he said dressing room sources, I knew he was going to say something sort of negative. I knew it, KG. I just knew. As soon as you see that dressing room sources, you go, here we go. Here we go. So once again, they say he's got a hamstring injury. And uh, Luckhurst, according to dressing room sources. Why can't it have uh, injury just be a hamstring injury? Why has it got to be a whole new um, EastEnders, like, drop? You know, like, it's it's because of this, mate. The players break down. It's like, that happens in a game. Now it's like, oh, uh, because something, it always has to be a scandal. 
Like yeah. it's it, it doesn't need to be a scan. He got injured in training. He has a hamstring injury. They're trying to monitor and make sure that he doesn't, you know, aggravate this, that, and the other. All of a sudden, bloody hell. And what's good is that they don't look at the positives of maybe now they found it, hopefully he found it early, this, that, and the other. He didn't run on it in training and he'll be back sooner, you know. Like, but it's again, it's, it's the man, it's the unfortunate media way with Man United, you know. That's because now it's like another thing to use our uh, ten hearts to blame for, you know, making sure these players work hard, mate. We want players to work hard. <laughs> it's we crazy, want, isn't it? We it's want so players to work hard. We want the players to give their all in training so they can give their all in a game. You know, like that's. That's what we really want. You know what I'm saying? Now we want some relaxed training. And after we're going to say, what were they doing in training? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't win. In these situations here, I just feel like you can't win. But it's... No. <sighs> and, and, this is, and this is where people are right when they talk about, like, the media and they talk about that kind of stuff. Like, you got to be careful. We are minutes away from facing Liverpool in the FA Cup, right? Quarter final, Old Trafford. And they're still trying to stir shit. Like they're still trying. You know, what I mean? they're like, they're like, we've still got time. There can be drama before kickoff. We got because there hasn't really been that kind of like big dramatic. You know, like when we played City the other week, it was Rashford and the interview and blah blah blah. Like they're still looking at their watch. There's still time. We can get one sort of big sign of story involved here. And it's uh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's Ten Hag's fault with the training sessions. It's too much, KG. You should know better. Too heavy, too, again, um, we've had so many different ones. I remember when we said players don't want to train until late in the evening and they kind of made it out that the fake players just want to go home and play FIFA. Like, <laughs> they just, they just want to be like, they, the players don't like it when how long training's... T- Come on, man. It's just making stuff up. They do stuff to make us... If some people already hate the players, there'll be articles to support hating the players even more. If there's some people that don't hate that don't like the manager, there'll be articles to help you in support of hating the manager. You know, there'll always be a thing. So it's just it's united. It's typical. I'm kind of I'm getting to a, a space where I am used to it now. I understand the I understand the movement. I understand how these guys move and stuff. And just can't be done over by them. Like they don't mm. want to see us united. They don't want to see us come together as a fan base. They don't want to see that good vibe and good that good feel, you know, like before it was brilliant. Even I remember like, even when I used to look at the Arsenal fan base, it was incredibly divided, you know, winger in, winger out. Like it was mad. Then you had the, I don't think anyone was like the owners in, to be honest there, but it was incredibly divided. I think they had that great season and all the fans are kind of back under one banner. I don't think there's many that are really still shouting Arteta out. If there are, I'm I'm shocked, you know, and Man United just need that, that good feeling that's going to be impenetrable to the media, like no matter what they try. But again, the only way you can build something up like that is wins. You know, we have to go on a solid run where, again, they're not questioning when we, whoever we beat, it's got to count. Yesterday, um, another thing that people are not mentioning, the um, Spurs lost to Fulham and they haven't been beaten there for like over how many, what, 16 years? They never lost in that kind of at fixture. I think, at, was it, who was at home? I think Fulham was at home, right? Yeah. Away or something. Bro, that record means nothing. It'll never be out there. It'll never be publicized. It'll never be a big... It's not because it doesn't suit the narrative. Records being broken. There's a record that um, Big Andy just broken yesterday. It doesn't mean nothing. That record doesn't count for nothing. The whole thing about shots faced, you'll never know how many shots faced in that game, in that Spurs game. Why? Because it doesn't fit the narrative that they want to send. It just doesn't. For Man United, we're going to we're gonna learn. Even if it's off target, mate, toy it up. Let the people know. Yeah, Ridiculous. yeah, yeah. I just think, like I said, I can maybe I'm projecting here, but I you just you can imagine the conversation, can't you? Going so like he's speaking to his, so I'm sure he has sources, but speaking to a source, going so what happened with Casemiro, and they go oh, hamstring, and you go that's because training sessions too hard, right? That's what that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like they go into it with with the narrative already that they want to put out there, and it's just. <sighs> It's just, it's crazy, isn't it? But that is the news when it comes to Casimir. It's a reoccurrence of a, of a hamstring issue. Uh, a couple more Super Chats here as well. Um, uh, Frankie Fast Hands says, off topic, <laughs> but I can't stop saying that's bang out of order, mate. Um, F off. I wonder why. Don't know where it's called that for, mate. It's bang out of order. Right? <laughs> Fuck off, mate. <laughs> and the best thing is with KJ and, and like accents, like he do, he learns phrases, you know what I mean. You can say That's phrases. Right. Right, mate. <laughs> Highlight for life. Highlight for life, mate. 
<laughs> just learn a couple of phrases and that's it, right? <laughs> uh, Red Barrow with the super chat says, How would you describe our midfield? I mean, injured, weak. No, listen, I'm not doing that today. I'm not being negative now. I'm going to go into this yeah. game. That's good. That's very, you dropped drop the now. Very very important to preface that because it could just imagine a goal start. I want to be in this game excited. There's an opportunity. We, I know we're the weaker squad. We're the weaker team. But I don't want to hear that crap. We're getting do or die. We're getting, this guy is doing, he's got the camera just rotating around him like he's the king of Old Trafford. He's not, bro. It's year and Klopp. We have to deal with this guy. End of the day, that's as simple as that. Them lot here, we need to do not like a giant killing, but the way with the level that we're at right now is we're not where we used to be. I want Sunez crying in his car. I don't want him happy at this one. I need Roy Keane smiling over, looking at him, saying, Yeah, piss off, bro. That's what I want. So I'm not coming here with just lying down defeats. No, bro. I hope McTominay gets a break. I hope he scores a goal. I hope again. Um, Rashford does something as well in this game. Bro, we have to move to these lot. These lot have done, these lot, the, how they treated us here, yeah? Liverpool in the, in, the, in the running. I'm sick of it, bro. This game is our game to define ourselves and say, look, we're going to be stand up and be counted in it. I don't care. It's 11 v 11, bro. And they're no different to us. Let's get it. Let's go after it. At least if we walk off this pitch here yeah, and we worked harder than them, then I can't complain. But that's what we got to do. Work harder than them. Win every battle. When the ball's there, win those 50-50s, bro. That's what it's got to be. we got to be possessed in this one. It has to be that situation, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hearing, uh, imagine, uh, we don't have... Nope, nope, nope. This game means everything to the Man United fan base. Let's go. I um I was wondering what Graham Sunes was saying there as well. Now, obviously, the viewers won't be able, the viewers won't be able to hear this at home. We can actually turn um the 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 sound on. Can you oh, hear that, KJ? Can you yeah. Hear that? yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll have we'll have the commentary in the game. But when Graham Sunes is talking, I'll um, I'll unmute it for us again, KJ, because um I'm sure he's just having a moan. Of course, he's having a moan. I can't. I don't know who he thinks he is, bro. And I get it. Like, yeah. What amazing player in his time in it, but shut up, Graham. Man, like some of the things he says, yeah, he's going on like his Liverpool team have been amazing for years, bro. You lot were sleeping, trying for how many years? The full thingy era, fam. I haven't seen you lot, and even in that time, bro, you've won one Premier League, mate. Like, I don't know where you lot have been great underachievers in the Premier League for years, bro. You only started to get your, your signings and stuff right in the Klopp era, bro. But Klopp's going, what next? What next year? Look, that's that, that. That's my main thing. You lot have been in the Premier League and embarrassing underachievers, bro. You man haven't delivered, yeah? We're talking about you guys as if like, and I understand it. You've been dealing with the City side, but find a way, bro. The same way, the same pressure that they put on us saying we should be up there. Well, why can't Liverpool win leagues? Why can't they get it done? It's just silence. And they got all their pundits in there crying when they don't do it and then wanting to glaze when they get something almost done. Piss off, bro. Mm. This game. Yeah, Jamie like Carragher. Yeah, Jamie Carragher the other week when he was saying this Liverpool City rivalry, it's the greatest rivalry in Premier League history in terms of. Well, be in it, man. Don't tell me if one team's winning it over and over again, what was you doing in that rivalry, fam? Because you man are up. It's your time now. And you've, you've allowed them to dunk on the league when you man are here. What now? Mm. And, and that's what that's what Gary Neville said. Gary Neville said he went. I can't. And he was in the studio with him. I can't remember. Someone was. In, it was Ian Wright was in the studio with him. And Gary Neville before the game came in and went. I can't believe no one's pushed back on that. He said, I would put the Man United Arsenal rivalry or the Man United Chelsea rivalry above that because his point was, I think the Arsenal United one. It's three league titles to United, two to Arsenal over like a five year period. Or the Chelsea one, it was the same, right? They won what are they, like yeah. three league titles, two under Jose, one under Carlo. Like and United, I think, win like four or five during that period of time. But like it's nip and tuck. And like as as people point out, City won the league every year apart from one. <laughs> every you know? year apart from one. Apart from that COVID season. And you lot a good team. You lot a team that was about to win the quadruple mate. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what happened, bro. And it look Listen, bro, Liverpool have let themselves down against Man City, innit? They're calling it a rivalry, and it's been for... It, they've won most of the games, bro. And, the, like, that's how it's been. It's They've won so many of the games, the manager's tired. He's literally saying, i got to go now. I can't, I can't go. 
Your, yeah. What, your, your Klopp impression is one of your better ones. Your Klopp impression Thank is strong. You. you know. Can you can you give us another? Can you give us another one of that? KG, uh, I gotta go. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> You're just smiling in that move, man. <laughs> Oh, I'm sick of it, bro. I'm sick of it. And it's do you know what it is? Yeah, it's because of all the pundits from 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 yesteryear, from Bill Thompson, bro. All of them. I'm not calling the news because they've won, they've been successful, but they're as pundits, annoying, bro. All of them, bro. Line them up, bro. Neeks, bro. Even the guy on what you call it, Stevie Nichol as well, bro. Bro, who come on, man. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm sick of it. Jamie Carragher talking like, bro, you couldn't even, you weren't even really playing for England like that, bro. Talking like some great, bro. You can't even, you couldn't, you shouldn't even be allowed to talk to um Gary Neville. Big Gary, you know. You go look up and say, bro, you know what, you know, I, I, I need to learn from you, fam. You weren't playing. Move, bro. Our position. Get out of here. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I mean, this Liverpool thing, you know, I actually, do, I, I really do hate Liverpool. Good, Liverpool. good, I mean, it, good, it, good. I've been hating Liverpool this whole time, bro. But now it's just, I'm just reminded, bro, because again, obviously they've been, they've been playing class, they've been, they've been class and this, that, and the other. But actually, let's scratch it and let's look at this thing with a fine, mm. a fine, like, you know what I mean? To say, wait, what's going on here, bro? And you know? last season, KG, this, and this was also worth pointing out last season, remember? And this is when you get into the, the contradiction. Because remember last season when Liverpool were rubbish, they were terrible. Do you remember the, the level of scrutiny? Do you remember the level of pressure that we're getting this season? Remember that? I don't really recall that much. I recall of, oh, they've got to fix it. They'll fix it. They'll be all right. It wasn't doom and gloom, was it? It was, oh, they'll fix it. Don't worry. Oh, they'll be all right. It was a yeah. rubbish season, bro. 2-0, come on, West Ham. I'm telling you now, mate, it gets harder when expectation, when expectation turns up, rears his ugly head, yeah? Bro, that's when we learn about teams. That's mm -hmm. when we learn. That's when we learn, bro. A uh, couple of super chats here. This is an interesting account, KG. It's called OnlyFans KG, and it just says oil up KG. That's, that's absolutely crazy, mate. Don't do that, right? Not at all. <laughs> Bang out of order that. <laughs> Star Lord's been a member for 21 months. Says if we beat Liverpool today, in the words of Deadpool, I'm touching myself tonight. <laughs> wow. No, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I don't you. know which one was worse. Only fans KG or Star Lord. Um, on a real note, I just want the W anyway possible. Shit house style. And uh, Lil Yo Yo with the super chat says KG tomorrow. Oh, if we hey. lose. Uh, yo, KG, yo, <laughs> KG tomorrow if we lose. It's been hard for me the last few days pretending I didn't know the truth. It's been hard for me this last few days. <laughs> Hey, Sparks Montana, like your dad. <laughs> That's, Come on, my man. That's my favorite KG. My favorite KG is getting angry at the chat, reading out nah, I just, people. Like, I just read some of the things, man. Yeah. I, just, I just read some of the things. Why not, bro? At your big age, bro, I'm a big man, fam. Touching big 40, fam. You think I'm on them playground questions, fam? Come on, bro. I could be your father as well, fam. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you haven't already, click the like button, guys. We've got uh, 382 likes, uh, 20 minutes to go until kickoff. 120, Oops. just under 120 likes remain until uh, until 500. KG, what you? <laughs> the bowl is chalked off, mate. Oh. <sighs> Uh, uh, Splashnet says our midfielder Anfield was Amrabat and uh, Cobby. Why change? And um, <laughs> only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans KG says what's bang out of order is showing cheeks in the pod, which is true. You did, oh KG. man, yeah. When well, I was looking for the keys, mate. I think all the points I was making instead of see a lot of crack there, mate. I couldn't even watch it like that was nasty, man. Mm. And I well, it was because I was main our manager. Listen to Eric Ten Hag's interview. He says it's a big opportunity. Looking, looking forward to big games. It's a huge game. It is true. Look at him. He's a pretty proper suited and booted as well. Mm. He's talking as he can feel belief on the training ground. Enjoying it. Ivy. Ivy. 
Hoyland is back. What's uh, Ten Hag going to say about him? Is he going to refine the rhythm instantly? He says he thinks so. Yes, KG. And he would never lie. <laughs> you know, Eric, he would never lie. That's all. He's talking about his capabilities. Very training confident. He's training confident in training. He's excited and gives energy to the team. Oh, shut up, Jurgen Klopp. Oh, Jurgen. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. <laughs> shut him up. Get rid of him. Jurgen Fleck. Um, K Flo, the super chat says, KG, you know what pisses me off the most? Uh, United what? fans who tickle their man, you know what? Uh, you know what? And say, love football, get out. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's, uh, the little ball ticklers, bro. I'll see it. They, just, <laughs> they can't wait to just uh, live a uh, man. I love football so much more than the game. I'd f shut up, man. You support Man United, bro. That's our rivalry, fam. Stop glazing over these guys, bro. This is our real team. Glazing. That we hate. I mean, Gla you've you've recently been saying that quite a lot, KG. <laughs> yeah, because that's the best way to break it down. Because some of it's embarrassing, bro. It is. Some of it's embarrassing. These lot are. The, these are the I just you notice yeah there is a lot of anger and animosity towards Liverpool but I just don't talk about them but if you really just open up if you open up the tin of worms around there I just I can't stop and it's toxic bro I can't stand this team bro I mm. can't stand Liverpool honestly like with everything in me and that's why some days I wake up in the morning and I think oh I just hate East T equally Arsenal and Liverpool I just mm, can't stand you lot can't stand you lot um, nice. According to Samuel Luckhurst, uh, Aaron Rambasaka is warming up as a left back during Manchester United's attacking drills. So it looks Thanks. like Wambi is going, yeah, dressing room sources says uh, Tenag's a piece of shit, which is strange. He strangely added that on, but okay, it's fine. That's what he does. That's what he does, isn't it? Dressing room sources. Um, he didn't actually, by the way. The fact that that's believable is kind of the point, isn't it? Um, oh, Ganache was just doing the spin. <laughs> he was doing the Anthony spin. It was. Ganache. <laughs> Can I show us? Yeah. Okay. It's all right. I thought Anthony was doing I was going to say, oh, that's good for him. He needs to just feel like himself again, man. The guy's not even playing. He's so within himself. It's it's sad, man. It's a it's just a shadow of his former self, bro. He's, no, he's not there. I need him to come back. Now, Ganache is currently on the screen at the moment. They're uh, focusing on him doing some uh, analysis. I was saying earlier on, KG, that people... People forget like this is. I mean, I know he was he was playing in the first team last season, but that was kind of his sort of emergent season. He's been one of our most consistent players this year. <laughs> We're looking to him today. That's the killer. Like I'm not even putting. It's mad to say I'm not putting that pressure on Rashi because you know that's ridiculous to say. But again, he's been a player that's just it's just working. He's playing without fear. He's playing like a true youngster would. Just just in. He's just going out there enjoying his football. And he doesn't feel the pressure of the shirt. You know, it's, it, it fits perfectly. The guy's just out there. Yes, there's times where he has been inconsistent this season. You know, he hasn't been, there's been good games, bad game, good game here. But one thing for sure is this is his second season. Second, like, and he's playing our position. He wants to play on the left-hand side. Obviously, that side is not available for him. He's making the right-hand side work, and he's actually been a threat from over yeah. there. You know, like, when these lot are in the team together, I think the win percentage is is way up. I love to see the exact stat for that, but I, I remember saying, what was it like, Man United not lost a game with the starting three or something crazy like that or something good like that. Yeah, I forget. I mean, but they were, like I said, they were finding each other a bit better. I mean, they still could find Hoyland a bit more, but they were finding each other a, a bit better um, in those games. And when we were looking at that going, well, that's, and now you look at it, that's our strongest front three. That's our, that, that's our, that, that's the combination we want. It, it, the players that we've got at this club that's the front three you want at the moment. It, now, it says a lot, doesn't it, about our recruitment in the past, you know, your Antonis, your, your Sanchos, your, even your Amads, I suppose, that the answer to the right-hand side was someone that plays on the left-hand side and is more comfortable on the left-hand side. But still, look, that front three, we're going to need him to do the business today. And actually, look, I suppose we haven't spoken that much about him. Uh, Marcus Rashford, KG. Yeah. Now that he's going to be back on the, uh, on the left today, do you expect to see see more from him? Do you expect to see him uh, show up today? What do you What do you think about Rashi? Again, you know, Rashi is one of the ones that the manager said in the last presser. Look, he's not going anywhere. He's a big part of what we're doing at this club. Like, it's really yeah. important to how we want to move forward. Um, he's key, you know. Like Rashford, 
needs to get his head down and really enjoy this game. I want the players just fighting, bro. Like, I, I'm trying to take some pressure of Rashi. I'm trying to just say, look, go out there and play yourself, play your game, and then just express yourself. That's what I need from Rashi. Bloody oh, look, Tyson Fury. He's in great shape, but I can't take it. Okay. What's he wearing? He's, he's also doing the interview with the microphone down by his side, so he's not actually talking into the microphone. Great mic. He does look to be in good shape, though, doesn't he, KG? He's in great shape. That's someone that's, that's, someone that's ready for. This miss it. It's a, it's a football conversation. I don't know what you're going to get. Let me quickly check on the kids before, what do you call it? Like, yes, yes. Go ahead, KG. Go ahead, KG. KG's going to go be a father. Um, he's going to go be a responsible adult as well, which who knows how this is going to go. Who knows if he's going to show his crack when he gets up as well. We didn't see it, which is good. That's positive. Um, how many likes are we currently at at the moment? We're less than 100 to go until 500 likes, which was the aim before kickoff. We are what's that? 13 minutes away from kickoff. So if you haven't already clicked the like button, we can get not only 500, I think we can go even higher. We can probably set new records as well. So if you haven't already, click the... Uh, Click the click the like button. Mina says his what? You gotta watch the Trinity. You gotta watch the Trinity because KG, yeah, gave everyone maybe more than they were more than they were bargaining for when he got from his chair to find his keys during the Trinity. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Uh, but less than fifty likes to go to five hundred. So yes, click the like button and be sure to subscribe as well. Um, I think we got some super chats as well. Maybe here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, no, we're caught up when it comes to Super Chats as well. When it comes to Rashford, um, like I said, we haven't really spoken about him that much, actually. And maybe that's because of the players returning. Maybe that's because of, you know, the the Hoyland and um, the talk about Garnacho. But now that he's back on the left-hand side, you would hope to see more from him. I mean, I still do think since he's done that interview or once he did that Players' Tribune piece, how do you say it, by the way? Is it Tribune or Tribune? Because Flex says it differently to me. I thought it was Tribune, but is it Tribune? What's the right way to say it? Or is it just an accent thing? Both are right. You let me know in, in the chat with that one. Because um, I'm not sure. <laughs> you got one. Tribune. Tribune's right, I think. Isn't it? Maybe? I'm not sure. But yes. <laughs> Tribune. So I'll spell it phonetically as to which one's which one's the right way. I was right. Tribune. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that was the, I thought that was the right way to say it because I've had um, the 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 wrestlers do sometimes players Tribune articles, and um, when Flex was saying it, I was like, oh, am I, have I been saying that the wrong way? So uh, yeah, Tribune. Yes, thank you very much. The chat. Um, yeah. So since he's done that, um, you look, you put pressure on yourselves. Now, I guess. Rashford can sometimes play better um, when he does have the chip on his shoulder. We saw that uh, the game after he went out in Belfast against Wolves, he scored. We saw that against City. He scored that fantastic goal and all eyes were on him. But it's even funny, the the, the City way, isn't it? Because the, the City one, because he scored that fantastic goal that day, but there were still some that were like, well, yeah, but he didn't. He didn't play very well. Um, he scored the goal, but then he missed some chances afterwards. And second half, he was kind of quite flat and was jogging again. Don't know if he played well. Today, again, he needs to show up. He needs to show up. I'll, I'll tell you what, we're getting a mixed response with uh, <laughs> with the with the Tribune versus Tribune. I Again, I thought it was Tribune. But uh, Splashnet says, I say Tribune. K-Flow says Tribune. Um, Tribune. Um Tribune. I think it's Tribune. I think. I think. I think it's Tribune. That. It, it, but that. This is what I was saying. Was it just a, a one where it's like, depending on where you're from and what country you're in, it could be said differently. Is is that is that the same thing? I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm, that's this. That's maybe it's going to bug me now. Um. Yes. Uh. Sunil says, "Where has KG gone? KG's ch checking on ch his children." <laughs> Um, we're less than 30 likes away, by the way, um, from 500. So if you haven't already, click the like button. And as you can see there, top right-hand corner, we're on 161,737. Um, what could our aim be to get to today? Well, we can get to you know, 161,750. It's very doable. That's a nice round number. Probably a bit too much to get to 162,000 today. 
but um, anything's possible. Uh, Red Baron with the super chat says, um, you always say I could care less, which is American makes no sense in the UK. It's I couldn't care less. I know. I know that is one. I need to, I need to do better with that. Um, I'll ask KG what he thinks when he's got the, there you go. KG's back. When, um, KG, you know the 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 outlet that Marcus Rashford did his article with a couple of weeks ago yeah. before the City game. How yeah. do you pronounce that? I can't remember the name of the outlet though. Was it... <laughs> the players blank. Tribune. Do you do you call it Tribune? Yeah, that's what I call. It. But Flex calls it Tribune, and I thought Tribune was right. Tribune. That feels right. Yeah, that feels right. Of, but... I think the chat are saying. Tribune. It feels right, but again, I again I'm no one to talk when it comes down no. to propagation. You know, um I still can't uh, I struggle with the word favorite. I pour an R in there. <laughs> or uh, fever. A fever. So again, is, is, like, is, is fever your favorite game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't even know. Like, so, yeah, it just, it goes like that. Maybe Flex is right. It is what it is. I, again, just, sh- there you go. <laughs> like, where, it's like what my, um, I, like my family members I like, call Wednesday, Wednesday. Do you know what I'm saying? They like a big, it's a, it's a whole, it's a whole thing, you know? So mm. it is what it is. I accept it. Uh, the Devil's Advocate's been a member for two months, says, surely it's Tribune. Think Tribunal. I've never heard anyone calling it Tribunal. Um, yeah, look, it's generating a lot, of, a lot of discussion. Oh, look at the mascot's crying. He's crying in his car! Bless him. Oh, he's really not happy about this game, is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> KJ has a bit much. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> Obviously very scared, you know what I mean? It's a big, big stadium. It's a big atmosphere, man. He shouldn't let that little kid, but he probably wants to get out there and his parents have told him, listen, go out there, son. But he's not ready for this game. No. Are I'll you ready up. for this game, KG? Absolutely. I'm up for it. Well up for yeah. it. Can't be afraid of these, man. Can't be afraid of these. Want to just stick it to these lot. I don't know who they think they are. We're at home. Let's go. Uh, we hit 500 likes, by the way, guys, uh, already. Yes, Oh, uh, with six minutes to go until kickoff. So uh, let's see how many we can get before kickoff as well. Players, I think, are in the tunnel. The atmosphere is starting to build at Old Trafford. Katie, shall I put the sound on for us? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, it's Graham Sooness. I'll mute that for a second. I can't stand yeah, it. Mute that. Mute that yeah. loser. Um, yeah, we don't want to hear from him, man. At the end of the day, like we, it's about us today. It's about how we approach this game and we just do our job. We must do our job today. Oh, Minna's right with this. I did see this, Minna. Thank you for pointing this out. She says, awesome. Owen, did you see AGT's combined 11? He's so shameless. I need us to slap um, them for him. He did a combined 11 and basically it was all Liverpool players. He said, no United player gets into Liverpool starting 11. Was he? So hold on, in all positions, let's go. Oh, every like... position, it's all Liverpool players, he said. Um, all right. Well, Onana gets in over um, whoever this um, this this Kelleha, whatever his name is. Uh-huh. Kelleha's a good yeah. goalkeeper, though. He's best number two in the league. Okay, <laughs> our number one's in, isn't it? But right, I think, so- but I think, but I think he went with. I'm not sure. Did he go with everyone? Uh, so, yeah, he said Bradley over Dallo. That's taking a piss, though. I get he's had a. That's AGT. Few- That's what he does. Yeah, it's taking a piss. All right, cool then. But it's not like I think that for us, we need to wait till next season because uh, when we do combine elevens, it's embarrassing. But Rasmus is ahead of uh, I'll put Rasmus ahead of Darwin Nunes every day of the week. Not? Yeah, why yeah. not? That's not even a that's not even a I, I feel comfortable about that. How many chances do you want to get to him? We uh, we know our guy's feeding off scraps, he's finishing those. Your guy's just a is, and is, with right. center backs available. Why wouldn't you have Raphael Varane alongside uh, Virgil van Dijk? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Why I not? like that as well. Yeah. Um, Kobe, and then you do that. Kobe, Kobe's in that midfield. I'm putting him in there. Yeah. You know what? Just for that, we've got to win. Yeah. Oh, that's great, team. This is the energy that we're looking for as well. Great yeah. Team. Performance, yes, today. If you can turn it down a little bit for us as well, that'd be good. 
Yeah. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. So it's not enough. Yeah, it's whole screen. Um. Bro, we have to. We have to get done. We have to. Win it. You know what I mean? Mm. Where, what's your where, where's, What's your prediction? My prediction for this. Oh, that is a good one. My prediction for this is two one, two one, three one. United. Oh, Bruno picked up the kid. See Bruno, man. He saw the little mm. kid was struggling. He thought, you know what? Nah, you're getting out there. I'm going to carry you to the ground. I'm going to carry you onto the pitch. Bruno, man. Sort of the... Sort of the... Uh, love that guy. That was like the moment. You know when... Um, you, know that moment, you know them moments when you see, like, when Ronaldo does something nice that the cameras don't see and there's a whole montage of nice things that Ronaldo's done? Have you seen those videos? What's that? You know, like, nice things Ronaldo's done. They have it for a lot of players that, like, really big, amazing, like, good players. They'll do, like, a montage of them just being nice, but not for the cameras. Mm. I like watching little videos like that. So when they just, you know, like, nice to the mascot or say something nice to one of the, you know, say something good to the lino and stuff like that. They learn heartwarming videos. Nah, no into that. No. Heartwarming comps, footballing comps, no. Uh, I, I'm just I'm I'm over footballing comps. You know what I mean? Footballing, just in general. You know, social media is just, just too much for me. You know what I mean? I uh, now every been... I'm I'm into, I'm into I'm, yeah I know I'm in I'm into that well I'm into that territory. Not even like the nice stuff, just more in general social media. Like when you go on it, like at the moment, like you know what I hate when you see um like an interesting video they'll be like oh this is interesting and then you go to go to like the comments of it to see what people are saying about it and the comments are filled with more videos of unrelated stuff have you seen that oh yeah i've seen that but then sometimes you can get into a nice little black hole of just watching a lot of just content which is i find that fun as well because like i never would have found this video never Look at eric oh come on man eric No, we need Sorry. it. We need it today, KG. We need it. Wait, someone, a little yo-yo said, social media is too much for me. Kind of what you do for a job, Owen. <laughs> I know. I know that's the worst, isn't it? Well, it's more just sort of reflection of humanity, isn't it? I think that's the problem sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, did I say that? I said my score line's 3-1. You're going 3-1? Yeah. We're going to need to score goals to get this done. We can't be nervy. 1 0. We're not beating this team 1 0. We have to outscore him. Yeah, get your predictions in the chat here at the moment. 3 1. Come on. I'd love that. Just matching Bango. Score early. Score again. They score. We respond. Game done. That's what I'm looking for. That's the true mm. heart prediction, to be honest. Yeah. Who do they think, these, who do they, think they are? Const. We got to stop Salah today. I want to see where and uh, Wambi's playing. Look at Bruno talking to Kobe. Kobe. I just everyone have a responsible game. Come on. We are seconds away from kickoff. Bruno Fernandes standing over the uh, the ball Bruno. in the center spot, and we uh, are off on Old Trafford. Come on. Come on, boys. You lot can do it. you got what, what it What I just don't want today, I just don't want, like, any sort of silly mistakes. That's what I don't want today. You know what I mean? I don't oh, want any of that. Those. There'll be those, though. There'll be those. But just that doesn't lead to a goal, like, to a goal. Mm. That'll help. Yeah, that's what I need. Well, yeah, I want. I remember the last one we did when the first five minutes, just the passing was just a madness. It really was. Yeah, disgraceful passing. Good catch, Eric. Nice. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> Are you praising catches now? I, you know Absolutely. I'm all up for that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I learned my lesson last time, KG. Remember last time when you Lindelof gave a pass first, like 30 seconds, and I went, you're praising the pass. And you were right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Claimage there. Oh! Claimage. Oh, oh, Tries oh. it. Oh, 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 oh. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Yeah, man. There these boys just have to be up for it. That's that's the key. You lot oh, up for it. Good effort. 
Well done. Look at that. Good feet. Keep going. Here we go. Rashi. Rashi. Keep a good play. Oh, well done, Bruno. Good pass. Cobby. One touch. Whams. Cobby yeah. again. Wham a Oh, okay. You, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Wambasaka's good. Apology video saying I'm going to get rid of you. Could that one touch? I don't know if he needed it. I could have gone to McTominay, you know. Should have gone to McTominay there. He's but back it's going though. To be, yeah, Wambasaka and uh, Rashford down the left-hand side. Love it. That gives a Rashi a bit like, oh, like that's a good little put of play there. You've had a strange journey with Wambasaka, haven't you? I love Wambasaka, but I just know but I mean that... a strange journey because you you backed him irrespective for such a long time, didn't you? Yeah. And then you kind of went, no, nah, maybe I was wrong on a couple of these things. And then you were like, no, I was right on these things, see? And then now you've gone back to, I'm not sure. No, I'm not, not sure. I am just know that there's one player that's playing... He's just better going forward finally now, you know, than mm. and be like, no, no, I can't do anything about the Lowe's emergence in it. It's been, he's, he's done well this season. He's going to level up. Yeah. You know, so it's, it is what it is in the, in the eyes of the low right now. Win that. Oh, Salah. Good, good. Well wow. done. Well done. Yeah, still, I don't mind that. Like, let him oh, know, bro. If he has, you don't take the piss. Yeah, bro. Hold that. Sit down. No yellow. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, still. It's the big game, mate. You think well, Flex is? was Flex was talking about obviously the the weather going into the game. Um, because it's been raining all day, but it looks beautiful, Old Trafford, doesn't it? KG. It's wonderful. One old Trafford under the sun, mate. Yeah, <laughs> nice nice spring. Thanks for that, KG. Let's <laughs> throw in. There you go. Pressure, KG. That's what it is. Pressure. pressure. That's what we want. That's what we want. Again, it's just force them to not be able to get out. Okay, gone to the wing. Again, yeah, Manny Knights. Cool. Lovely. Turn out. Good play. Hold it up. That's, see, that's a hold up play you want there from Rasmus. That's what you need. Wide, wide. What do you I'll tell you what. Shoot. Is... shoot. Oh. oh. Good start, KG. Good start. Lovely start. Lovely start. Just a Rashford. nice little one, a nice little one round the corner there. Save, it's a good save. Great find by Ganacho as well. Yeah, great find by Ganacho. Lovely start of this game. Go again. But did you see with um, with Hoyland? That's the difference of having a striker can hold it up, give it. Got to deal with this though, Wambasaka. So it's going to be Wambi versus. Hey! Hey! It's unlucky, hey! uh, unlucky, Mo. unlucky. Yeah, man. Good, man. We can't be afraid of these, bro. Not today, bro. Not having that crap. Let's go. Oh, trying to play out there. That's What's good. Happening? I like it. Again, a good start to the game. Yeah. Man United is starting with the right attitude, right energy. You know, good. Really happy with this. Yeah. I'm happy with the um, start. I mean, as people are saying, 20 minutes FC, of course. Wow. But whilst we're on top, you gotta you gotta make it count. Yeah, absolutely. Again, oh, gotta get to him, Cobby. Gotta get to him. So Bosley shoots. Wonderful save. Easy. Easy. <laughs> wonderful. <man>. What? <laughs> wonderful. It wasn't like a mate. Like it was just he saved it. We were still in the game. That's all. <laughs> wonderful. It was a it was a routine save, you know. Like, <laughs> I mean. I told you we're gonna have these moments. <laughs> yeah, but you're in that. I think you're in that space where anything good we do, you're just gonna praise it gonna as praise high it. as you can. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I'm just coming with a lot again. This stream is positive energy all the way. You know, what I'm saying yeah. I hope we can get signed out of this game and really just lay a marker down on these. Exactly. There you go. Space turn. It's good ball. Ganacho, get, get to it. Ganacho. Oh, a bit heavy. Too heavy there. Keeper gets Thank to you. it. Say his name again. Name Keller Kelleher Kelleher. Yeah, you he just start with it. Just, Good, he, it's ridiculous that run there. Go on, Cobby. Where are you gonna go? Should do better there, Cobbs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Better there. 
But at the same time, Cage, we've got to manage the game too. You know, we can't be all guns blazed in the first 20 minutes, then just drop out because we're too tired, you know. Yeah. Got to be responsible, mate. Yeah, high line. High line, mate. Oh, come on. Again, balls wide. Um, Liverpool just trying to get some touches as well. They probably won't be happy with the first say, five, six minutes. Yeah. In Pine, in. Like that one They're pass. Cuts it back. Well done, Varane. Good, Varane. And we're on the attack, are we? Free kick. What, what's going yeah. on? Yeah, free kick. I tell you what, as well. That was good. Right. It was going to be the cutback again, wasn't it? It was going to be the cutback yeah. every single time we this season. We struggled with that, um, this season. But I think we kind of we're trying to exercise those demons, you know. Is it she doing the analysis again? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but we're trying to exercise those demons, so <laughs> ah, better Rashi, well done. Unlucky. At least get out to them though. That's the kind of pressure you want. You can see the people at Old Trafford applauding that. Seven minutes gone. Still nil nil. Um we are at five hundred and seventy six likes. Let's see if we can get to six hundred. The rumour is, KG, if we get to 600 likes, we might win the game. That's what I've heard. Oh, I like that rumour. Keep yeah. it going. Yeah. Outside of the boot by Cobby. Flick it on. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky Rasmus. Razzy. Razzy. Is that is that the nickname? Razzy. Oh, no, I'm still working on one for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Camboise. I'm a while, so I like that. That one's that one's there, but again, I'm working on itch. Oh, 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 so close, KG. Slides across. What was it? I didn't even know how much of that would have been that? an unbelievable goal. That honestly, that would have been outrageous. Darwin Nunes like puts it across the box, back post, first time volley by Salah. If that crept oh, in, would have been absolutely <sighs> cool. but I didn't, so it was rubbish. It didn't. But that would have been outrageous. And it looked like it looked like the camera angle it was going in. We don't care, Owen. <laughs> okay. I don't care where it would have been. It wasn't. <laughs> uh we got to six hundred likes. Hey! As we got to six hundred, they nearly scored. So maybe it might be it might be seven hundred we might need. Maybe that <laughs> I like that. Is this yeah. a non -stop? Yeah, it's gonna cut, cut, keep happening the whole, whole way through. Varan, what was that? What did he try and do? All in, all in. On the ah, wonderful. That's all right. That's a good. Um, and again, that was a better term in it because that was actually good defense. Oh, he's free. Oh, foul yeah. referee. Is there Fuck yellow him. there, ref? To be given. It's looking a bit Kinda yellowish. Well, they took it quick. This is where you want Rashi out there being a threat, being a he constant threat. Good. Doesn't get any. Good pass. He's in behind. Shoots. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Come Toms. on. Get Toms. Toms. That's why you play him, KG. That's why you play him. That's why you play him. Stand beside him. we got to be with him. Mickey T. Come Mick on. Mignaldo. What are we saying right now? Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Come on, Mickey That's why T. You play him, KG. We, people say earlier, yeah. why you play him? Why would you play? That's why. Look at this. Rashford does well. Keeps it alive. But look at this remember pass, KG. That's a brilliant pass. Brilliant Fantastic. pass. Remember, we did say, no. There's one thing that we did say about this game is we're not going to be on the negative spin right now. End of the day, we're just going to back it. However this thing goes, back yeah. it all the way. Um, absolutely. He stays on side as... Oh, fantastic. Phenomenal, Mickey T. Let's go. Oh, look at More this. goals. More goals. i tell you what as well. You know, just a load of credit there. It's Rashford. That reverse pass to Garnacho is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There. Look at Garnacho. Different side. Of fantastic work. Switch sides. Gets forward. Mickey T. Hey, how you like that? How you and like we were saying it. And we were saying earlier on KG as well, weren't we? Saying this is why that front three is the best front three we've got. 
That is yes. why they link up together well. And you link see it there. Well. Hoyland will, will, can hold it up. Rashford, like you said, Garnacho will go over, overloads him on the left-hand side, reverse pass, and then, you know, doesn't do the finish, but follows it in. And that's why McTominay plays, because in the box, he's yes. dangerous. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Bruno. We Wems. won three. Put it back. Oh, I tell you what, Rashford was there. Good stuff. Wonderful work. Wonderful work, boys. And this is why KG as well. This is why, you know, before the game, people are like, we're going to lose. We're terrible. We're rubbish. Oh, shoot. That was shoot. Oh, gives it. Good at you. Oh, it's a good tackle as well. We are, I tell you what, we've got it, KG. We've got it. We've got it. Keep going. Reload it, KG. Reload it. Reload it. I've got you. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. These pussies. <laughs> Oh, that's a big tackle there. Come on, man. 3-1 United. That's what I'm looking for today. There you go. Lovely. Clapping. Come on. Come on. Come what on now. KG. What a start. Please, look. Another oh. one. I need a Varane. I would like a Varane. Anyone, actually, to be honest. I just want to score. Let's go. Ball in. Needed to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno edge of the box Dallow you know he's got in his locker well bit of a jinx out of his locker right. okay lockers out for cleaning at the moment but still <laughs> KG what a start what a start what? we've been in behind a couple of times as well they look up for it here's the goal again that meeting at the Ivy mate <laughs> exactly 3-5-2 Ganache oh my, I woke up to this morning and my daughter had a United kit on and I was like, that's a good little sign. Man. I love that. Good. You've done your she work as a father. On, unassist, yeah. Unassist, I didn't say nothing. She just put it on this Look morning. at that. Look at that strength by McTominay as well. He's won the ball back. He's up for it. A goal and he's fighting as well. Good reverse pass oh, again. Oh. Oh. That left-hand side, KG. Left-hand side. We got, we got the players on both though. Kobe. Look at Cobby. Look at Cobby. Oh, he just went blowing like they weren't there. I tell you what, KG. Now be careful. Look at the space, though, KG. Look at the space. We're going to have to deal with this. The boss light. Oh, Robertson. Diaz cuts it back. Over the box. Right. Chance. Handled, handled. They're going to get their chances in this game. We're going to have to deal with that. Again, they a lot of space opened up there, mate. Mm. A lot of space. But, I mean, that came from we were in a really good position. And, you know, like we were saying about some teams where once they get into the final third, they're like, oh, we have to take a shot or we have to do something because we don't want them to counter. We have to kind of do the same thing. Where it's like, if we get in that area, take a shot just so they um, don't counter. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball out at least. Go kick. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something. Go kick corner. You just can't yeah. turn it over. Copy Come on, well. boys. Cover. Uh, KG Aston Villa equalised. Shit. It's all right, though, as long as it's just... No, we don't care about that game. Right now, we can't even focus on that game. We need all the positive energy. Well done, Bruno. Well done. Varane tries right. that pass. It's fine. Nearly 50 minutes go, though. 50 minutes gone, rather. 1-0 Manchester United. Scott McTominay with the goal. Scotty Mickey T, fam. And that, look, that is that is why he plays <laughs> because it's other. Amazing. So you're talking about earlier on at Amrabat. I mean, it's hypothetical, I know, but is Amrabat in that area in that time? Does he follow the ball into the box at that? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But oh. we definitely know McTominay does because that's what he does. And you know what? But then it's still what the centre forward brings because he couldn't get that runoff before. It just wasn't happening for him. Now, well, like Rasmus, with the space that Rasmus is going to offer. Ah, oh, well done. Referee. Got to do twice. Book Cynical. him. Book him. Cynical. Cynical. They don't like it. They can't deal with him. Look at this. See you later. Boom. Yellow there card, please. Yellow Ganache. card, please. Ganach. You said him earlier on as well, KG. You said yeah. who's going to be. I said who's going to be the key today. You said Ganacho. Well, Absolutely. he didn't score that goal, right. but he took the shot, and he was the he was the reverse oh, pass, man. wasn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a big part of it, mate. Oh, come on, boys. Let's go, boys. 
We owe it. To, we owe it to these lot. We owe it to mash them up. Bruno Fernandez is going to stand over this uh, free kick. Looks like he's going to put it in the box. It's a high line. I love, KG. I love this amount to come on and score as well. That just everything would be just brilliant. Need a good delivery, Bruno. Not a counter attack opportunity. That's a good ball as well. Oh, it went bad. It went bad. But like we were saying before, KG, I'd rather that. Then a poor ball and they can counter. I'd rather that. You know what I mean? Goes yeah. out for a goal kick. We go, oh, maybe if it's a little bit shorter. Okay. Yeah. It's a good ball. Decent. Just couldn't. A bit too much fizz on it, actually, in that one there. Yeah. bit too much fizz, KG. Yeah, a bit too much fizz. Um, let me see. Tactical G. <laughs> you know, well, no, oh, um, my tactical insights and stuff. Um, <laughs> um, what's going on here? I can always tell by just by the tone of voice that he's he's going into sort of tactical insight mode. Okay, all four, all four Scott McTominay's goals in the FA Cup have come at Old Trafford. We was first in the competition since um, January 2022 against Aston Villa. Okay, thank you very much. Now, if that's if that kind of insight isn't worth a like, I don't know what is. We are <laughs> twenty likes. We're twenty likes away from seven hundred. Oh, they've gone wide. Robinson. They've gone wide. Lifted in the air. Put him off there, big little header. In again, he's done him. He's done him. Oh, lovely! If you're shooting like that, that's fine. Who was that? Was that Diaz who completely sold Rashford? Look at Rashford fly in. No, it was like a Bosley. I like the fact that Rashford's there doing that though. I like Put that. Him. I agree. Yeah, muddy that kit, man. There you go, big shot. At least he's there, part of it. One thing's for sure, 18 minutes in, you can say the United players, they're up for it. Absolutely. They're up for it today. The Ivy, mate. Playing out from the back. It didn't go great. Didn't go great. Throwing. Didn't go great at all, that one, actually. Kobe, a bit of pressure yeah. there. Yeah, maybe they might go long next time. Yeah. You know what? Get, again, it's a big game. Man United's done the first part really well. Got goal up. You know, um, showing his team that they're going to fight for everything. So right now, we just got to keep it going. Keep it going. Don't be afraid of these, man. Damn, well, we just don't want to drop off too much. That's the only thing. Don't drop off yeah. too much. Don't allow him into the game. Starting to get a bit, a bit of a foothold now. The, again, they're trying to recover and score. So, you know, we, I'm, not, I'm not surprised by Liverpool growing into ascendancy. In this one. That's better. Well done, Dallow. Go on. Kobe. Like that. I like it. What a foul either. Get in front. Get in front. Brilliant. Twice. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Have you seen Ganacho, Rashi? Rashi. Going. Play it across. Play it, Rash. Oh, referee. Looking for it. Looking he, for knew. it. He, he knew. He knew. At least again, got some yardage. Yardage. <laughs> Some yardage, mate. Yeah. The yardage. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Let's just stay out this side of the pitch. On him. I'm really, really happy with this performance so far from Manchester United, man. Manchester United. It's Manchester United side. <laughs> Oh, Rasmus, man. Love you, man. I love Rasmus, man. Committed. That's what he is. Absolutely, man. He's just brilliant. He's just breath of fresh air to have. Yeah. Still needs support. You know what I mean? It's a good ball. Good ball. They man. are starting to grow into it. Definitely down our right now, Liverpool are starting to. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's pressure. Went for a switch. Uh, Diaz to Salah straight out for a throw in. That's like me on FIFA with um, Flex. You know, that switchboard that I like to play. And what game is that, KG? FIFA. Nice. I get that one right? Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. I tried on that one. Is it first time? Did he get that? Go to Ganacho. It wasn't the right pass. What? Oh. No, he's furious. Hoyland okay. turning around, saying, "I think he's saying, put it in front of me, or give it to uh, give it to Ganacho." That's the Ganacho was the ball, though. It was 
Well, you know, I like that. Be angry at each other, fight for everything. Yeah. Brilliant. Any night so far. Um, where are these uh, super chats here? Um, oh, I seen he was not even, he was really yeah, 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 yeah. Um, six figure says, I notice you also say 20, 20 kg. Yeah, 20, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, save the jungle's been around for seven months, says our formation never changes, need to be more defensive today. Look, he's going well. <laughs> going well. High line. Actually, I line, mate. I line for line. <laughs> oh. Again, I love it when Virgil's looking around like, man, I need help. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. You want him to be angry. You want him to be upset. Yeah. Wham, biggy, man. Welcome home, man. He's done well so far, hasn't he? On the left. Yeah, he's been solid, man. She's showing some versatility as well, man. This is going to be our back four. Wait, the killer is this is our back four right now, you know? Yeah. Going yeah. Forward. Until Martinez comes home. That's true. It'll probably be, yeah, it'll be Leecher for Lindelof, and then that'll be it. Yeah. What do you do Bruno. to Bruno? He, what flicked do you do his, to... he flicked his boot off. Ridiculous. Disgraceful. Taking it, taking his boots off. Can we score this one though? That's the question. McTominay. Um, oh, I don't know. Why, why is McTominay in an Northern Irish accent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of Johnny Evans. That's why. Just, McTominay. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Johnny Evans, you know. That's why. So, so. In, in this moment, you feel like Johnny Evans will come up with the goods. And come on, Varan, the Rolls Royce. I wouldn't flex that. The maddest celebration in the ground. Ball in. Come on. Oh, he went for all the pressure on the keeper. Oh. I hate when he does that. Why? Why? It's a waste. Uh... But still, KG, 23 minutes gone. 1-0 to Manchester United. That's really just frustrating, though, because you do put the players up there and you're like, mate, let's get some change from this. Yeah. You know? Decision making. Oh, oh, Dallow. Oh. Wambasaka turn. Look at that. He's so right footed, Wambasaka. <laughs> it, it's right footed as it comes. Again, yeah. out of position, just doing a job for the team, doing a job for the club. Yeah. Nice insight. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Uh, Do you know uh, what risk that I like I liked before then um found out he's a Liverpool fan and just disliked him more and more as the days went by. Who? Seamus. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's so frustrating that he supports Liverpool man. Yeah. Exotic warrior. Do you know who supports uh, Man United, a wrestler? <laughs> MVP. Yes, yes. I met him. Yeah, oh. you met you, you met Amas as well. I didn't didn't recognize him. Oh, it's ridiculous. Nigerian wrestler, you know. Yeah, the called sword. Nigerian giant. KG yeah. went. You're big. Sure, but you have to understand he's huge, mate. Yeah, like I've never seen anything like it in my life. Again, all back to the oh, come on, United. This is good though. Again, if we're managing the game in these five minute spells, yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. KG, you got to break it up into chunks. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Break up into minimal chunks. You got to step in front of him, step in front. Another, goal. and they're gonna, they're gonna be those, these moments in the game where they're gonna have a lot of the ball. Yep. I think we thought that this would happen earlier than it has, but as long as we keep our shape, as long as we defend well, and we stay, keep our concentration. All right now, at moments like this, defensively sound. Well done. Well done. Solid, That's solid good. work. High fives, all getting around. Yeah. As you always say, KG, you want the high fives. I need the high fives. It lets me know, again, these guys are proud of defending. You know, they're taking this job seriously. That. Like, you, you need defenders enjoying defending, you know, that that's a big part of the game. Like sometimes it's the part that's lost, but it's important. Good defensive side, you can get through these cups. 
cup competitions, man. Well, you don't need to be the best side to win a cup as well. Sometimes it's about oh. luck of the draw, you know, but they uh, let the competitors eliminate themselves. Ball in. Cleared. As is, um, what do you call it? Have they done the draw already? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it'll probably be after this. Uh, Riri's been a member for oh, 21 God. months. The ball goes, oh, oh, thank God. KG, give me a heart time. Um, yeah. <laughs> big, it says, Big Up and KG, your combination on this watch long is priceless. Thanks yes, um, thanks for make it, always making it entertaining. Thank you very much, Riri. Long time member as well. Long time. So the, what happens is this is the ball that Delo like just doesn't defend it as well. Goes through his legs. You know them ones where you just think, oh, is it going to be like a silly handball or something? But that's just the Well enough. done. Well done. Um, Oh, Ganesh. you're not waiting. Ganesh, what are you going to do? Overload. Do? One more. Hoyland. Oh, I slipped. Oh, oh why okay. am I worried about these now, KG? Because these are a couple oh. of chances that we just haven't made count. I'm just like, you can't this speak worries me. Existence. You can't speak down to the existence. What you're saying is we can be in ascendancy. It's very easy to turn them and we'll have more of those chances. Yeah, that's another I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's another way to look at it. We've been in We're behind a couple there. of times. We're getting behind. We can do it and we can go again. We've been there before. Let's return. We can't look at ourselves as the underdogs in this one. We're at home. We can beat these. He's unlucky, Hoyland. He just loses his footing. That's right. Pass through the middle. There's some space. A lot of space there. Hold a lot shake. Of, still a lot of space. Is he going to shoot Good from block. far? Good block. Great block. 20 want to get to that 30 minute period KG that's what we want to get to 30 minutes you do man just let there you go 27 so yeah man in these 5 minute blocks yeah break it up into small chunks is what you got to do make it more manageable yeah the fact um, big up everyone in the free seats as well hope you're enjoying this game um, need to be more clinical absolutely man but again you understand the size of this fixture it's a huge one um, we've got nearly 1,300 people watching and uh, we're at 717 likes. Let's get up to, well, let's go for 1,000, 1K likes. Keep going. Keep getting. Take him down the line. Good pass. Good pass, okay. that. Brilliant. I'm hearing the Hammers have, have scored again. Yeah, 2-1. I don't know if that's true. Brilliant. Fantastic. Great news. Thumbs up by Rashford Day. But this is look. This is this is what um, Ten Hag was talking about when he was saying that he always says this about the crowd at Old Trafford. He goes, "We have to energize them." Basically, saying, "Look, we have to give them the the reason to cheer. We have to give them that kind of stuff." And that's what they've been doing today. The Old Trafford, they're easy to win over in the sense of if you just put work in. You know what I mean? If you work, if you try, if you put yep. a shift in, they're with you. Like they'll yep. they'll be with you the whole game. They know what this game means, man. These yeah. these guys know what this game means. Again. Man United just have to get this job done right, you know. I was a VAR check on it, apparently. Let us know what's going on. So KG's lagging, is that true? A couple of points, but KG has been recently having some internet snafus. Had some in yeah, I'm going to probably order a new um, router thing. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. On the wing. What's he done? Find him wide. Into the box! <laughs> Very dangerous there. Well, oh, no. Nice. Well done. There you go. Uh, couple the, of, couple of super shakes. chats here. Um, Catch a deal says, KG, I'm not watching. How did McTominay score? Tapped uh, in. He just follows up, taps into good gold. Like, end of the day, he does his job. Close mouths don't get fed, as they say. <laughs> uh, uh, Danny that? DeFito says, missed my last super chat. Disgrace. Oh. We're in. Wait, keep going. Foul. Um, Danny Tafia says, Missed my last super chat. Disgrace cheat. I asked KG during the week, so I'll ask you, Owen. Will Ten Hag finish his story? Wow. Depends yes. what, the, uh, what the story is. Oh, there you go. Danny Tafia I said, I asked KG during... It didn't come up on my list. Um, during the week, so I'll ask you too. Will Ten Hag finish the story? Yes, twice to that answer. Yes, that question, rather. McAllister, does he get a yellow for that? Has he gone into the book? I think he did. He better because that was um, petulant from him. Yes, he does. It's in the book. 
come on boys, good whipping. Let's get something from this one. This is a great pitch. They're hard to defend these ones here. Oh, I'll tell you what. Varane heads it, but I think it was going to Lindelof. Those ones are the hardest to defend. You don't know how to if you step up or just sit back deeper. Bar ruled that goal out, KG. I'm hearing. A space. Space in behind us, but I don't like to get out to him. I say as long as as long as we can keep a decent at 35 just keep us keep me aware whenever like you know what i'm saying because i sometimes we get, we get to a milestone when we get to those <laughs> milestones go break this game up into little pieces that's the only yeah. way because this liverpool Boss side are very dangerous get out to him just hold him up hold him up hold him up it's gone past tallo oh he's done well in the end they give a corner but he's done well he recovered well and tallo Diaz is very, very skillful, man. A lot of trickery there, but he's done well. Oh, wonderful, wonderful defending there. Recovered as well. Really good recovery. Diogdalo. Diogdalo. <laughs> Ciao, Paolo. Diogdalo. Yeah, okay, Caught man, a ball. Oh, just look after yourselves here. Be keeping an eye on all of them dangerous players. Virgil van Dijk. Okay. Dealt with. It makes me laugh with Liverpool that they replaced Jordan Henderson with what it sounds like they call him in sort of the Scouse accent. Endo. Endo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, man. Look at Eric. Screaming. Eric fine. Well dressed. Yeah, he is. It's, yeah, suits fit in right now. Onana gives it out to Lindelof. Committed to playing it out from the back, haven't we? Yeah, and again, Nick got to work hard to get out of there. But then again, he's got to be careful. So we got to see if we can force McAllister into the into the books. Yeah. Good Liverpool switch ball. by Dallow. Look at that. That's a good pass. Brilliant. Fantastic. Good switch of play. And that actually, to be fair, we were so critical last week when we said the passing is horrific. Today, mm -hmm. it's been fairly, it's been a lot better. It's been a been lot better. better than it was last week. Yeah. Way better than things you've seen before. Onana. Well Ooh. done, Copy. Look at that. Look at That's that. Brilliant. Up. Easy. Brilliant there. You know what? Is it Wins a throw in. Good play. Good play, Man United. Good playing out from so, the back. I heard Joe Bear. Wait, Joe Bear asking if if Cobby's just being overrated because he's coming from Man United's academy. He's like, no, nah, mate. He's bloody class, man. It's, yeah. it's brilliant. Like that's. Go well play Dallo again. Oh, Dallo, you tell you what, he's on it. Today. Well, that's a great ball. What a pass that is. That's another good yes. switch. Yes. Go on, Rashford. Back out to Bruno. Don't. Sh I don't mind it. Okay, as it's long as we back. can get back in, defend. Yeah. Bruins. You just know when he's lining up for those shots sometimes, Bruno, you're going, come on, just don't do a match. You wanted to shoot from there. I want him to shoot that. from there. Want it back. Want it back. Brilliant. Straight away, Wampasaka. Look at the feet. Look at the feet, KG. Cobby. Come on. Rashford. Come on. Cut to back. McTominay. Oh, it's right at him. Oh, oh, I tell you what, as well, it's brilliant play. Our Bruno wins it back again. Oh, come on, Man United. Ganacho, is he on? Ganacho he is. cuts it. Oh, it's bouncing around. Oh, we are up for it today, KG. We are up. Get back oh, in now. Get bro. back, get back, get back, get back. Trip him That's if you brilliant want. Bruno. That was brilliant, that one there. Do you yes. Good save, save, Onana. Well done. Good hands. Punched it out as well. Oof. That was so good play as well. Really good play as well. Great uh, switch uh, by Dallow. Cobby, he's going in and out of the players. They can't handle it. Gives it to Rashford. It's a brilliant cutback as well. McTominay, it's the person you want it to fall to in the box as well. He's going straight at him. That's the problem. Straight out of the goalkeeper. But it's Lindy good play. 
Lindy sells a lot of himself there, though, in that last little one. Look, McTominay shakes his head. He knows. Because, look, it's, it's it, he couldn't have asked for it better. And he just goes straight at the keeper. Oh, Mickey. But look at this one, Cobby. Look at it. See you later. Look at that feet. Boom. Pass yeah, yeah, players. Man United have just really stepped into this game up for it. Oh, that's a good one. You know, that Mickey T chance. That's what I mean. Oh, fucking hell. Look at them feet from Cobby. Oh, it's, it's outrageous. It's just incredible. And like, like you were saying, with Joel going, oh, is he overrated? Come on, man. It's at Old Trafford, FA Cup quarterfinal. Oh, they're in now. No. They're in. Little simple pass back. Oh, oh. For sake. And this is what I, I was I, saying, KG. Oh, this is what I was saying about playing up from the back. I said, he's offside. Oh, he's offside. Hey. <laughs> Referee, you know what you need to do. Reload it, reload it. Yeah, oh, KG is tight. It is very I don't tight. Care. As long as they listen to him and no one else, it's very tight. Because Lindelof, Lindelof on they, edge. Is v, what's going on? Are they respecting this decision? No, I don't know. It's tight. Just wait. Oh man, come on. Like KG, I think he might be. Oh, uh, come on, nah, don't Owen speak some good life into the situation. Well, I've only we've only seen it once. We've only we've only seen it once. Come on, but, Owen. But Lindelof's on the edge. Man United need all the luck they can get in this game. They're still waiting on it. We're not seeing any replay, by the way. Live up, Here we boy. go. He's off. He's offside. Offside. Yes! Come on, Owen! Talk it up! Let's go! Come on, Owen! But this, this again, this is a reminder that you know what I was saying about playing it out from the back. Be careful. We nearly completely yes. just sabotaged ourselves there. Be yes. careful. Get we to must. half time now. You know, we got 30 or 38 minutes in. Let's get to half time. No playing out the back stuff. Let's just get to half time 1 0. Got to play the same way, though, right? Look, you got to like. I don't know. There's been let offs. You got to think about the let offs that Liverpool have had, though. We were in McTominay for the second goal. So while we're getting the let offs, they're getting them let offs as well, mate. Two ways to look at it. If you look at it from a positive, um, a positive eye, is what I'm saying. Uh, no? Danny DeFito with the super chat says, "Love seeing a manager barking, barking orders from the sidelines. Keep it going." Oh, we'll get across, get across. All right, Man United, we can get through this moment again. Yeah, we just need to get through this. Fortieth, we need to get to the fortieth minute. Where are we at now? Get out to him. Thirty-nine. Offside again. I'm glad it was offside because Onana made a complete hash out of that. Been good. He's been good. <laughs> I'm looking for positivity at all moments. Yeah, Onana did a madness. Are you just, yeah. Come on, United. This United side. All right. Extra time. You imagine it'll be like, what, two minutes? It hasn't been a lot of stoppages or anything like that. But that, that VAR one was a little bit it's the longest um, stop we've had, the longest pause in the game. Yeah. Again, let's see if you boys can get to half time. Get to half time with the winning with the with the scoreline intact. Or another goal for us. Yeah, like you said, I think we need we need that second, don't we? And we and I do think we'll get chances. We will, because we can get in behind. So good ball. Uh and early, he's gone early there. Well done again. All right, can you counter now, Ganacho? Where are you going to go? That's good. That's good. Keep down, going down the line. Well done. Keep going. Good. Brilliant work. Brilliant work, Rezzy. Holds it up really well. Look really really well. Fantastic. Decent good switch. Touch Rashford. Look at that. Really good switch. Good. Bit of ball in. Good header. I like that. Unlucky. But at least, look, like you said, KG, the counter-attack's on. It is there. It's there for us. Absolutely, mate. We got to 40 minutes. Five left. Manage those chunks. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it, man. We're going to get there. When we get to, what do you call it, 
when we get to that 45, definitely reload it. We'll hit that, man. Come on, Man United. Again, this is a team that's working, you know what I mean? Covering, you just got to play these lot like without fear. If you haven't already, guys, click the like button. We got um, over 1,300 people watching. We're 756 likes. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 for uh, for half time. The, type, the, the viewer to like ratio is very strong. It's what we like to see. All right, let's get in front. You don't want Liverpool to have anything about excitement about the second half. You want them to be. <sighs> Pass. Find that. Well done, Cobby. Well it's done. Effort. Should have come away with that. Get out to that. Well done. Now just got to get up. Get out. Get out of there. That's the that's the odd part, mate. Good analysis. Uh, Joseph says, uh, "KG, I'm sending hateful energy towards United." Don't do it. Send positive energy. Think about it. We could have a best of enemies for the for the decade if we win this game. Well done. Well done, McTominay. That's it. Put a tackle yeah. in. Get get going. Get going. Get going. Oh. Like I spoke to X before um, this game and he said, listen, you better win. I said, bro, if we win, <laughs> best of enemies. <laughs> For, that's full time on the Aston Villa game. Drop points. I'm not, we're not focused on that though, KG now. We're not, we're not. But just, wanted FA you know, just wanted to let you know that points have been dropped and that game is over. You can get that. Oh, unlucky. It just keep keep this shape, keep that intensity up. Go we'll get out to these people again. Let's get to that 45th. Is it 43 for you? What time is it saying on yours? Yeah, 40, 43 now. Again, again. Robertson. Come on. Again, we've got the half goal. time. And we have had chances to make it too as well. Really good chances. Really good chances. The um the one that comes to mind, especially is the oh, he's on a run there. He's on a run there. Get the out. There. Oh fuck's sake. It was coming. It was coming. You wanted to get to half time. Horrible time to concede there for Man United. I Not just, I, I worry, I just worried when th that, I said we had the shape and we weren't getting out. Like it's in these areas here in a second when he passes it. That's just too easy. There's not enough pressure. Look, it goes past Rashford way too easy. Cuts it back because it's always an effing cut back. Shoots, scores. Yeah. Should the goalkeeper do any better? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Like deflection, oh, deflection. Oh, he gets a hand deflection. to it. Deflection. Oh, deflection. What can you do? I mean, it's maybe he should do better. He gets his hand to it. No, but it's, it takes but a nasty I'm, deflection I'm, as well. I'm more looking at Rashford, though. I don't like how easy it was to get past him. Yeah. Again, we just got to create another opportunity. Let's make another opportunity for ourselves. I just felt you could just kind of feel the energy levels were just starting to dip a little bit. Like we were just waiting to get to half time. We have got some goal. Good I'm going, oh, Rashford, you can stop. get out to him. I'm going, Rashford, stopped. you can get out to him. The deflection's unlucky. Come on, but... let's... Uh, response. Immediate response. Let's see what we can do, boys. Yeah. Let's go. Quick response. Let's get a goal. I want my 3-1 prediction to come true. Bruno. But there will be chances in the game. There will. It's not as if, like, since we scored, they've just been... Hey, was he out of the box? That was, must have been close. Have to see that again, mate. No, I think you're just going to get to half time. Get to half time. Let's just drag that. Again, oh. Oh, 
We're just a bit rattled. Just need to settle down again. Oh, Done. God. Is it just settle? Come on, boys. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. But that, and that's the difference. That's what can cost you. I mean, you saw with that goal, if you're yeah. not that intense for the full 45 minutes, then you will get caught out. Like I said, with Rashford, that's too no, busy, too busy to get past him. Uh, Cobby, maybe you can get out to him a bit quicker. Yeah, what's the, the it, I would have liked more from Rashi, but he's, you know, when you're like, you're in the right position, you just got to have a bit more energy about no. you. Get out to him again. Don't commit. Could save Onana. Oh, for fuck's Damn sake. It. And it comes from us playing out from the back again, KG. We play ourselves into trouble again. That comes from, it goes out to wan -Bissaka. Then he's surrounded by like four people. What are we doing? We got lucky with that offside one in the first place. Look, what are we doing? Oh, for it's, me, not a, it's not a foul as well. We're looking for the foul. Poor from United there, man. Poor. And it's a great start, man. You want to get to half time. And now you just he's got done there. He's got Bruno Fernandez gets. Is it a foul? Could you argue it's that? No. No. He's looking for it. The what's hap what's happened is in that situation, we're playing up from the back. <sighs> And they're in a difficult area, and he goes down. It's got to be stronger there, Bruno. VAR, VAR will check it. Check it, VAR. It's a foul! That's a foul! That's a foul! He doesn't I touch do, the ball! I, I don't know if that's enough for it to get overturned. It's a foul! Overturn it, boys! Overturn it! It's a foul! Because he doesn't even play the man. He doesn't even... He just... Into the back of him. It's a foul. Come on, VAR. Do a good fucking job today. KJ, it's not. It's soft. It's soft. VAR, do your job today. It's, it's soft, KJ. VAR. It's one of those ones where, as a player, you're trying to be smart because you realise we're in a bad situation here. I'm going to go down. Oh, that's a goal, isn't it? It's not a foul. Oh, it's Matt's Man United's fault. That is Man United's fault. We had the warning there with the offside goal in the first place, but we said we got away with that, playing out from the back again, and we did it again. But then, don't you think, yeah, I'm with you on this, but don't you think, like, into the back of a player, like... Yeah, it's not, though, KG. The reason, what Bruno is doing is he, he's realising, shit, we've played it out from the back, we're in trouble, I'm going to wait until someone makes a bit of contact with me, and then I'm going to go down, and I'm going to hope that I can buy a foul. And the ref have bought it. And it's then hard. they go and the ref, score. But the ref calls that one a foul on Bruno Daring. That's 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 more of the ball. That's the only thing that is a little bit like confusing for me as a fan. I'm like, well, which ones are and what aren't? Because he doesn't play the ball, he plays the man, takes the man off, takes the man over. So that's it's the United's part for me. I, like, I know it's United's own fault, but then that 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 question still does remain though. Well, which one is it though? If you so what you can just barge someone off the ball and that you've not touched it at all, win it the back. Bigger, and it's okay. The bigger problem there is game management. You've just conceded it's one one. Get to half time. Don't start playing it out from the back. Don't put yourself under pressure. Manage the yeah. game properly. Manage the game. That one is on Ten Hag because he's got to tell these guys, like, you can't at that moment, such a shame. There you go, half-time. Half-time after a great, what, 40 minutes by Manchester United. It's 2-1 yeah. Liverpool. What a disaster. It's just silly from United there to do to do something as silly as in that moment. But then after, you just, you do ask yourself the question of, hold on, mate, even in that little bit there, even... My thing is, for me, it does feel a bit like a. It feels more of a foul to me. Like I won't lie to you. I know, it's, I know. There's there's a there's a argument about the the other side of Man United shouldn't be playing themselves into danger. But at the same time, mate, 
isn't a foul not a foul? Is it if you play, he didn't play the ball at all. He was nowhere near the ball, Owen. So I just want to talk to that side. I get the, the other point you're making, but I'm just saying, did he play the ball, Owen? No, he didn't. It's not a foul, KG, though. It's not a foul. It's not a foul. We're looking for that. Bruno is looking for it. He's, he's trying to be, he's trying to be smart. It's not a foul. If I'm look, I think I, I don't necessarily blame Bruno for doing it. I don't blame Bruno for doing it because what he's trying to do in that situation is we're in the corner. We're surrounded by players. I'm going to try and, 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 buy, and buy a free kick, but it's not a foul. The bigger problem there is manage the game. Why you, you've struggled playing out from the back the whole game. You conceded the goal earlier on. It was offside because you were trying to play out from the back. You're trying to do it yeah. again when it's 1-1. One, one, just a couple minutes to go to half time, and you're still trying it. Why are you doing that? Go long. It's I hear we what you're saying. Up I, in the, we can get caught up in the oh I, and I, that I mean, kind of stuff. But I mean, be Poland, smarter. Be smart. Put a poll in the chat. Like and see what they're saying, if they're arguing, what they're saying, if it's a foul or not, because I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll put one What's in there now. Foul? Yeah. Bruno. Oh, man, Bruno should have just got rid of it. For me, it's not a foul. It's too soft. It's United. They can only have themselves to blame for that. That's it. They can only have ourselves to blame. Point blank. You know, you're one nil up. You've played well. It's not as if as well we were one nil up and we didn't have other chances. We had chances to take them. Fine. I get you're not going to take every single chance. But then when it is one one with a couple minutes left, see the game out. See the half out. Be smart. That's we're talking earlier on about how you win trophies and how you do something right. That's how. In difficult moments, you get through them. You're mm. smart. You don't go right. It's what the 45th minute or whatever. Let's, let's keep passing it out from the back. What are we doing? They've just scored. They've got momentum. They've just had some chances. Just got put, it up, it. put it up the pitch. Put it out for a throw. Get to half time. That's what you've got to do yeah. in that situation. Oh, man. Should have got rid of it in that one. It's all good. We can turn it around. We can turn it around. Should have got rid of it, though. Should have got rid of it. Uh, we got a bunch of super chats coming in as well. That will be a contentious um, Right, but I will say, that will be a contentious argument. You can already see, I'm looking at Andy Gray and them lot arguing about it as well, Dwight York and them. So, like, it's it's tough. It's tough. Benji says, um, did I see Rashford head a ball? Cobbies are done. Um, Joseph Joestar says, my hate worked. Look at Rashford. Ketchadil said, in my dream, we lost 9-1. I'm not watching. Uh, Godson says, even though we played out uh, poorly, it's a foul. Uh, Godson says, getting fouled, I'm looking for it. It's still a foul, Owen. Nathan says, KG, don't be embarrassing. Take your profit. Says, stop it, KG. It's not a foul. No playing out, period. So look, there's differences of opinion. There is a poll in the chat here at the moment. Was it a foul on Bruno? Already we've got over, well, we've got close to 800, well, 750 votes. Yeah. Um, 76% are saying, no, it's not a foul, KG. It's not. We've got over 2,200 people watching, by the way. So if you haven't already, click the like button. Let's see if we can get to 1,000 likes and be sure to subscribe as well. But KG, it's not a foul. It's not. Yeah. Oh, that is, it's, it's reaching, it's reaching. Well, look, you can have your own opinion, but I mean, we're, we're clutching at straws there. We were clutching at straws with that offside one earlier on going, oh, good, it's offside. Yeah, it took time to look at it. And they like, it took them a while to, to make up their mind, didn't it? It wasn't a quick, straight decision. So there was something in it that they had to look at. You know what but I'm even, saying? Even, even in that, even in that, it's one of those ones where if the referee, like that's not egregious enough for the referee to overturn it. The referee, if the referee on the pitch goes, no, I don't think that's a foul. They're never going to overturn that. And it's our own fault. It's our own fault. We have self-destructed there. Salah done it again. Oh, come on, boys. Oh, it's all good, though, man. We Again, game's not over. A lot of football to be played. Man United um, cut Liverpool open a few times there as well. But the problem is we're kind of, there's just the openness from us that we got to sort out. There's openness. Well, the, the, the problem is as well is actually in that half, like 40 minutes, we played all right. <laughs> we started the game well, scored a goal, had more chances. McTominay should get a second. But I said we, we self-destructed. That's on us. 
that's our own fault. We can we can only look at ourselves there. We can't look at officials. We can't look at, you know, oh, things haven't gone our way. No, things have gone our way, actually. We should have scored. We had a goal that was ruled out for offside they, from them. And yeah. um, and we just, we were naive. I completely Bruno naive. Tried to, Bruno tried to be clever as well. Tried to be too clever there. You know what I mean? And it didn't, it just didn't get what he needed. He's probably hoping that he was going to get the foul. That's why he's remonstrating and complaining. Doesn't go his way, and you know what? They a, a quick response. Um, the goalkeeper does well in the like the, the first initial one. Probably want him to he wanted to parry it out of play. Um, it doesn't. It goes lands to Salah, and it's job done. You know what I mean? It's just Man United should have got to that little. We should have got to halftime at one one. You know, with a lot more football to be played. But now we just we got a big job to do in the second half. But can we do it? Yes, yeah. we can. We're at home. But this is what again. This is kind of what we were we were saying, isn't it? We kept almost like facetiously. We're going to break it up into chunks, and we did, <laughs> we did. But those last couple of minutes, we just completely shit the bed. That's that's what that's what we did. I got rid, man, and I get it. It's the it's the Liverpool Man United. You know them them moments. They're probably not going to come, but yeah, it's just. Oh, I wish he just had the right the right idea to just. Kick it out, just get rid of it. Still I look, wonder what the, the second goal here. here. So it's going it's, to what Wambasaka. I mean, Onana's given it to Wambasaka in the first place. He's surrounded by green shirts anyway. It's not the best pass. Bruno tries to help him out, but he knows he's not getting out of that situation. So he tries to buy the foul. Still, a lot happens afterwards. So you would still say, you know, you could still do more. Onana, you would maybe look at it going a lot it out of, into danger. Out to the other side of the to the other side of the pitch, mate. Do you know what I mean? There was enough time to now recover and do better we don't it's just it's just that is just a calamitous goal it, it really is what's Roy King saying see what he's saying if he sh when I play the thing your uh, mic goes crazy that's why we have to uh, okay. cut the sound off yeah um couple of super chats here um Nathan says um all our hard work undone um uh, Zotang says, uh, we haven't been bad, to be honest, but uh, Mayno, Bruno, McTominay midfield will never work. We are too open. When and will our manager realise that? Shocking tactics. Ogwa says, we won't win major trophies with Bruno and his likes. Ultimately, we have a weak mentality. Players in Ericsson Hag are not good enough. Hope we get back. Biggie Third says, um, uh, that is called 80% of the time, but Bruno has a reputation of going down too easily. Once it wasn't called immediately, VAR wasn't going to overturn, which is, that, that's kind of my point. Sometimes you will get away with that. Sometimes it'll be one of, because see, look, if the referee gave us a free kick there, we'd all know, even if we wouldn't say it out loud, we'd all go, I'll tell you what, got away with one there. Because it's not a foul. Because you, know, you know what Bruno's trying to do. And as um, Biggie Ford mentions there, once VAR, once the referee's gone, no, I don't think that's a foul. They're never, ever, ever going to overturn that. Not a chance. I'm surprised they mm -hmm. took that long, looking at it, to be honest. And Real's been a member for nine months, says, got to blame Rashford for the first, no effort tracking back, uh, but that shouldn't derail the whole team for the second. Terrible mentality. I do agree with that for the first one. I thought he skips past Rashford way too easily for the first one as well. Mm. Look, man, all to play for the second half, man. Again, they come back and manage to get like goals from like in this short space of time, like what three, four minutes between it before the between the goals or something stupid like that. They should is it it's it's sad how we um capitulated, but we've been a team that does like when it does go wrong, it we we are that team that like the soft underbelly, like we just have these moments where we can't hold on. But again, can these guys do they have enough about them to go out second half? And get signed in this game. You go and score a goal, it's game on. You look go out and get a goal back. If you get a goal early, it is game on. You know, mm. that's Man United with a big job to do. You know, it's 2-1. The game is not finished. The game is not over. You had chances. Because while, again, we've let ourselves down and, like, lapse of concentration. Yes, we're a bit open there. But we've had our opportunities as well where we should have been a bit more clinical. And now we just got to say, look, when them opportunities come in the second half, we have to score them. Yeah, we do have to take those chances. I mean, that's the frustrating thing as well, I think, is that obviously now people focus on those negatives ones at the end of the half. But for the large portions of that um, that half, we did all right. We did. You know, we yeah. did we did do okay. We did create chances. But it's the yeah. same old story, isn't it? It's, it's, it's fragility. It's naivety as well. 
And that's the frustration. And because I, I wouldn't look at that half and go, Liverpool with a much better side. No. Fairly no, even, to be fair. Fairly, but, fairly, fairly even. but that's what happens when you face a good side. If you give a good side chances, and if you're naive against a good side, they will punish you. That's the yeah. difference. Oh, that's just the difference. Wish. Take that shot. Again, well, we've got it all to do second half, man. I think it's not time for the fans to probably drop their heads in this one. We just got to, again, we had to take hit, take those licks and keep moving forward, man. Again, second half, you're playing at home. It's it's there for you. It's still there for you. It's not one of those things that it's a game that you have to say, uh, roll over now. You know, like the the thing is the character. Can you not show character when the, when the chips are down? What are you not going to do in this moment? You know, and that's the that's the real question. And I, I believe if these guys have focused, play the same way they started at first, again, play the same way they started at half with, we can get a goal. And then after this, all to be done. It's all to be, but we have to just be sharp. We have to be sharp. Bruno was Bruno was silly there. He should have got rid. That's all. He should have, um, any rose Z, you know what I mean? And that would have been the right idea, the right answer. And we didn't, you know? So it's just annoying that how, and this is where you do where you can, you know, um, put just um, pieces of blame towards the manager and say, look, in the second, in that, near the end of the game, when a goal like that happens, just tell them to go along. Tell them to go along. Yeah. Even if you mark the orders and say, look, guys, we can't keep playing out. We've just, we've just conceded. I know I expect you lot to have your own game management, but I need you lot to go along in these moments. Like, Onana plays Wambi into a sticky situation in that. I'm not blaming Onana, just in case anyone thinks it will, it's a witch hunt for Onana. It's just clever decisions. It was a bad decision there. Wambi into Bruno. Bruno, even worse decision. And it was just a catalogue of terrible decisions. You know, and we just got to do better. So it's, it's a team. A couple of super chats here. We've still got over 2,000 people watching. Uh, we're less than, oh, just over 10 likes away from uh, 1,000 likes. If you haven't already, click the like button. See if we get to 1,000 likes. Um, or even more than that as well. Super Chats as well. Uh, uh, we've got, you are losing April 4th. KG, don't go anywhere. Um, capitulation, F uh, take your promises, Capitulation FC. Rafa says, you're both right, to be honest. I'm just happy they actually look like a team today. Big up, second half, step up, glory, glory, Man United. Oh, Jalapeno's, Jalapeno says, that was a foul on Bruno. Just like uh, last season, Martinelli's goal cancel at Old Trafford when Ericsson was fouled. It's a foul. I, I think it's soft. I think Bruno's looking for it. And I think that United put themselves in a position where they're hoping that we get a soft foul because we're playing out from the back and we're being stupid. I think we can both agree on that, can't we? Whether we think it's a foul or not is why do you put yourself in that situation just before half time? You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. That's ridiculous. Um, so, yes. Uh, we hit a thousand likes, by the way, guys. Um, see if we can keep it going. And um, Day says, Ericton Hark with his patented 505 setup. Give him more time. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot of different opinions, KG. <laughs> it's going to be this, gonna be this way. way. It's going to be this way. Again, the chat is going to be the chat. Do you know what I'm saying? End of the day, Man United have it all to do. Um, right now, out, as it stands, we're out of the FA Cup. But we just got to... Wait, Coventry won? Fuck off. Shit, I didn't know that. I had no idea. All right, cool. It's all to, it's all to be you done. Not, did you not see that game yesterday, KG? Nah, nah, nah. Didn't see it. Didn't see it at all. Oh, it's brilliant. Fantastic game. They were winning, and then Wolves scored two goals in the last 10 minutes. Then Coventry scored a goal in extra time and added on time rather to equalize. And then last kick of the game, they scored and they won the game. That's fantastic. That's yeah. Jack killing there. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Listen, United, Rasmus Hoyland, you lot know what to do. Get it done. Get us over the line, boys. Three, two, mad score. Let's just, uh, come on, boys. Look at Eric Tanak, talent the crowd. Saying to the crowd, come on, come on. Oh, Give me yeah, something. man. More, man. We've got to just keep going. We've got to believe. Believe. Africa. <sighs> that is a gut punch, isn't it? Yes, it's 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 stinky. And but again, off. second half, all to play for, mate. 
Um, I think there's a couple more super chats here as well. Uh, oh no, we're caught up with that as well. So yes, if you haven't already, click that like button too. Start of the second half. Of course, Manchester United won Liverpool two. Two late goals. Uh, counter out. Uh, uh, counterbalance. Scott oh, McTominay's early boys. goal as well. Boys. But look, we started well in the first half, so let's hope we start well in the second half. Come yeah, on. Yeah, man. Get that early goal and then it's just situations different. You might have to press reload at KG. That's what you might have to do. I will. Pressing. Give me a give me a we have to get that. We have to get something where I, to give me a reason to press it at the moment. At the moment, nothing's there yet. Oh, we need a big chance. Come on. I'll close this poll, by the way. Uh, we had nearly 2,000 votes. Was it a foul on Bruno? 76% say no. Can't do nothing about that. The community spoken. <sighs> Unlucky Rashford. Now get back. I don't want to see the Rashford jogging in this second half. I don't want to see that. We need to react, KG. We need to react. We need energy. Uh, yeah, we need a lot still, but we can do it, man. United have what it takes. This United side have what it takes. Will they show character and fight? That's the question. And a reminder, guys, that um, there has to be a winner today. So this one, fucking hell. Ow, oh, that's 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 oh, by the way, I'm getting Echo KG from you. KG, the comedian with a flecknology. Question is, what's he doing? He's given he's given that sort of blank stare look. <laughs> so saved by a nana. Saved by a nana. Oof, no, it's still Oof. there. No, it's still there. I don't know what's happened. It was was it always has it always been there? Or just is that brand new? That's just literally started just the last couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. I didn't even touch anything though. That's the worst part about it. Um, one, two, play Matt. I think it's sorted now. Sorted. One, two, is it still there? Oh, no. oh, yeah, it's still, yeah, yeah, it's still yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do. Hmm. Is Robertson. Oh, and has it gone? One, two. There you go. Yeah, it's gone. All right. Can you do me a favor? Can you turn off the sound? Because I've got the thing that's coming out of the speaker. So I don't want people to pick up on the stream. What sound? Commentary. There isn't any commentary. Oh, wait. Oh, it's on my other thing. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> okay. Geez. Where the hell is coming out somewhere else as well? It's got the game on in two places. It's a boss lie. Now they're playing out nicely. There's nothing like KG trying to do his uh, technology. <laughs> Come on, United, please do something. I beg. I mean, Cage, Cage making me nervous with his silence now as well. <laughs> oh. Because mm. he's trying to figure something out. He's wondering what he's been doing the whole game. Oh, it's a buzz light. Diaz. There you go. Found it. Picked up by Anana. A couple of super chats here as well from, I'll tell you what, Rashford, you make that, you make that. Rashford, fizzes it in. Oh, it's going to be offside. Be careful. 
I'm not sure who he's looking for, by the way. No, I'm back in the game. I just saw the Rashford one. There you go. You're back, KG. No more echo. Brilliant. Right, so how, on, many, how many different feeds did you have going on then? If you was loads, the- loads. I had an ITV one on. I had so many different. <laughs> I had one with Andy Gray. I had one with and oh, we giving the ball away there. Diaz, still Diaz. Salah, oh, Varane, just did enough. That's enough. <sighs> They're just in control here at the moment. Yeah, Man United just got to, as soon as you get your moment, go for it, lads. Oh, Bruins, man. How did you go down like that? Oh. Wambasaka slide. Oh, Wams. Okay. Ball over the top. Kelleher will get it. It's going to stay on. United throw in. Come on. We just, we, what we need, we need something to happen just that gets people going, gets the crowd up. Yeah. A, a moment. shot, keeper makes a save, obviously get a goal, something. That's what we need. We need something that's like... Good little moment. Yeah. That gets everyone going. Because it does feel like that kind of... The fizz is goal. coming out of the game. The fizz yeah. is, yeah. Again, it asks us game management from Liverpool at the moment. You know? Mm. There you go. Right, counter. Good, good, counter. good. Good. Come on, man. We can do these. There you go. We can do Bruno. These. Bruno. Bruno. Across goal. Oh, my. but to who? To who, though? He's saying he's calling for something. What's Bruno asking for? I think it's his corner. It might be, to be fair. I think it comes off. Does it come off him? Yeah, I think it does. But he does that, Bruno. You know what I mean? When you're going, right, make a decision. And he tries yeah. to do every decision at once. Well, you see how we can get in. There's a We can get in this game, man. There's something. There's a gift here for us, man. We can get in behind. Many a time. We've done it in this game. There you go. Won it back. Cobby. Bruno. McTominay. That's better play. Turns as well. Ganacho. Oh. Well done. Keep it going. Keep it alive. Oh, for God's sake, Bruno Fernandez. It goes down again. They're not giving the foul. He's got to be stronger, man. <sighs> He's got to be stronger on these ones, man. Even if, like, now you just got to know, mate, you're not going to get nothing. I'm not getting down at all. Ham- oh, is that ham- is that humble? Uh, can't no, ask. He's... Can't do anything about it. It's miles away by Nunes. I remember we got a mad one when the players' um, back was turned yeah. and stuff. And he... Your mic's quite loud, by the way, KG. Sorry. <laughs> one, two. What about now? Is it better? Yeah, it's better. Cool. There you go, Diaz again. Skip pass. Dallas, he's done that a couple of times. Yes. Getting that wing in, that runner there. I don't know, like, the last couple of minutes, Bruno's just been doing Bruno he's stuff. He's probably feeling like a shit for what he's done in the... He, he knows he's at fault for that, that moment. And Bruno just doesn't have that... He can't stay calm in moments like that. You know, ball in. Oh, he's got to, be, he's got to learn how to. Oh, Rashi, Rash, it's Wams. Oh, Wams, I can't see it. It's, it's you know, it's yeah, foul. Nah, ref ain't giving nothing, not Was giving anything. Foul? KG, Was foul? 
Nah, well. If that's a foul, then. <laughs> go on, then. We go back and revisit that last one, mate. <sighs> we can't get out. Mickey T. You can take a shot. That's, that, that's where, and that's where Mickey T, that's where he just, that's the other side of his game where it just doesn't help. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you got to be able to play forward in the moments like that. One, two. Good save by Nana. Great save. Hearing a bit of echo again, KG, in the background. I can't, I don't know what to do about it. I've not, not done, touched or moved. It's still there. One, two, one, two. No. One, two. two. Well, ish. It's kind of like... I don't understand, one. mate. It's just from nothing, though. Like Ball in. Out back. Come on, boys. It does feel like we're kind of just holding... Yeah, we're going to have to ride out these moments and because we got in just that time with Bruno, you know, when he goes to, he literally lands to nobody. 12 attempts a day in attempts, seven on target, both teams. My, um, I, what I will say, KG, is it's probably because your headphones aren't connected. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that out altogether. Is that better? One, two. No. You can see what I'm saying. <laughs> no, but I mean, you connect your headphones to, so you hear me through your headphones. No, I'm hearing you through the. That's what I mean. Oh, connected to the. Yeah. Connected to the thing. Hopefully, this helps. He's saying it's a foul. Is that a foul on what Bruno did just there? Is that a foul? He's still down. He's still down. I didn't really see it. Here we go. 50-50. What about now? Is that better? One, two, one, two, three, four. So Hello, are, you hearing one, me? Are, you, are you hearing me through your headphones? Yeah. It's weird because it says here that you're, it's still through your Mac. Nah, default um, external headphones built in. Oh. I felt like the energy's come out of us. No, nah, I'm just trying. It's only because I'm having some technical difficulties, isn't it? Once. Yeah, and your mic's you still out as well. I, was, I don't know what to do, mate. I've got it on, like, on low. What about now? Even worse? That's better. It's on, like, it's not even, it's not even, it's at the second bit of the soundboard, second. Free kick. Oh, man. He's going to take it over the bar. All right, cool. Come on, boys. Is But have you still got echoes and all that other stuff, or is it? No, nice. whenever I talk, I can like hear some like fuzziness in the background. But we'll manage. Cool. I have to get over it. Wicked. Cool. People, well, people saying now you're too quiet. <laughs> one, two. What about now? That was loud. Well, no, so keep it like that and I'll turn you down a little bit. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yo, there you go. Let's get there you go. go with that. All right. So I can get back into enjoying the game, yeah? Probably not. Thanks. So, are they running in? Nons. It was high. Who did it? It was Gomez on um Rampasaka. 
he's just come back from injury there. Oof, I tell you what. Your head. Yo. Deck. Reckless play. Is Wamasaka going to be all right? Is the question. No, Klopp's not happy about it. He's shaking his head. For what? It, what, what are we going to call that? Is it... Man's fly kicked into my man and said Klopp's not happy about it. He knows where the guy is as well. Criminal. Oh, That's poor. Zaka, what are you doing? That's poor. It's probably the concussion, mate. <laughs> yeah. Ball over the top. We can do we can do more with this. Bruno. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's keep going. Come on, boys. You can do it, lads. Damn. Liverpool found another gear. We need to answer. We have to have a fi final answer to it. What's going on offside? I don't think we've, I don't think we've fed Rasmus in a minute. Nah, it's kind of drifted, isn't it? Yeah, we need to find the we have to find the gear, but it's a gear I'm not seeing at the moment. I feel like we're still reacting from what happened in the first half still. And we just gotta get over that. Like it's that's done. That's a silly ball though. Come on, boys. You like to get up for this, man. They have to find Oh, is that still on side? Yeah, it's still on the pitch. Oh, damn it. It's a boss lie. Again, now you're seeing the real Liverpool type control right now. Good save. Oh no. no. Yep. Come on, boys, man. One moment. That's all we need. Wonderful save, oh, no, no. Yeah, he's made saves in this match. Yes, he's been, it's been active. Man United just need to have the, their moments in this game because it's kind of, it's getting all Liverpool at the moment. They found the game. We haven't had an answer to it. Drink some Lucas aid quickly. Corner ball, ball in, header. Come on, boys. Get, we're not winning those 50 50s. Flick on. Oh, that was a free header again as well, there. We're not winning our fuels, man. Free on to them. Don't have says oh, McTominay yeah. gives you a dollar, then takes five back. Catch the deal says we win our Premier League game with six points by Villa. In short frame says Moments FC reminds me of 21 22 United. And uh, Godson says, Bruno getting sent off, I bet. Uh, we've still got over 1,500 people watching. Um, we're at 1,090 likes. If you haven't already, click the like button and be sure to subscribe as well. Come on, boys. Oh. Again, the game is kind of, I won't say it's drifted. It's been out, it's but drifted. It's just, it hasn't got the same energy and feeling as, the, as we had in the first half. No. And it's the control level that we see from Liverpool. They've literally found another gear and Man United has struggled to live with it at the moment. It's like, I don't know, it's like because we came into the game with some energy oh, and, we just we, lost it there. That's and, cool. and, we, and we started well and then we thought, if we'd have got to half time, even 1-1 one, one or 1-0, one, we'd have been, second half, we'd have been like still right. I think proper, we're still recovering from that second goal. We've just gone, oh, we're going to lose. But the boys just have to get over that. And what do you reckon is the move now? Do you reckon you try to shake it up with a with the with a sub? I mean, is it too early in terms of his like injury recovery to bring on like a Mason Mount or he goes the kind of so much space? Salah. I'm, you get worried about Wan Saka as well, because of course, look, he's just come back and 65 yeah, minutes into nah. the game. How is how you know ready to go is he? 
he's going to play the full 90. But yeah, I could imagine that it's, this this is not easy for him, surely. And when you're losing, man, everything, <laughs> everything just feels harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just running back, you're feeling every like strained muscle in the body. It's just, there you go, that kick out didn't go where you wanted it to go. Again, it's Man United just haven't had the ball for a long time. You have to have us. Come on, United. They've literally, this is where you see the, the difference in class right now. That's but that, that, That's the difference, isn't it? They can They can manage a game. We can't. You know, when we had to manage the game in the first half, we couldn't do it. Whereas yeah. now they're two one up. They're like, right, we'll just we'll just pass them to death. Eventually, they'll have to come out. They'll start to tire, and spaces will open up. And that's the that's the smart piece of football there. You know, what I mean that that's the gear that we haven't got at the moment, where it's always going to be basketball for us. Like, like even that, like right now, this just poor decision. Ah, gaps are too big. They're getting bigger as well. Mayno wins the ball back there. Hacked away. Come on, boys. Come on. Yeah, we're chasing shadows now. Mm. Definitely chasing shadows. But even in like, even that, like that header from that little sequence of Lindelof heading to the uh, Mayno, you just know nothing's coming from that. Like, and then Maynard's one into nobody. Like, was it just to get just that feeling of getting rid of it? Well, apparently Maguire's coming on. So that means Lindelof's going to... wan can't play the full 90. Probably yeah, Lindelof's going to move over. Probably, probably would have been the left back, yeah. Yeah. Which is not what you want, wan but I mean, Lindelof versus... Salah. Salah, that's not what you want any time in your life. But, mate, again, Man United, I've not seen the ball for it. This is the control that you kind of would like. But, again, Liverpool play with such a high press that they're not going to just let you have the ball in these moments there. And if Man United... Oh, Onana. Or none is talking to these to try to argue, shout at them. They just got to stay with the plan. They've got to stay. <sighs> Seeing a lot of complaining from the Man United players. Body language dropping. Just can't get near them. This is the frustration, though. This is. Like that kind of energy or kind of whatever was there. Yeah, in the first half, it's just disappeared. Yeah, but one, a big tackle, <sighs> a big moment. Oh, don't let him shoot. Yeah. Well, Wonderful. He looks dead in his feet, wan -Bissaka. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. That's where, who was that? Just who was that? That does this little Bruno. light header. Bruno, you gotta be better there, man. And he's been he's been doing that all game as well. Bruno, you gotta be better there. That's just poor. We've just kind of stopped. It just looks like we had like 40 minutes in us. And now we're just getting like completely passed to death. Yeah, I haven't seen that ball for a time. Look at it. It's passing through us. We need one big moment. What do you reckon? Like a, a, a big tackle? Like, what's it going to take for them to just kind of get a handle on this game again? I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to need a set piece, a corner, something. But look at Klopp, he knows because he's like we're, we're battering them. We're all over us. Now we're this is like this is as one side as it gets right now in the second but half. It does it does feel like really defeatist. Like 
when they scored that goal right before half time, it does feel like a lot of these players just went, we've lost. No, but they We're can't done. do that. But that's they what it feels to... like. I think they've got to just ride that moment of, it's, we played. That's better, McTominay. There you go. All over the top. Gone at you. Maybe. Ah, it's just too slick. Oh. But this team looks dead I mean it looks like they played like Wednesday Thursday night and they're playing today mm. come on boys there you go Anthony's yeah you got to change up had to. coming off no oh yes again he hasn't injury uh, look, and this is the problem as well is some of these players probably the reason they look exhausted we mentioned about people coming back a couple of them they haven't played in like three or four weeks did Wambi come off as well yeah yeah Wambi has come off All right, so that's Rashi up front. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be Rashford up front. But no midfield substitution. Yeah, I don't think he's willing to do that just yet. Come on. All right, Anthony, this is a shout for you to get back in and amongst it, mate. Danny DeFito says, the body language of some of these players is shocking. Take Your Profit says, if we don't have character to maintain a lead, keep a draw, how do we have character to recover? And our captain, bipolar decisions at best. Yeah, he's not done enough there. Well, look. Come on, boys. And the problem is as well is when you when you want to be able to bring on people to change a game and you look towards your bench, you've got Anthony, you bring on, but if you're going to bring on someone else for a wing, who do you bring on? I suppose you could people are going to say Ahmed, aren't they? Yeah, you could try and play Mason Mount out of position, in it. You've done that with so many other players. I don't even know if Mason Mount's ready to play. I think that's what they were saying earlier on. Is that if Casemiro was available today, Mount probably wouldn't have even been on the bench. Oh wow. He said he couldn't just give that youngster that light, that fake debuting. Oh, come on, boys! Come on, come on! What you got for me? There you go. Some something, something, something. Yes, sir. Let's get signed out this game, boys. Let's get signed. One goal changes it all, lads. Oh, that's. You tried that flick around the corner. There you go. Here is Anthony. Shoots. <sighs> Wide. And told. <sighs> Come on, United. I know, man. Second half settings. It was Bruno that did that little... You know that little annoying one? He's been doing it all game. Here he is again, Bruno. Bruno. There you go. Good Get decision. Up. Good decision. Ball in back post. Ganacho. He's in the box. Shoot. Bruno. <sighs> again. Ganacho again. Come on. Ganacho giving us something on that left hand side. Is that a foul? Ah, ref's not giving fucking anything today, is he? Was it a foul, though? That's the question, mate. Well, I thought he pulled his shirt. I don't know if they'll show it. I'm looking at it again to see it. I've got another stream. That's oh, it's, it's, it, that's the softer than the <laughs> that's softer than the goal, mate. <laughs> But that's it where wasn't. we are. So it's like before the goal, isn't it? We're, we're desperate. He was saying he slipped. Yeah, it's just a light touch, but there's nothing in it for him to... To be fair, we never saw the play. replay. Or I'd never saw the replay. Salah again. Oh, so much space. Oh, no. No. <sighs> Over the bar. <sighs> I mean, it's nearly 75 minutes, KG. They have dominated, dominated the second, second half. Second half, this has been pure domination. First half, it was more competitive. 
Finney just beating this United side into submission at the moment. You know what it was like, KJ? If this was like a boxing match, yeah, we had, what, we had maybe a really early knockdown or some nice yeah. early flurries. And we're going to tell you what, we're, throwing, we're just looking good. And then right about six, six rounds in, they've put us on our ass. And we're like, oh, oh my God. They've put us on it. They've put us completely on our ass, and we're like, oh, and we're still. It wasn't enough. We got back up, but we're just we're shaky. And you're going, look, you're getting battered. Yeah, but just that one. You got that puncher's chance. That's what we're hoping for right now. Is as like we know that we're being outclassed, but that one bang. Oh, they're bringing on Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo. I bring on Bradley as well. It's a shit throw from it's a shit throw from what's the name there though. That's poor. That's just, just a poor surrender of possession as well. Do you know what I mean? And Salah's coming off. Come on, United. Let's get something. The guys off the pitch. Gakpo playing against a fresh Gakpo versus Lindy. There must be something said though, like, you know, like why when it gets to 55, 60 minutes, do we just look completely exhausted? I mean, maybe it's because today we did have so many people coming oh, back that they weren't to, ready, but no, but it's I think when you're chasing shadows, isn't it? We've been trying to get to the ball and we they've kept it really nicely. So go on, go on, take, take him, take him, take him. Too long. Maybe just running after it. So, well done, Cobby. Come on, boys! One moment, man, you can change everything. Mak says it's two one. We're talking like it's five 0 I hate this fan base. I think it's not. I don't a... think anyone's been really negative in this today. No, oh, they was in. He's in. Ganacho. Wins a corner. There you go. That's what we mean. Just need something. Something. Anything. Get the crowd uh, Yeah. Going. I don't think it's been a negative stream at all, actually. No, I, don't, I think it's just... Like, it's we've just, had worse. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just it's just because this second half, because they've had the ball <laughs> not non-stop, you're kind yeah. of being sort of pummeled into submission, aren't you? Absolutely. Good, good, good delivery. All in. What can we do? Post, Maguire. Recycle Win that again it, and give, give it, it back. Give it back. There you go. Ball in again. That's not good enough. Cobby. He tried to head it back out to Maguire. There you go. You've got it, though. Just be Come smart with your decision-making here. Come on, boys. Back post. Ganacho. Get something from here. Cross goal. Oh. Now, Bruno, do not do a madness, please. Just you be smart with it. Get smart. Smart with it. There you go. It was a short from Cobby, to be fair, that time. Short. Really short from Cobby. <laughs> And we're out of position. This is counter attack. Look at him. Look at Kate. Look how many look there are. That. Look at that. Now. Look this at is four that. versus two. Shit. Elliot. Get out. Get out. Don't dive. Oh, God. He's, got, he's done well there. He got away with that. We got thrown Just... a double. I don't know how. Come on, boys, man. That's a lot, you know. Two. Look, look how many there are. Two. It's mental. That was mental. <laughs> that was a... Like, you got to use that Use that as some motivation. Like, they had, like, was it 5v2? And they didn't score. Ericsson's now on the pitch. Who for? Cobbett. Do you know, but I will say this, yeah. Bruno's a madman, you know. You see that back heel that he tries? He tried to back, he that... back heel at 2-1 when he's trapped in the corner. Like, it's, <laughs> it's madness. But this is what I mean. Luckily, like, it, it worked. Yeah. Luckily, it worked. But that's out. That's that's outrageous. Yeah. When it's when it's, when when you're, like I said, when it pays off, you kind of just sort of skirt over it. But like you said, you should sort of revisit and go, what on earth are you doing? Come on, Ericsson. Haven't played a lot of football. We've gone to you. So wait, what is the team? What who's playing the deep? 
He's playing the Ericsson, six. Ericsson's in that sort of deeper role, deep line playmaker. Really? Fucking hell. <sighs> Don't even know what that was, man. Is that a Maguire? Yeah. Uh, Take Your Profit says, KG, my brother, it's the hope that kills. We are simply not good enough. We keep looking for the whistle. We are wasteful in the, we were wasteful in the first half too. Yeah. Oh, United, this United side. Oh, come on. 10 minutes to go. 10 minutes. At T1, there's still... We're still in this game, as mad as it sounds, yeah? We're still in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We need, like, a set piece. We need something. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. And, and not to concede. What's he done, what's he done there? It's been a... You know when people say that line, there's been a golfing class. Yeah, Second like, half, it's, it's like been... when you're watching... Um, like the UFC or whatever, and you got that wrestler who is just on top, yeah, and just and, and yeah. they're just literally just grinding them down, grinding them down. You're like fucking, and and the crowd goes quiet because it's boring to watch. Yeah. That's what this is like, you know what I mean? Crowd's quiet, it's boring because they've had all the ball and they're just sort of slowly just just mauling us. That was a horrible chest thing to control from Maguire though. That draw some of this. It's just become a mauling, a slow yeah. mauling. Yeah. Where they're just on you. You can't move. You can't breathe. You can't get out. Don't know if you watch when, like, snakes and, like, I don't know what type of snake it is. An alligator. A bow, <laughs> and a just, bow can, bow can yeah, 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 yeah. Hand. And yeah. they just, <laughs> and it's just a and every fight. Time, every, every time you breathe, it gets tighter. And you breathe, it gets tighter. Elliot, look at the space, KG. That's, it could be now. Oh. Go on, Rashi. Tries to put it in a bit of a run there. Tries to... Look at Tyson Fury. What is he wearing, by the way? It's just the space is phenomenal. That's... Oh, come on, United, man. 82. Corner ball. Robertson stands over it. Ball in. All right. Why you know, like we like were saying, we're we need something. It, we were like, Why we need like something. We're still we're in it, though. <laughs> We've just had nothing <laughs> the whole half. No, but you got to think, there's got to be like one one or two chances that Man United expect to have before this game's over. We mm. just have to be incredibly clinical with it when we get it. And what is disappointing as well is that like the first half, and I know it's, it's, you can get you know mocked for it for 40 minutes FC, but for 40 minutes, we were good. <laughs> we were up for it. But, like, these players didn't have the stamina for it. Like, the the way to manage the game isn't there. This is, I mean, you don't want to give Liverpool too much credit. But you look at them, you go, well, this is how you manage a game. You get two goals great. and you go, and you go, right, we'll keep the ball now. No problem. Sure. But then what, one thing that they do well is that that press that they, they won't allow you to rest like this. You see how they can just pass it around us? We're mm. we're not we don't have that ability to just just wasting it, man. All right, what are you gonna do a bit? There you go, there you go, boys. See, even look at this press that they were they got on there. It's, it's incredible. Somehow we get around it. Go on, what are you gonna do? Throw in. Um... Don Come F on. says, how can anyone watch this and still back Eric Ten Hag? Godson says, uh, Tyson Fury is dressed for St. Paddy's Day, Owen. Yes. Um, he says, it's the one time I'll give him a pass, the fraud. Of course it is, yes, St. Patrick's Day. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day to all that celebrate. Absolutely. I'm Adson. 
Who came off the pitch? Has the sub actually been made yet, or are they making it? No, or is he on the pitch? pitch? Yeah. Is it Ganacho? Maybe that came off. Varane. Oh, Varane. Free yeah. at the back. KG getting the formation. Last couple of minutes. Three, five, two. Come Take on, your boy. profit says it's not about on, stamina, mate. Owen. It's about common sense. Zotang TV says Liverpool haven't been good today. I think second half, they've been completely in control. Here they come again. Elliot. Come on, boys. We're still in it. While it's like this, like it's horrid, but there's still a chance. Come on, United. Huh? There you go. What do you want to do? Go. What do you want to do, boys? What do you want to do, boys? Can that show? It's bouncing around. Shoot! Yes! Yes! Come on! Yes! Somehow, some way, somehow, some way. I don't. We're know still how. in it. <laughs> Told you, oh. bro. Come on! Uh. Come on, KG. Come on. Yes. That's a great goal as well. He just turns, swivels, turns puts it in the bottom corner. So. <laughs> we said it's that when he came on, though, didn't we? We said Anthony. Yes. Really both, both of us went, well, you know, Come what else on. is he going to do? Look at this. Well done, Ganacho. Keeps yes, it alive. Sir. Keeps it alive. And he's got a lot to do turn shit brilliant goal i mean look at it he's got he's got no right really look he's surrounded end. by these shirts puts it in the bottom corner let's that's what you it. want from him let's come on it, let's see if we can do it boys oh come on and this is what you were saying Kate. this is what you were saying and you're you're right when you were wait, saying wait, look. i got rest the team. Come on, boys. And this is what you're saying, KG is like, look, as long as it's two one. <laughs> didn't even realize it's like I can't even hear Owen, bro. Owen what? <laughs> KG. Didn't realize my headphones was out the whole time. I was just celebrating and getting mental. No. <laughs> No, no, you're in no man's land. Oh, no, no. Oh, they've hit the post. Oh. No, pen, no, no pen, no pen, no pen. Offside. Fuck. Look at this. Just scuffs it. Oh my God, KG. That's naughty, that. We're in this game, mate. Oh, it's getting called a lot of names in the chat, bruv. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> They've been calling me all sorts. They have. I've seen it. I've seen. I've, I've been seeing it. Um, it is what it is. Someone apologised, said, you know, I'm going to apologise. I said, you know what? I take that apology, mate. Um... Come on, man. <sighs> Come on, Bruno. boys. Fucking <laughs> put his foot through it. That's better, Ericsson. Go on. Oh, keep going, Anthony. If you get the equaliser and the winner, oh my God. Ball in. Well, look, oh, man. Oh. 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 What are you going to do? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? Are we going to win oh, this Christ. game? Oh. Come on. Honestly, KG. He looks up for it, doesn't he? It's a good ball he puts in as well. It's deflected. Great ball. We're in this game. Oh, well, look, you, you, you kept saying it, KG. He's like, as long as it's 2-1, anything's possible. <laughs> anything's you know I mean? possible, mate. Do we go on and win it, though? Ahmad would be a brilliant person. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Old Trafford have woke up. By the way, KG, Anthony, second goal of the season. 
Both come in the FA Cup. Come on! Come on now, boys. Klopp, I bet you can't believe it. He must be thinking, what? <laughs> what? Because um, we can get him behind. Take your profit, says goal, yes. Um, J- JP87. JP87 says, um, Eric 10 Wonder Gaffer, reload it. Don F says, nice job, Anthony. Now pay us back the other 79 million. Oof. If he scores, he's, if he gets us through, that would be a big step in that direction, mate. Madness. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Anthony again. Bruno, nothing mad. Please. There you go. Come on, Dallo. boys. Come on, Ball boys. in. Come on, boys. Ericsson. Can I... The tide's turning. The tide is turning. Referee. Are we going to get it? Do we get anything? There you go. Free kick. Or was it throwing? Throwing. <laughs> Throwing, oh, I would like a free kick there. Well done, boys. Well done, man. Come on, United. I can't believe it's 2 2. <laughs> I can. I can totally believe it's 2 2. Corner. Come on, KG. Come on. Yes. Come on. We can do this. Come on, boys. Let's get this header. Maguire. Maguire. They're zooming in on him. They know. They know. Harry. Harry. Go on. Let it be Harry. Let it be Harry. Ball in by Ericsson. Keeper punches. Keep it alive, Ahmad. Keep it alive. Fucking hell. On Nans. Pass. Game. Good touch as well. That's better, Bruno. Ball in. Back post. Ganacho. Oh. Oh. Maguire. Flicked on. It's still up in the air. Pinball settings. Maguire again. You've Recycle it. Off. Recycle it. Keep You've it. Make careful. sure you keep the ball. Ganacho's going to go at him. Well done. Come on, KG. You know we said we needed something. Come We've woke on! up. We've woke up. Yes! We've woke up. Oh. Let's go. Again, I'll... Lindelof's going for the long throw. Lindy, do to, it. He's trying to, trying to drive the ball. He's been pissing down. Long throw. Roy to lap. Come on, Ganach. Can you put the ball in? Into an area. Rashi. Rashi. Oh, he put it back to him. Oh, he needed that header. Well done. I think that's Bruno. Okay, just mental. It's bloody fight, mate. Oh, no foul. Anthony again. Don't lose it. Ericsson. Ahmad. Where are you going? Lindelof. Old Trafford is rocking, KG. They can it feel it. Be. They can feel it. Come on, let's get these pricks. Long ball in again. Maguire. Well done. I think that was Ahmad. Keeps it going. Ericsson, can you find the pass? Ball over the top. Rashi! 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 Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It was the one. That was the one. That's the one. Oh, he hits the keeper. Touch. Beautiful touch. I missed his KG. He just missed. Oh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That's Keep the one. Going. Keep That's going. the one. Keep going. Keep going. Rashi, fucking hell. And that's the final kick of the Rashi. game. That was the final kick of the game. Full time. We're going to extra time. Rashi, bloody hell. We have to stay with this. Stay with this. Oh, that was a big moment. That's a big moment. I can't believe that, Rashi, KG. That's the job I mean, that's, that's the He's ultimate. Have a look. That, that's the ultimate. The ultimate. You know Ball over the top it's by awareness. Ericsson. Through on goal. Awareness. 
he doesn't look. It's awareness. He doesn't look at the keeper. He doesn't look at the keeper. He doesn't look at the keeper. That. Don't worry. We just got to keep going, man. That we got to keep on going. That, that We're back in this moment. game. That was the moment. Oh, He looked. Darwin misses loads of those every single game. They tell him, keep getting Darwin. Man United, we got to keep going. 2-2. Two, two. Who would have thought we're in this one? Rashi will get another one. Anthony has the moment, a big moment. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. We're in this game. Oh, KG, I can't believe it. Big changes. Big changes. That. I know I can't. I know focus on the negative, but I can't believe that fucking miss. Honestly, I cannot believe that, KG. That is uh, that was the moment. Again, that was the moment. Marcus it was a Rashford. Big moment. It he's was, had the art. Uh, he's done the article. Moment. They've been the, the talking, the noise. Ericsson ball over the top. Final kick of the game. Quarter final. Old Trafford. Stretford end. And he passed the post. I can't believe so, it. Bro, we just got as I said, man. The thing is belief. Keep going. It's a it's a shame. It's a shame. How did he miss that? He didn't look. He didn't look up at all. You know, but. Bro, like, people are saying Cage is going to back Rashford. I'm not surprised there. Bro, I'm just backing my team, fam. I'm backing my team to get through. We played rubbish football. Somehow, it's 2-2, two -two and we're in the quarters, and we're a step away from the semifinals. Why should I not back him? Or should I just cuss him and do a madness right now? Makes no sense. I'm going to speak life into that kid. Hopefully, he gets the goal. Hopefully, he makes up for it. It's mental, bro. Sometimes, sometimes it's beyond toxic, fam. Right now, we're, we're doing, um, we're upset at what? <laughs> you look just want to well, be upset well, at me, bro. No, no. Do you sound with your life, bro? I don't think, I, don't, I, think it, I think it's just the case. Now I'm talking of, about, not you, I'm talking in the chat. I'm talking in the chat, bro. Like, it's, I, I'm saying since the whole game, yeah, I've been just staying with the team, bro, the whole time, bro. And then I'm, I've been cussed for backing the team and saying they're still not over, fam. And now it's, it's a bit mental, fam. Just, <laughs> we're I seconds just, away. Like, like, it's like, it's like the script. The script was there. You couldn't script it. Yeah. And he's missed his cue. It's, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I'm still gonna believe, bro, until the I end. I mean, fam. look, look, look. To, to be honest, fam. we were that second half for again for 40 minutes. That second half, we just got passed off the park. We got dominated. We couldn't believe they were still with two one. Then Anthony, by the way, we haven't even said enough about that. Anthony, unbelievable. Comes on, scores a brilliant goal. Man. And then for five minutes, we've got him. We've got him. We had him, KG. We had him on the ropes. On the ropes. Look at it we've right now. I was talking to the boys. We've got to go again. We've got to find that thing. We've got to find that thing. Anthony done well. Absolutely brilliant. He needed that moment as well. Can we go it? Can we do the whole thing? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Come on, man. If you look, listen, can we be united for a little while? Yeah. I'm talking about the United fans in the chat, not the not the idiots. Yeah. Can we just say, you know what? For this extra time, we're just gonna back the team. Can we do that? That's what I'm uh, asking right now. Can you be positive and get us over the line? Couple That's of what I'm looking for. Here. Super chats. WJ Barrett says that was more than the moment unforgivable. Nathan says, KG, get your head out your backside. Cool. <laughs> this is it. Look, they're showing it again on ITV. Uh, Rash he might have been off. He might have been offside. It'd have been tight. KG's It'd have been the, very, very tight. I listen to this Luther. KG is the sole reason why United are in the position they're in. <laughs> Right, well, I the tell fan you, base is split. Your reaction is so disgusting. I tell, you, I tell you this on a daily basis, KG, but you refuse to listen. So, yeah, I know, man. It's all my fault. Oh, come on, let's go, boys. Let's go. I call it that misplaced rage, fam. <sighs> let's go. Was he offside? I don't know. I don't know if he was offside. Actually, let's do it. Later. He should have scored it. Should have. He should have scored. Yeah, exactly. Give it to VAR and then see what happens. Come on, man. I can't play we're going to do this because it doesn't really... It hasn't worked on me. <laughs> like, Don Robbie says it, basically. Come on. And you know what is remarkable as well, KG? For a side that 
we're talking in that game like so looks exhausted and shattered. Last ten minutes, we just came to life. That's what I'm saying. When you have the ball, and just it just gives you that feeling of confidence and belief, bro. When you're chasing shadows, oh, everything feels, everything hurts. Uh, we got Wonderful. nearly 2K there. watching, by the way, guys. We got over 1,100 likes. If you haven't already, though, click the like button. Let's get to 1,500. Um, yeah, lots of people were saying that Rashford might have been off. I think uh, they're saying, yeah, they said that Rashford was off. We've got to keep going. Can we do it, boys? Can we do it? Yes, we can. So there you go, KJ. That makes us feel better. He was offside anyway. Wouldn't have counted. So who cares? We'd have found ourselves in the same situation anyway. <sighs> Ericsson, he can find the pass. We saw it. We saw it. Bruno, fizz stick. Good touch, Anthony. Shoots! Oh, KG. I tell you what, he is up for it today, isn't he? He's up for it. He's up for it. He's up for it, mate. We love what we're seeing. Oh, Anthony, not bad there. Not bad at all. Oh, well done, Anthony, though. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, on. Yes, yes. Well oh, done, Lindelof. Ah, oh, come off it, referee. You ain't give us nothing in this game. <sighs> we haven't even had time to breathe, KG. We haven't had anything, mate. It's been just non-stop. Wow, this is brilliant, though. This is what you want, FA Cup. But this is just what we were saying. You know, going into the game. Me. You know, we were saying going into the yep. game and people were being like negative. And we're going, look, the FA Cup, it is different. Like, I can't explain it, but, you know, it's it's weird. It's a weird competition. You can get dominated and still come out of it, you know, 2-2. Two, two. Or, Something. you know, that's what happens. That's what happens at FA Cup. What's crazy right now, though, oh, we're still at this moment. Get there. You've got to get there. You've got to get there. It's Ericsson. Gomez. Now we've got to be get that Onana. Well done. Had a couple of mad moments in this game, Onana. A couple of good saves as well. It's been kind of a bit of everything from him, hasn't it? Yes. Fuck's sake. That's what I'm talking about right there. Godson says, I'm, I'm with you, KG. About. Back the team. Come on. Take your profit, says. This is what you get paid 350k, uh, 350K for. Big game moment. But lots yeah, of people saying, come it. on, come on, come on. Just Let's just back him. Let's just back him if we can for, like, I don't know. Like, finish the game. Try your best. And then after you can inquest at the end, man. But it's well, just an energy even, thing right again, now. Even that Rashford thing, they're saying he was offside anyway. So it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have counted. So let's not even dwell on it. It's done. Got to focus on this. Liverpool on the edge of the box. So I just hope we can carry over that kind of second win we got, KG. You know what I mean? We just, yeah, we just got to believe. Like, again, it's we have to believe. We have no choice. We find ourselves in that situation. Man United have got back into this game somehow. You wouldn't have believed that Anthony would be the person to do it, but he did. Now, what can we do now? And, and bear in mind, KG, as well, when um, we scored... They went up the other end. Onana did a madness and they hit the post as well. <laughs> like, this is it. crazy. This is it, bro. It's mental. But again, like, so right now, we are in this tight. We are in this tight. You know? Some people thought this was going to be a sacrificial Sunday as well. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, loads of goals and stuff. And, and to be fair, it could, find it, could, in extra time. It, it, it could It could have been, but we managed to hang in there. You know what I mean? Managed to hang in there. He's made some decent changes and the changes have actually paid some dividends. So, you know, um, come on, boys. We have to ride out. We have to ride the storm, though. When it gets dark, we just got to get through these moments and find our. And what you would say, wouldn't you? You would say to people like, you know, Anthony, you've been criticized. You're out the team when you come on. Take your chance. Say with Ahmed. You're out the team manager, Absolutely, maybe he doesn't mate. rate you. But now you're on the pitch an extra time against Liverpool. Make a name for yourself. Fuck's sake. Anthony just tried to pass it to Amat. <laughs> Went out for a throw in. Oh, the line has been taken out. Good. Sick what? of these officials today. It's a kind of line yeah. <laughs> <I> mean... 
You're on straight up crud behavior, fam. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. JP87TM says, bring on boy Kev 61 for the winner. To beat these would mean everything, bro. Anthony. He's getting in the box again. I tell you, KG looks up for it. Oh, Ahmad, heavy, heavy. Just take the foul. Of course you give it referee. Of course you would. I'm telling you, KG, Anthony is up for it. Confidence player. Confidence. He's got he's feel, feeling good from that goal. And why wouldn't you? You just kept your team in the tie. Good analysis. <laughs> Listen, I'm rattled, bro. I'm just <laughs> trying to. <laughs> I mean, this stream really has had everything, hasn't That's it? That's not it's a not... foul. But that wasn't a foul that Ahmad won, though, on Thingy, on McAllister. I've got another yeah. stream that's just running behind. What do we do? What do we do? Ganach, Ganach, Ganach. Oh, corner though, KG. Corner, keep going. Keep Come the energy. On. Keep the energy. Please believe. We have to try at least. That's all we can do as fans. <laughs> that's hey. all we can do. That, hey, that Maguire one's still on. Well, here, look. Ahmad's down. He's holding his face. He didn't got a bang in the eye or a thumb in the eye or something like that. That hurts. A poke in the eye. Corner. It's called Nathan. It's called Nathan. Don't worry about it, bro. Go on, Maguire. Do something. Come on, man. Ball in. Canache. <sighs> You wouldn't know how you feel, bro. He would. Take your profit, says Ahmad's got to step up and make the right decision. Uh, like I say, a lot of these players that have been heavily criticised, they're playing for their future. That's a great ball by Onana. It's Maguire. Oh, he's hung it up. Fuck. Onana. That's what, that's what we got him for, KG. That ball. This is incredible. Why that's why he's here, mate. <sighs> Man United. That's it. In behind again, KG. In behind. In behind. We can get in behind. Oh. There was a lot there that we could have just got that ball. Should have. Now this is the danger. Oh, Man United. These spaces. These spaces. This is the danger. Let's not dive in too much, Anthony. Don't... It's not a foul referee. Every time this in this game, saying. he's constantly this is give it. Mate, I told you, Bray, when I talk about the consistency and just like the soft ones and then you're like, not to go back to you, Bruno, but I'm just saying it's just, it's never consistent. I, I can't tell you what one is now. If that happened so when at people the come back at me on us, he wouldn't have given it. He wouldn't have given that. That's the difference. I just don't understand the rules. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. That's the hard part because it's, what one is, what's not, you know, like, that's not a foul. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so even when you know when you get that one when it's people say right you don't know ball and all them stuff today i'm like bro i actually don't Angel. know what a foul is right Angel. now oh, fuck, man. They, they make me worry those ones because they can just creep in but you're right i mean for me like i get it when they go oh yeah you beat the player and that but it's the difference is as you say it's consistency in the game, isn't it? It's consistency, it's consistency. in the game. So you don't know right. which one will be. You know, you say, yep, yeah. one, two, three. You know, you see, like, and say, yep, yeah, that was given, that wasn't given. You know yeah. what I mean? Well done, Dallow. There you go. What are we going to do? On, Anthony. Anthony, just keep going. Keep on going, bro. Okay, it's cool. Worked. Tries it. Rashi, good flick. There you go. Ganacho, half folly. Didn't do a good back heel. Shoot. Oh, I thought it was in. Oh, Lindelof. Side netting. Look at it. He just thinks I'm going to put my foot through it. Yeah. If Lindy scored that, we would have lost our. Well, oh, anyone blue scores for us. And blue dabba dee dabba die. You would have heard the screams. Oh. <laughs> Simacast is coming on for them. Reminder, guys, if you haven't already clicked the like button, we've got over 1,700 people watching, over 1,200 likes. Do you know what you should have done, though? 
Do you know what Lindelof should have done? He, I think he should have tried to whip it in and find Ahmed or something because he was unmarked. Or just one of those fizz ones where it can bounce off someone and sort of ricochet in. I don't know. Well done, Anthony. Foul. See, that's well a foul. Done. That's a foul. If he don't give it. Did we get it? Did we get it this time? Or is it just uh, for a throw in? But the fact we're debating that, that's that's how crazy it is. <laughs> there, the you there you go. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of like. <laughs> we're going on, is it? I don't know. But it's, I'm saying, Anthony's up for it. Now, just this playing out from the back thing. Nothing mad now, okay? Nothing mad here. It's going to be true to his philosophy, isn't go. it? There you go, Ganache. What? 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 Ganache? What can you do? Rashford. Good ball. Bruno, nothing crazy. Ball over the top. What to? Still in there. I tell you what, I think Canacho just fucking levered him. <laughs> just smashed Good. him. Well done. Well done, man. If I'm going to give away a foul, I'll let you know, referee, definitely it is one, considering you're going to give it anyway. We've had 22 attempts, by the way. And Liverpool have had 24. Eight on target today, 10 on target. Like you say, KG, you've got to keep going. Got to keep going. Keep believing, Believe man. It. Just exactly. everyone in the chat, everyone in the chat, just stay with the team. Just try your best, man. Go on, Anthony. Go on. You're up for it. Ericsson, good, done some uh, good passes since he come on as well. Bruno, is he on? I feel like he's off. Rashford through on goal. He is through. Marcus Rashford. I oh, put it wide again. Now, if he's offside, I think he knew he was off. But Marcus Rashford, I don't care whether you're offside or offside, please just score those and we can leave it to VAR to decide. He's miles off. Yeah. But still, I'm not confident when he's through on goal. You know what I mean? He'll get one, man. He'll get one. We just got to stay with the guy. Darwin Nunes style, bro. The way them Liverpool fans just allow him to do foolishness in front of goal. We just got to do the same, fam. Man... Unrivaled support, fam. Please believe, KG, believe. Unrivaled support, bro. They're going to laugh at you anyway, innit? It's one of those ones, bro. So what, what have you got to lose? Ball in, blocked. Uh, take your profit, says, I want us to put them to the sword. Game of Thrones. Africa. <sighs> Just a couple of minutes left of the first half of extra time. A reminder, this, we have to have a winner, so we are going to get penalties. A little Yo-Yo says, the Chronicles of Onania has been fairly solid. A little Yo-Yo is obsessed with puns. That's just The obsession with puns. Very strong. I'm sorry, yo. <laughs> I just don't care at the moment. <laughs> KG's, KG's in that territory where he doesn't know what to say. I'm, full, I'm in this game. I'm in this game beyond... Edge, Come edge on. of the box. Step, step, Deflection. Step. Fuck Fuck off. sake. You just saw it. As soon as, as soon as it got deflected, as soon as it got deflected, you knew. You just knew. <sighs> That's oh, two in one game, KG. Two deflections in one game. Is that from a... <laughs> Twice. Twice in one game. Look at this. Who's the deflect oh, off of? Wicked deflection, man. Maguire, I think. It's wicked, man. I, mean, I think what it's Anthony. Or is it Ericsson? I think it might be Ericsson. I can't see it. My... There you go. Yes, yeah, Ericsson. Deflects off Ericsson. Off, fr off Ericsson, I think, through... Yeah, Ericsson through Maguire's legs. Hey, listen. Let's still keep getting. <laughs> still a half a football team played, bro. It's not golden goal. It's not what you wanted. Go on, Anthony. Go on. It's not what you wanted. 
gewonnen. Ahmad, come on. Puts it over to Ganacho. Go on, Rashi. Oh, oh, Go on. Oh, oh. oh someone's got to be there. Ah, oh, it's wicked. That's well, Mate, Rashford. There's still enough time. There's still enough time. That's half time and extra time. There's still enough time, mate. There's still enough. I wish um, Ericsson was there for just the, the, you know, that Rashi one. It's ice. Uh, it's, it's, what can you do about that? Oh, unlucky. There's not much. That's just unlucky. That's what I'm saying. When the luck has, the luck has to go for you there, but a goal, penalties. One goal, penalties. It's been a wicked tie, though. Fucking hell. Come on. There's, there, there's, still, there's still another chance left in this game. One, yeah, yeah. Big chance in this game. You can't. What could you do about that? What could you do about that? They all they all committed. They was all there. Well, not only that, not only is it the deflection, it's deflected through Maguire's legs past Onana. I mean, yeah, it's like bloody hell, mate. <laughs> uh, we got nearly two thousand oh, people watching. By on. the way, guys, if you haven't already, click the like button and see if we get to fifteen hundred likes. We're going to need to manifest everything, manifest everything we possibly can. KG, KG's been saying reload it. He's been saying energy. I'm just trying believe. to say, yeah, yeah, just we just got just again. We just got like not long left now. All you like in this, it's in this moment. You lot get to thingy, get there. The same way they took that shot and they just they went for it. A deflection. We have to try our best. Is Mason Mount coming on for all? I don't know. Ah, oh, come on, boys. Oh, it's not easy. I take, your, take your profit, says pissed. Uh, Milan says, Marcel blaming that call on Maguire. I think you can maybe say that goal about getting out to him a bit, but I mean, that's two deflected goals today, isn't it? I mean, what can you do? I mean, the two Rashford opportunities, oh, Mason Mount's on, Mason Mount's on the pitch. You've got 15 minutes, lads. This is it. This is it, bro. Hold on. And we're off. Second half of extra time oh. is underway. <sighs> 15 minutes, KJ. That's what we got. 15 minutes. Can we do it? That's the question. I mean, look, when we when we when we equalized to make it 2-2, that quite literally came out of nowhere, didn't it? We didn't see that at all. And it's uh, Victor a, Lindelof. Hey, Mason off. Mount. Mount. If, Mason Mount, if you want to just do a light announcement and just welcome yourself here, I'd appreciate it right now. Rashford, Ericsson. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Ganacho. Who to play for? Heavy, it's heavy. I've noticed that guy actually. The last, last like what ten or in that extra time, extra time, he does look a bit like he's overhitting stuff a little bit. He's but I mean, look, people, every, everyone's out of position at this point, right? It's he's just it's crazy. Giving, he's he's giving us all hurt. right now. The guy, I think Bruno's injured. He's giving us all, bro. I think Anthony's at left back. I mean, we're in to just complete freestyle who even knows what's got to go on situation it's just do or die football right now isn't it you just go I mean, you're Patrick trying something you know what i mean we're in do or die yeah it's do or die football right now it's like raw do you want it you know mm -hmm. 
come on, boys. Come on, man. There is a to chance, the though, in this half, KG. There will be a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Now we just got to make sure that we can put it away when it comes. Yeah, well, and we got to make sure that we're in the space to actually, you know, level the game. This has been a wicked tie. Imagine if, as the neutral watching this, bloody hell. That's what a lot of them have been like this weekend. FA Cup, we were saying, it's something different. The magic. The magic of the tournament. <sighs> Come on. Something. Throw Come in. On, Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it. You can get a goal back. You can get a goal back, boys. Let's Bruno do it. can barely Bruno can barely move. He's hurt. Give the ball away. Ericsson, another deflection. This time actually works for us. Anthony, not there. Why are you trying to do rollovers there? Oh, come on, boys. You lot can do it. Something, anything. A set piece, corner, long ball by Onans. There you go. Whatever it takes. United play to it. Ericsson, there you go. That's what you'd say as well. Get forward, forward. Ericsson. Anthony, there you go. Bit of space. Get it to Ericsson in these areas. Ball over the top. But to who? To who? Who's he? Who's he thinking? He played that one. To? Ericsson. Who played that one? Yeah. It's do or die football, man. We're at that stage. If we get a goal back, we win this game <laughs> on pens. Now, how long is he taking, referee? How long? Right, book him. Thank you very much. And add that time on as well, please. That He's still taking his time. Was... He's still taking his time as well. You notice this? How long did we wait? Yes, yeah, ridiculous. We get a goal. I'm telling you right now, we can. We win this. Penalties. We've got, to get there. We've got to get there first, KG. I know, man. Well done. Ericsson. All right, come on. Hold up, hold up, Rashford. Can strong, you strong, up? strong. No, it's too big. He'd give it. Did he give it? Fucking yes, hell. finally, ref. <laughs> finally, yeah. My God. Ball over the top. It's too rushed, though. Anthony, come on. Oh, we got Crystal it, though. Magic. Ganacho, heavy touch again. Ericsson. There will be a chance, KG. There will be a chance. There will Maguire. be a chance. That down. one chance. Maguire! Maguire! Oh! oh! Straight out of the keeper again. There will be a chance. And we'll know when we've seen it as well. <laughs> For sure. It'll be that one where you say that, that was it. That wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. That wasn't we'll the chance. Seen it. We'll not, no, that Bruno. wasn't the one. No, we'll know when we see it. Bruno, where are you we'll going? Know. That's a free kick, referee. That's a foul. No, he's back up. Camera's back on again, KG. 3v2. Get back in if you can. Run, run. Well done. Who is that? It's Ahmad. Go on, Ahmad. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, Ahmad. Keep going, Ahmad. Gravel. Well Bloody done. Oh. This game is absolutely mental, mate. Long ball towards Ganacho. Bounced off the back of his head. And I think, to be fair, I know people are going, oh, what, what's going on with this formation? It's second half extra time. It's Shit goes out the window. Off, you know what I mean? It's, it's just, off, it's, <laughs> it's just, it gets mad. Now it's just saying. about if you, uh, character. It's just a character thing. Don't... Ah! Oh. That's what it's based Not Again, you don't get tactical at this point, do you? It's not, come on, man. This is just like, 
It's about if you ca can you fight. How we want it back. We want it back. Got it in you. But Tom and A. Rashford. Yes, we did it, KG. We said. 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 What did we, we say, said, Owen? We said there would be a time. chance. Ahmad wins it back. McTominay, can Owen. you find the pass? Yes, you can. Rashford, can you find the net? <laughs> yes, you can. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come there what you did go. We say? We what said there would be a chance. We said there would be a chance. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Stand by him. Come on. What kind of belief do you have in the fan base? I need you lot, man. I need I, you lot I look today. At those people. Reload it, reload it! Reload it! Reload it! Like we said, didn't we, those people, we said, if you're Ahmad, make a movement. He wins it back. If you're McTominay, you're being criticised. Pass it to Rashford. Rashford, you're being criticised. You, you, you missed those two chances. They were offside, so it doesn't matter. Uh, ignore it. Get rid of it. He puts it in the bottom corner. Free, free. Come on, Listen. KG. Come on. And let's do it. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Stand by him, lads. <sighs> what a game, mate. There's still what time as well. There's still time. Come on. Talking about, bro. Come on now. Uh. Can we believe though in the chat? Can we? Yes. Yeah, I'm seeing Can we stay with I'm the seeing team? I'm seeing the chat go, yes, believe. That's what you need, isn't it, KG? You need that manifest. We don't. And look, he just he look, kicked McGuire. Oh, he kicked him Book him. Face. Book him. Book him. He's already on a yellow, isn't he? He should be off. He's already on a yellow. Is, is McAllister not on a yellow card already? And look at him he playing is. down, try to so he doesn't get a yellow. It should be gone. Dangerous play. Dangerous play. Look at that Rashford. Told you, man, you can't. Don't fight with this guy. Rashford's done his job. Yes. Is that not, is that not booking? It's not. It's got to be off. Booking? It's got to be. It's got to be a second yellow card. Is it not? That should be a yellow card. A yellow card at least. You're not getting a booking. Yeah, he's a pussy, yo. Mad referee. Look at him pretending. Watch him. Look at the great acting he's done. Um, big up, I am Coast to Coast. Gifted 20, 20 UV memberships. The chat Thank is you believing. so much, man. Thank you so much. Uh, take your profit says reload it. Nathan says reload it, reload it. I can't believe he hasn't given a yellow card for that. And he's one of their penalty takers as well. Oh, now he's giving them one. The other. Oh, come on. This is getting oh, on McAllister as well. This is taking the absolute piss. Owen, I don't even know what a free, I don't even know what a foul is anymore. I'll tell you that for now. What the rules are, I'm totally like. That's crazy. When they say it to me, when they say, yo, ball knowledge is in a mud year, I say, listen, mate, you, should be, you could be right here because I haven't got a foggiest what's going on. I mean, heaven forbid, you know, wow, he's a penalty taker for Liverpool, so I don't really want to, you know, I don't really want to send him off. Come on, man. Referee. Am I got booked? Am I got booked for it? Disgrace. I win it back. That's not a foul, ref. Good. Ericsson. Ball over the top. Go on, Rashi. Go on, Rashi. Go on. 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 Oh! Oh, it's inches, KG. It's inches. Oh, McTominay. A win! Oh. Come on, you lot. Stay oh, with us. By Rashford. Look at that for a ball stay as well. Come on, fans. Stay with us, man. You can. A moment of unity from the United fan base. Oh, give off it, referee, with your pissing free kicks. Every five seconds, how did the Liverpool player go down? Let's give it. That was such a big chance for McTominay. 
And again, that's where you got to give Rashford credit. Hold up, play, ball in the box. Brilliant. Oh, oh Mickey T. <laughs> seen that chance, seen that opportunity again. Come on, boys. This has been a tie to remember. Just keep fighting. You just that's what it's about now. It's about fighting. It's just fight. It's just fight. Oh, well held, Onana. Well held. Now, you can say that you're just proud of these boys. You have to say that you're proud of these boys. Like this is a performance of a lifetime right now. They're again, they're putting everything on the line. And those people that were criticizing Eric Ten Hag going, oh, what's this formation we're playing? It's extra time, man. It's yeah. <laughs> you're it's throwing time. everyone just forward. Fight. We're just fighting. It's about fight. You think you when um, first. you think when Fergie was getting late winners, people were analyzing his sort of everyone up front formation. Like it's just it gets crazy. Well done again. Come That's on! Bad. Come on, boys! Watch out, man watch on, out, man, man on. It's good having a keeper that can actually I tell you what, as well. Ahmad's been brilliant since he came on. He's won the ball back. Sit. Can we do it, boys? Can we? Oh, oh, two no. footed as well. Nasty referee. Nasty yeah. referee. Now you give it. Give now that. you give it. Come on, boys. This is next level, bro. This is next level. Look at that. Look Everyone at that. looked in. Did Everyone book looked in. Did he book it? Oh, we've got to get over it. We've got to get over it. We've got to move and just try and find this goal, mate. Ah, this ref's a There's buff. another big chance. I know, Rick. Just listen. I know, man. But now it's just. Oh. Okay. Come on, United. Well done, Bruno. I mean, to be fair, look, Bruno's out on his feet. He's clearly injured. He's playing centre back. But this is what we wanted, KG. We wanted to see fight. We wanted to see fight from these players. Our boys, have, our boys have given us everything. Their boys have given us everything, fam. From 2 1 to 2 2, from 3 2 and extra time to 3 3. That's fight. That's what you want to see. Oh, it's brilliant. Fouling. Well done. Well done. Who was that? Dallow. Come on, please. Look at this tackle by Dallow. Well done. Boys are giving us everything, mate. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, man. No more jing bangs. Corner. We're going to need people away. Away. Well done, McTominay. Now get out. Win it back. Go on, Ahmad. Oh, well oh, done. Oh, Go on. Oh, oh, Snatch. I'm Snatch. I'm I'm pass. I'm I'm pass. I'm Ahmad. 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 Amadiallo! Yeah! yeah! We did it! We did it! We did it! Amadiallo! Yeah! 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 Bricks! Come on! Yes! Oh my God! What a finish as well! Come he on! And he puts it off the post. In the, oh my god! Oh, it. Reload it! Reload it! Reload it! We said make a name for yourself. Make a moment. Oh. Take it. Look, first of all, KG, he wins it. Look, he wins it first. Come on. Then Ganacho, can you carry it? Can you carry it? Stay on side. Yes. Make the pass. Make the pass. Gives it to Diallo. Takes it. Left footed. Bang. Off the yes. post. It's not anymore in the corner. Ahmad. Ahmad. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come Ooh. on. Come on. Reload it. Reload it. What? Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Oh. Oh. It's over. It's over. I think he got sent off.
He got second yellow card. Fuck off, man. See, taking the piss. He just scored a possibly winning goal in the last minute of extra time, and you've given him a yellow card. You bitch. You, he's been doing this all game. All game he's been doing this. Madness. Madness. This referee. Sick of him. Absolute sick of him. Away. Away. I don't even understand what's going on. I can't believe the rest done that. Now, be smart. Be smart, Ganacho. Just hit the corner. Don't try and get a Just goal. Run. Keep Just the ball. Run. Keep the ball. Just run. Don't do something crazy. Run. That's it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Don't. It doesn't matter if you go down. Ref ain't going to give it. Our ball. No. Referee. 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 I can't stand him. I'm sick of him. He's been doing it all game. Just tell me when it's over, mate. Tell me when it's over. Long ball. Be smart, Bruno. Don't just whack it. Be smart. Nothing mad. And it's not like looting all over again. Well done, Bruno. We give it everything. We come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. My fucking manager. <sighs> Come on, boys. Load a fucking whistle. Long throw. Rashford wins that header. Get it down if you can. Down if you can. Ericsson hooks it. How long are we doing then, ref? How long are we doing? Because this is well, well, well over now. Come on. How long, referee? Yes! Full yeah! time! We did it! Come Those on. fucking bricks! Yes! Come on! We did it! Who was saying going into this game, KG? They were saying, they were saying, why are you being optimistic? Why are you being optimistic? Why are you doing it? Why are you saying it? You don't believe it. Yes, we did believe it, KG. Yes, we did believe it. Come on! Of course it was possible. Don't piss me off! Oh! What did I say? Where's uncle? Believe fam. The team came together. Toxicity gone in the chat. Oh. That's why you never give up, KG. That's why. That's why you never give up. That's Man United. Come on! We fucking gave it to them. And KG, where's the, where's the glazing of Liverpool now? Where are they? Where is... <laughs> Where's Carragher? Where's Sunes? Where where are they all? What are they saying now? What oh, are they saying now? Now I gotta apologize to Ahmed. You lot fuck off, man. This that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> it's taking the piss, bro. You lot taking the absolute piss, bro. Oh, I'm not gonna let anyone spoil it. That <laughs> game was phenomenal, mate. Man United, we I told you we're gonna send them crying. Bring me Liverpool, I said. Bring them. Then we're gonna send Jurgen Klopp packing. He's packing. gone. He's out of here. Oh. Anthony, fucking hell! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the team meeting at the IV. <laughs> the boys oh. were backing him. You're not ruining this for me, bro. Reload it, KG. Reload it. What? Reload it! Reload it! Reload it! Reload it! Oh. oh my god. Four three. They said when you made that little Tottenham video. Oh, what are you saying now, bruv? Piss off. Hold that. AGT, hold that. All of them, hold that, bro. <laughs> Oh. oh, and we're going to Wembley, KG, as well. We're going to Wembley. That's what it means, man. 
KG said, let's do the madness as well. KG's spirit is internet. It's all over the place. It's just crazy. KG's moving in. KG's moving in stop animation. Oh, my God. He's broke his headphones. Uh, Stevie Nickel. Hey, Stevie Nickel, prick. Where's the other guy? The other, what's the other one in there? Graham Sunez, prick. <laughs> My um, internet can't even manage. No. <laughs> uh, the Magic Kitchener. No, wait a minute. We've got loads here. Um, take Your Profit says. Oh, no, we've got even more. Um, M. Blay says, believe. Take Your Profit says, maybe just the Man United DNA is still alive. The Reckless One says, keep reloading it. This is effing football heritage. Um, the Magic reload it, reload it. Reload it. Reload it. The Magic Kitchener says, the time is now. Lil Yo-Yo says, nah, KG, I need bear reload. <laughs> Joe says, I told you he was the truth. I told you. GJ E's been for 10 months, says, Ahmad. Red Baron says, getting sent off for showing passion. Football is dead. Back this ref. Danny DeVito says, um, I'm dead. That was ridiculous. Hold that clop. George is with uh, oh, Super Chat says, Wembley. Um, Dang Rang says, bro, it's my birthday. Perfect present. Let's go. George has gifted five UV memberships Ooh, as well. Oh, blimey. Blimey, that's the $50 super chat coming in right there. Mac says, um, this has been a rough season, but today the boys made me proud. They stuck in there, and today with Mac's effort and as a team. V33 says, Ahmad, let him play. He was the spark and extra time. KG, he won the ball back, and then he he's scored it. He put it in the back of the net as well. Then he oh, got sent brilliant. off. Oh. Listen, listen right now. That's Man United. That's Man United. My voice is gone. I'm finished. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. <laughs> It was belief from the from the beginning, from the before the game started. It was belief, bro. And we had to, we we went through it. Fan base, I understand, we're all different, but we had to come together, fam. It was a greater thingy, and uh, what we did today, yeah, it was just, it was brilliant. That, uh, Rashford wanted to slaughter him for the thing that he, he scored, though. He came good again. Remember when yeah. everyone was crying in their cars for the thing they said, listen, just how Liverpool do it with Darwin, they say, you know what? Create another one. We created another one, bro. We won this game for free. When I said 3-1 as a scoreline, people looked at me like I was in crack saying, when are Man United going to score three fucking goals? What we scored four today, lad. I can't believe this. In this moment here, bro, he's been fasting. Are you dumb? <laughs> Ramadan Ribara. <laughs> And, and now he goes to Eric Ten Hag. He goes, try not playing me now. You know, try oh. not playing me now. <laughs> Against your biggest rivals. Extra time. Oh! Clutch, off the Don't post. tell me. Last kick. Don't tell me we can't do that against Liverpool. Don't tell me we can't do that against Man City. Don't tell me that. Don't and, tell me that. KG, where were those, where were the people that were, you know, in extra time they go, look at this formation, this freestyle stuff. Anthony's yeah. playing left back, Bruno's playing centre back. That's what football is. That's what Man United is. Reload it, reload it. Reload it. Reload it. Sorry. Ah. Uh, yo. Huh. Oh. Don't tell me we can't do that, bro. Listen, I thought it was going to, I thought it was a penalty thing. Man got there, bro. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, you got loads of super chats as well. Members chats. MAK says, Dude. I told you all at 2 1 not to give up. We're going to Wembley. Everyone uh, needs to deserve their flowers. Glory, glory, Man United. MG Alanga says, Enjoy your retirement. Klopp, I'm ad man of the match. Crash with the $100 super chat. I can't even talk, KG. Says reload it, believe oh, for a hundred dollars. <laughs> reload it, reload it. Um, Dev Roy says that's a birthday gift to me. K Flow has gifted five UV memberships. Don F says only Abad needs apologies. Dominic says, Can we get his uh crying and his kai and got the soundboard? It's honestly, we're we're in full chaos mode at the moment. We're hanging on for let's get up our team. Ray says, uh, four plus three equals seven. This is the seventh time we stopped Liverpool's cup hopes. OTC says on behalf of Chelsea fans, thank you. And Liverpool hold that. Anakin Skywalker says Ahmad was mad quadruple. Oh, Doyle, he... I told them, man. I told them lot. Oh, listen, guys, I'm happy for Ahmed. 
I'm happy for Ahmed. He came in, he done his thing. I'm proud of him. If you're telling me that we had to apologize to Ahmed, there's a lot of people in line because Ten Hag was getting berated as well, fam. Uh, we've cussed Anthony the whole season, fam. We, like, if we want to do a list of apologies, right, we can. Do you know what I'm saying? Ahmed, well done. I was saying that we just got to trust the manager. That's all I said. I didn't say Ahmed's a shit player. I said, let's not go crazy. When the manager plays him, that's going to be his moment because the manager knows how to use young players. He rolled the dice today. Ahmed, fantastic. Ooh. What a moment. Do you know what I'm saying? What a moment. But, like, again, if we're going to do the apologies, let the apologies go all the way around because, bloody hell, we even got 3 5 teammate. <laughs> <laughs> the Ivy. We, got, we got everything we got everything didn't we that's what it was it was just i don't even know how to describe it kg we I don't showed even... character fight spirit all of it fam and now like because we want to fight all we want to do in this fan base is fight for dumb stuff bro right now we beat liverpool can we focus on we beat liverpool fam in a dying minute we knocked them out Klopp's going home we owed it to him fam can we just be together in this moment fam if you look I, i'm i'm mad i'm sorry cool <laughs> can we enjoy the moment please what and you know what shout out flex as well because you know what he said before the game he said we're gonna beat liverpool why because we have to and people said that's not a reason you know what it is a reason we had to our season hinged on it eric ten Hag's season hinged on it well i get a madness kg my voice is fully gone <laughs> my voice is gone <laughs> my, my is voice gone. it's like i've been in the stadium bro my <laughs> voice is absolutely fried they're saying <laughs> cool flex um you can probably have to call him bro because yo my voice is fried <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got um what else have we got here? Uh uh Jordan says, as an Arsenal fan, I give Ten Hag back his name from Seven Hag to Ten Hag, reload it. MG Alanga says Ramadan does mad things. Remember Benzema now Ahmad. Kyle says this is football, this is United. Danny DeFito is gifted not five, not ten, not fifteen, not twenty, not twenty-five, not thirty, not forty, not fifty. I can't talk, KG. <laughs> fifty. 50 memberships by Danny DeFito. Sean says, Jurgen Kloppy, ooh, brother, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, listen. Are you down? Ooh. Brother, ooh. What's that? What's that, brother? Yes. Oh. Um, what else have we got? Um, Sean says, oh no, Andy says, lads, stay live for the FA Cup semi-final draw, 6.25. Is that coming in a few minutes? Oh my God. Um, Soup says, KG put his neck on the line and you lot threatened him with clips. Those clips better be clipping. <laughs> Wait, hold on, we gotta reload it. Reload it, reload it! Um, Jordan's been about 40 months, says, walk alone, fam, say goodbye to your quadruple. Everyone wave Thank goodbye you, to Klopp. Uh, Kyle with the £10 super chat says, reload it, reload it. Oh, we are doing it. Reload it, reload it. Reload it. If you haven't already, by the way, guys, oh. click the like button. We've got nearly 3K watching. Let's see if we can get to two. We can get 2K likes. I mean, we can get anything. This has been a madness. I mean, just a complete madness. Oh. I can't believe it. I can't. <laughs> my fucking manager oh my god actually yeah I mean we haven't even talked about Ten Hag how much credit does he deserve a lot <laughs> them, them team talks he said lads at when we was, was free free two down at the end of um, extra, wait half time extra time what he said lads Keep going. The, the the team, bro. That meeting hit, bro. <laughs> and guess what? All those Spurs fans, piss off, bro. I know why you're here, fam. Not today, blood. Not, yeah. <laughs> not now. <laughs> Where's expressions now? I, I don't think I don't Where? think he's gonna be. I don't think he's going to be saying that much to you, nah, KG. No, because I saw one Spursy guy in the thing loading up the chat. I saw them, bro. Spurs, nah, nah, nah. Yes. 
pricks. <laughs> um, we got these loads more super chats. Um, Lil Yo Yo says, Klopp and his dead veneers, uh, glowed up crackhead. Aha, uh, Banks with the hundred pound super chat as well. What? Says, Yeah, says Paul, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I I feel I can't wait to go on them Liverpool fan channels, bro. Hey, are you telling me we ain't got a manager there, bro? That's fight, fam. Where are you going to go? Give him the tools, man. Give him the tools. Let him manage. Do you think Do you think if you're, do you think if it's Ineos then, do you think they look at that today and go, look, regardless of what happens for the rest of the season, that's a moment. That's a moment. That's, that's a, something to build upon. Of course that's a moment. Hey, combine 11 as well. Hold that, fam. Yeah, well, yeah, AGT with his, uh, no one would get in. No, no one would get in KG. KG. No one uh, would get in. Hey, hey, my voice is gone. Yeah, we've still got to do shows. <laughs> uh, Rash, yay? Rash? <sighs> no, all of them. Give credit to all those boys. We for Fucking hell. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say as well. That feeling... At Man United is going to be incredible looking. Ah, uh, oh man, it's apparently soon as had, his head's gone. Good, it's good, pussy as well. He's the one that wouldn't remember. I said I want soon as to be dealing yeah. with it, fam. I need it. Look at my manager there on the touchline, managing. Yeah, yeah, touching it. Ah. What else have we got here? Um, Super Powerful says, KG, this is your moment. Make Owen and the rest of UV acknowledge you. Acknowledge my tribal <laughs> my tribal Gary, head of the table. <laughs> Not the tribal Gary. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. There's going to be... I can't believe it. I can't believe it. MT. Uh, Andy says... And he says, lads, don't you dare end the stream. Um, the draw is starting now. Is the draw starting now? We knew we could beat them, fam. We done a stream midweek, said, yo, listen, it's Liverpool. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Remember we said uh, we said Friday, didn't we? We said Friday when we did the Trinity. We said, of course we can beat Liverpool. Flex said it this morning for the road trip. He went, of course we can beat Liverpool. You said it 10 million times. Of course we can beat Liverpool. And that's why. Look at this. We gave them 20, they, we faced that 25, 28 shots. They, everyone was doing it, yeah? Everyone was shooting. They're not going to show those fucking stats because, again, it doesn't suit the narrative, bro. You know you say you can twist stats into making it be what... We, we, was, we was hitting their goal, bro. We came for their goal. We did our thing, fam. Those players, every one of them, they shouldn't... Every one of them deserves credit. They gave a performance, bro. And if you tell me that we can't fight, go into thingy. This is about Casemiro as well, by the way. This is about um, with um, without Martinez. This is this is a side that's been injuries all over the place and best of enemies. <laughs> um, by the way, I think we are going to stay live for the next like I don't know, a couple of minutes because um, we the FA Cup semi final draw is about to happen. KG, we're going to find out who we got at Wembley. Yeah. Very, very shortly. So we will stay live for that. Whilst we do, click the like button. It's been an all-timer of a stream. It's got to be said. It has to be an all-timer. Um, what else have we said? Uh, Take Your Profit says, uh, if KG tells me to believe in uh, Nigeria's government, I will. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do um, that. That's I mean, yeah. Far. Yeah, that's yeah, it's maybe a bit too much. Too far. Yeah. Um, but KG... Who do we get in the semi-final? It's between Chelsea, Coventry, and Manchester City. Um, who's Man City got in the in the thingy? We want City. We want. City. We need City now. Yeah, we need City now. We don't want to play them in the final or nothing because they've got a nasty draw. They've got to play Champions League. It's a bit nasty. We got to do them. We got enough to beat City if we we just play the team that that play with us for fun. We play a team that we we never have, like, it doesn't go our way. You know what I mean? Today, we got it done. I asked I asked for Klopp. I said, bring Klopp to me, fam. We need him. And he's leaving. You're not getting this FA Cup. Sorry, mate. Not today, mate. 
Jogon. Mm. That seven, it was is it, it was a, it left a nasty taste. Now, where are they, fam? Where them Liverpool pussy else, fam? And and this is what we were saying. Remember before we were going, look, FA Cup, anything can happen. Like it just you never know, basically. You never know. Oh my god. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. Well, so uh Danny DeFito again, he's gifted not another five, not another ten, not another fifteen, not another twenty, not another twenty-five, not another thirty, not another thirty-five, not another forty, but another fifty. Fifty <laughs> memberships. I hope they're going to show this kind of love when I do my stream, fam, because bloody <laughs> hell, mate. I hope, I hope this love's coming to my channel, fam. The super chat's better be see for it. What's this? Big up, big up, Because <laughs> today's been just... We crazy. gave... Going? The KO show, fam. Yeah. We knocked them out, bruv. Yeah, we see. knocked them out. And Owen, oh, you know what they say after that? We say this. We love it! We love it! We love it! Where are you? I honestly, oh, I'm exhausted. This so has been, I. this has been nearly five bed. hours of madness. Go go <laughs> bed, mate. Go go sleep, mate. <laughs> uh, I, but I tell you, and what, I love I, the fact that Sunez is crying in his car, bro. What I like yeah, the KG, what I like the KG is that sometimes, look, you get a lot of stick, you get a lot of criticism, yeah, and yeah. they say, "Are oh, you being shameless? You're being reckless? You're being toxic positivity." Well, look, that's where toxic positivity gets you sometimes. When you go, no, <laughs> I thought, I thought when, and also look, second half when it was two one, we got battered for most of that second half, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Stay in the game, yeah. believe. There were, we did keep <laughs> saying there will be a chance, a chance, There's a chance. Come. We a chance did will come. We did. It's, and, uh, it's not over. It it, yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this shit here is hitting, bro. <laughs> oh, by the way, some sort of other news. Ahmad will now be suspended for the Brentford game because he got sent off. Pussios. That is disgraceful, isn't it? You can't celebrate. They want robots in this league, fam. Um, How dare you score the last minute winner? against your top rivals in the FA Cup to knock them out and, you know, take your shirt off and celebrate in the crowd. Bastards. Oh, man. They should they should cancel that. And the, oh. again, that referee, forget like the Bruno thing the first half, that referee was a complete prick in that game. He was, honestly, he couldn't have given more to him, KG. <sighs> I'm so happy. Mm. All right, and here we go. The draws um, about to start. So that's number one. Ian Wright's got out number one. And who is that? Oh, because they, as you said, I can't see. Who's number one? Uh? <laughs> number one versus number two, which is. Are they going to show Coventry City versus who? Manchester United. We're facing Coventry, KG. Coventry <laughs> at Wembley. So oh, guess, my God. Guess what, mate? <laughs> Coventry That's... at Wembley, KG. Coventry at Wembley. So you're telling me my manager's going to go, he has the potential to go to two finals. Another final next season. All right. Coventry at Wembley. And that is also meaning that it's Manchester City versus Chelsea as well. Chelsea? Please! <laughs> right. We love it! We love it! We love it! <laughs> Oh my god! Right, let's catch up with these super chats, and then we can cage you. Like I don't know, I don't know what we can do. Um, Don F says um, KG shamelessly using this win to spread his Eric Ten Hag propaganda. How can you be shamelessly <laughs> fucking beat Liverpool in extra time coming back from behind? How can we not have? And you call it propaganda? 
come on, man. It's, it's just, just say you hate the manager and just cut, fam. <laughs> just that's what you have to say. Because I saw a team, you know, when you talk about fighting for a manager, yeah. You, what you, what do you call that? We can't. Yeah, this yeah. is our biggest rival, fam. We done it. We done it, bro. Areas have to come to an end. Hold tight. Tell me. He did not just know. say hey, that. You're about, of course. We listen. I'm. What do you say? Why is he saying I take your profit? Yeah, I know you're Nigerian, bro. I ain't telling you to believe in our federal government, though. Come on, man. <laughs> come on. Um, pa Pav also says, "Who's your man of the match?" KG, who's your all man of the match? All, all of them. them. All of them. Absolutely, all of them. All of them. Even what's the even, even um, mind the, the young maestro, even Ericsson that comes in has moments. In the, I need to watch that game back. I've lost my mind. <laughs> I've lost my mind. I've lost my voice. I am. I can't wait. I can't wait to do all these. Um, just get these shows done. I can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, guys, look there. You go. Literally five hours of content from UV today, live for the match view. This is why you don't have to go anywhere else. On a match day, but here on United View. So big up to everyone. Big up to KG. He's got to record a fan view now as well. <laughs> um, I'm going to be live on the full time view in just a few minutes. It's already set up. So if you remember, after you after there. you go live, I'll be live doing yeah, five things deep well. after you. Yeah, yeah, we're, absolutely. We're both, oh both going to try somehow, some way to get our voices together. Uh, KG's hopefully his internet's going to be working at that point as well. It's been a, it's, KG's oh. been speaking to us by a flip book, <laughs> literally <laughs> this game. I don't know how. Um, a couple more super chats before we wrap things up. Uh, Godson says, um, especially as Ahmad's shirt underneath was red and had the Adidas logo, silly rule. And K Flow says, forget them ticklers, KG. Reload it. One last reload it, KG. One more. Reload it, reload it. Reload it. We're out of here, guys. Peace. <laughs>